Ah, oh, Hashimash Denshi. It took some time to get set up. Sorry about that, but it's time for a little bit of PS3 Demon Souls. Exciting stuff. Okay. Open this back up. Thank you very much. There we go. This should be fine. Just funny intro movie. On the first day. Man was granted a soul, and with it, clarity. On the second day... Upon Earth was planted an irrevocable poison, a soul-devouring demon. That would be the old one. Presumably. This, I believe, would be the talents of the Dragon God. Demon Souls. The funny thing about this game is that From Software was originally commi commissioned to make. It's actually louder than I expected. Let's turn that down a little. Actually commissioned to basically make a competitor with Bethesda's Oblivion, and instead of doing that, they failed the test successfully and invented an entirely new genre of game. Exciting stuff, really. And... The skeletons in this game... Were a bit of a blueprint for some of the big sword skeletons in... Dark Souls 1, but... That presumably is showing off the cloth feature, and... But an interesting that you can see the sort of start of the armored faceless knight character here. And a lot of summon spirits. Presumably more than you can actually summon in game, and then there's good old Dragon God, who is one of the game's main bosses. Alright. Cool. Okay, cool. Now to start, and to do a bit of testing out. But, deleted all those files. Archstones, and yep, this is the fan server that both enables setting your world tendency manually, which I have set to pure black, which is the most difficult one, arguably. And what do I, there we go. Come on, come on. Thank you. There we have it. Nice. There we are, and we're gonna start as royalty, which is... Let me see. There are no truly equal stats ones, and that one starts at the highest level with basically no gear, but... Logically, the lowest level one, which is royalty, is going to be the easiest to... Get to equal stats from. And it does start a little disproportionate. I would have to get to around level 24 to actually equalize everything, but it shouldn't be horrible. In particular, magic being high is going to be a little silly, frankly. I think it's decent. A little more. Hairstyle, go with wild. Black hair, and in the details, well... Let's see. Big thing is changing this to pretty pale. This is about as far as you can get without being outright inhuman. And in terms of eyes, can we go with? Ah, you have to be pretty. That's interesting. And light. So that's about closest to an orange I can get. That's okay. This is what we'll stick with. Not too different than basic, but we'll be fine with this. Okay, cool. It's time to get started. We are our journey to the Nexus. Right. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, it's not the narrative from normal Dark Souls. prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, 
until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Classic. Let's be a bit of an Orlando. Cut off from the outside world. The scale of everything. And those who dared penetrate the deep fog mm. never returned. Colorless. But Valor Fax of the royal twin fangs. Oh. Broke free from the fog. And told People the world started coming in, life. presumably, to try to save it. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one. As one does. The great beast below the nexus. Well, the nexus. Eternal slumber. Mm. And that the colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. Capital D demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Good for them, honestly. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. And with it, clarity. The mad attack the same, and chaos reigns. Classic. Valorfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Demon or demons? Each time a demon claims a human oh. soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated it's by the stronger. life force. And the power of a mature demon soul mature. is beyond human imagination. There we go. Beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Oh. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Classic. Bjorn Dangerous place. We will meet. Yurt, the silent chief. Oh, this is actually similar to Eldering mentioning Sage the people. Urbane. Sage Urbane. Skurber, the wanderer. Mentioning Bjorn, but the he's just their Sage normal guy, right? Taya and her knight Garl ah. And Sage Frake, the visionary. So a lot of those are mentioned connection the with colorless certain areas. Beyond Boletaria's borders. Kind of split Human between. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. Mm. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near those and far. The five worlds of the game are covered by the six characters, but which presumably they would be split. The six. A lone warrior. Because the game originally had six. Fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new uh -oh. slave? Uh oh. Mm hmm. That's one cool thing about the game that they show characters on the loading screens. Brave soul who fears not death. Thank you. A little bit of stuttering. You. Oh. Seems a little inconsistent. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. That's a good ending. Of course, it's not the only ending you can get. Alright. Here we are, and here we are. Tutorial area. Oh, then. Our one standard attack. Our few emulation issues, but it's nothing horrible, horrible. The big thing is that you can increase the game's performance in exchange for making everything a lot darker, especially things that are very far away, which makes a lot of things maybe not invisible, but definitely a lot harder to see. A usable shield, but it's not amazing. Big thing is just want to save my magic for a bit later. Okay. Target lock release and change locked target. Hello there, and kind of interesting how sort of ring target stay the same between. Demon Souls and the first Dark Souls, the sort of fringe of light on the ring was taken out in Dark Souls compared to here. Alright then. Keep on going and thanks. Gotta poke you. Satsur. I've got decent dexterity actually. And the idea of. It is interesting that neither of the. Crescent Moon Grass. That neither of the 
Sony Souls likes, so to speak, have any kind of starting class with actual equal stats. Water over there. Geography at this specific spot is not exactly clear. There's some moon grass that's more healing, but not all that much. The grass healing system is definitely interesting because of how you have to take weight into your considerations in terms of how much healing you take. Backstep. Roll. Yeah, you always want to roll. Especially since the shield I have right now does not have 100% damage resistance. And, come on, thanks. We're just going to let you finish out there for a few more pokes. And, ooh, alright. Cool. Alright. The souls we're getting from these initial few enemies, dragglings, I believe, is... The amount is not by any means significant. Just bait their jump. Thank you, and... Well, we can't actually get in the back set. I thought we might get, but we'll live. Hmm. Okay. Alright. And... I'll wait for a bit of that, and there we are! Simple enough to back set. Cool. Nice. And let's poke around a little more, see if there might be another item in here. It does not look like it. Just gonna move over to the next part of the tutorial area then, presumably. One big difference between this game and Dark Souls proper is that ladders are a lot slower. And see that these arch stones or swords, kind of like the quelled swords and bonfires in Dark Souls, stabbed into basically the crystallized skulls of taper-like creatures. There is a bit of a dreamy aspect as a result. Export the tutorial, and we do have. I guess it would be nice to check out some of my items. Strong attack, strong attack. Okay. And. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Not expect that. Come on. But we can largely send lock you. Hmm. Decent enough. These gates are. Well, this. That won't even damage me. Harry and Rapaz, so it's not really going to be all that worth it, frankly. And up here, not much. Let's just... Thanks! Ooh! Ah, okay. Simple. That was quite nice, actually. There we go. I... Hmm. Feels as if you have to parry a bit... Maybe earlier? Just want to do a bit of trying then, and... Thank Ooh, I... Let me see. I couldn't really even see. Thank... Okay. Here we are a lot earlier. Uh, oh, I... Huh. I... Really should not even be trying to heal here. I'm in a parry. That's... Yeah, shields are just not a good way to parry here. Thanks. I'm just gonna start using soul arrows on you, yeah. It's gonna have to happen eventually. Using that half moon grass is silly, but it is what it is. Okay. And let's keep on going. Both hands are... There's no point to actually two-handing a catalyst. And there we are. Hmm. Okay. What if I run away? Will you turn around to become more hittable? Surprising amount of magic block on your shield, too. Not expect that. Hello there. 
Hi. And oh goodness. Thanks. That worked. Might have just gone straight through. Okay then. Keep on looking. Then mm -hmm. go over here. Should be a few more things. Change weapon. Change item. This is okay. More half grass, but catalyst. Use magic. Change magic, but only got the one spell. Hi. Unknown soldier's soul. Okay, cool. Well, oh, I did not mean to do that. Whatever. Crescent moon grass. Decent. Bulletaria. I think this is in Bulletaria. Drop a lot of grass, to my knowledge. Well, it was in Bulletarian Palace. Because all of these areas are Bulletaria, but some of them are the palace, and some of them simply aren't. Okay. Two, three. Ooh, well, ooh. Using the strong attack had a longer wind up than I actually expected. Okay. Two, three, die. And you can't actually jump in this game in the same way you can in others, so. Hello there, hi. One, two, three, four, five. And we can just poke you to death. Over here should be more grass, I presume. Oh, more half moon grass. That's nice. We. There's a bit of this. Oh, the crescent moon grass is better than I expected. The big thing is, I should actually save and quit right here. So that in case I lose to. You have one chance to fight the first boss here. And if I die to it. Would have to do the entire tutorial over again, which actually might be okay given how much I wasted. Grass I wasted on that boy night, but eh, whatever. Whatever. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna save and quit. Should put us right over there in the tutorial. I don't presume that it would. Forced us to retry the entire thing. And then we closed out there and quitting should. Let's see. Wait, wait. Oh. If that happens, you do have to. You can't save and quit in the tutorial. Great. Okay. Well. That didn't happen. So in that case, I'm gonna have to be really careful with how I take on the Vanguard, because... Well, if I die, I can just close it out, but... Still have to do... A bit of a restart, which is annoying, but that said, like I said, I did... Think, you know, maybe I do want to restart things, so to speak. Because of... Oh, and okay, that successfully pushed through. Oh, that was nice. Try it again because of all the half moon grass I wasted on that one blue eye knight. Do my unwillingness to use magic on them. And oh wow. The biggest interesting thing to me is just chose the damage number even before I actually hit them. What's interesting is that it played the pickup animation, but didn't pick up the item. I pivoted weirdly or something. Well, whatever. I'll live. And no damage that time. Is it a positioning thing or what? Thanks. One, two, three. Just, there are very few enemies with any meaningful amount of poise. Pretty sure there isn't even really a poise system in this one. Maybe. Let me just. Yeah, they don't mention poise at all. Presumably everything interrupts. Oh my goodness. Okay. Two, three. At the very least, I haven't encountered anything that seems like an uninterruptible. Cool. Thanks. One, two, three. Ooh, okay. Cool. Is so that. Alright. Nothing over there, but. Luckily, this. Oh! And sick it all. My muscle memory is still a little off. 
In Sekiro, when you use a... Y is the interact button. Well, in terms of Nintendo layout, Y is the interact button. In this game... Well... Your interact button is... B. Like in most Souls games. But... Throwing me off a little. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, but piercing swords are just really, really good in this one, because so many things are uninterrupt. Almost everything is interruptible. It means that you don't have to worry about getting, at least from what I can tell, you don't have to worry about getting slammed in the same kind of way. Okay, cool. Thanks. Nice. Walk up as we're casting. And right as they take their weapon down, we can just get them. Nice. Thank you. Change weapon, change item, yeah. Catalyst, use magic, right. Okay. Half moon grass. And then, let's go up here. Take these guys out again. Hello there. Hi. Thanks. One, two. Well, actually, the difference from two-handing, even though this is a dex weapon, is actually quite significant and it yeah it still is okay strength scaling and I again I keep messing that up playing Sekiro literally yesterday before this is a little silly Let's see what other item usage errors I make okay cool and all right two three okay nice Oh, yep. Drop more grass. Take that guy out. Let's our other stuff and... Try to kill the vanguard. The damage we deal with the magic on vanguard is actually really, really impressive. If we do manage to kill it, we will get some things. What is my equip weight? Item burden is not all that high, but I will need to be smart about it. The big thing is that let me just check. Yeah, the Royal Lotuses don't weigh much, and the Soul doesn't weigh anything, but... I think I should still probably wait a little bit, just to... Uh, uh, huh. Let my mana regenerate by way of my... Fragrant Ring, Nolan's Ring Forge with Spices, and Spices are the MP restoration items, rare and delicate piece of handiwork. It is interesting how they started off with an MP system, and then moved to spell slots for DS1, DS2, and then went back to MP for DS3 onwards. Mm -hmm. Everybody increases maximum MP, and right, because I unequipped that. I lost a decent deal. I also see little line breakpoints in each bar. Which divides my HP about in half right now. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Keep on going, keep on going. Okay. Thing is, gotta bait a swing and then run behind it as quickly as possible. Don't have any kind of durability, and my shield is not going to block a thing. The more MP I've got starting out, the more I should be able to guarantee being able to actually spam magic on it, because it is weakest to magic by far. I actually kind of see it through the fog, which is cool. The fog wall noise in this game is also different than Dark Souls. Hmm. Hmm. And... It's my maximum MP anyway, it's... Oh, okay, I'm at full now. Let's go. Cool. It's a fun sound. And... Cool. And, alright, oh, I, okay, cool, nice, and I, oh my goodness, I, I wasn't fast enough, okay, dang it, okay, 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. Let's try that again. I may be stupid. Okay. And... and... Okay. Cool. Let's try that again and not die this time. I just... I'm just gonna run in and immediately roll. This is really fun, honestly. Still be in next tutorial. Tutorial. Yeah. Time to try all that crap again. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Big thing is how. Flipping the catalyst actually increases my maximum MP, so it does mean that I need to do a bit of waiting, which is kind of annoying. It is what it is. Yeah, because if I switch to my sword, then the catalyst ends up... Actually, maybe if I wanted to be really funny, what I could do is... I'm not going to be using the shield for anything, I could just... That and the other hand, and yep, there we go. We've got our increased MP regenerating. One. So the question is, if I switch it from one hand to another once we've got regeneration based on the higher rate, will any more generate compared? Okay, and nice. It still counts as equipped, which is good. Even when I two-hand my stabby sword. Just gonna keep on running. Running through. The fact that two-handing does so much, though to be to be fair, it is low level. On a dexterity-based weapon with minimal strength scaling is kind of impressive in a weird sort of way. And we can go back down, take a little bit of damage over there. So we will need to heal up a bit, but we can use crescent grass for that. And yeah, if we're fast enough, we can just thanks. Stab you out of your jump. Fun stuff. And one, two. Thank you. Take you out. And take out you. One, two. And I wonder if it was because we were falling or just because he was unaware. Either way, we could proceed on Archstone. Teleport to the next part of the tutorial area. Yeah, the goal is to... Ooh, I... Hmm... My stamina up a little too quickly. Overestimated how far I could reach from. Big question is... Do I want to try using my sword on those boy knights, or... Not? I... Let's just see how much this does. One, two... One, two... We're out of the way. Oh, they're actually pretty fine to get with... Just my piercing sword. So those guys are kind of the equivalents of Dark Souls Silver Knights. The Red Eye Knights are kind of the equivalent of Dark Souls Black Knights. Mm. You can get you in a midst of an attack, but uh, gotta save our MP. And mm. so they don't have 100% physical block, which is good for me, but come on, come on. I don't believe I have a kick attack. I do have that, but it's definitely not a going to be used as a can't use it as a shield poke. Hmm. Come on, come on. One, two. There we go. We finally broke him down. Probably depleted stamina or something, but yeah, for Vanguard, it's gonna be magic all the way. There's no other way to do it. And yeah, I you know, if I had really wanted to and been more enterprising, I could have figured out some sort of mod-oriented solution and just given myself extra stats somehow. But, eh. Uh. Oh, but I... Don't tell me I was... How did I regenerate HP? I don't think I used any grass. Well, whatever. Yeah, because I've got all of that. I've got some more of this. But... Is because I killed some enemies? None of my rings suggest they would have an effect like that. 
Well, whatever. Yeah, now we can just go back through the fog, pick up that crescent moon grass. It's gonna be another god coming, so let's take you out. Two, three. And then grab the half moon grass from the other side. Half moon grass. We have to go in with our. Let's see, let's switch this to the silver catalyst and. Oh, so switching it out counted as unequipping it, so now I need to get that MP regeneration back, which is unpleasant. How much do I... Oh, my goodness. It's going to be about a minute. Well, wait a second and then pop it in anyway. Yeah, I, it won't be all that much. The big thing is... Demon Vanguard over here. Very weak to- Magic! Uh, thank you. Roll hands. Gotta find a way to see around behind you. And cool. Nice, and... Okay. We attack, and... Thank you. Just keep blasting with magic from behind, and there won't be much you can do. Cool. Sad these blocks seem to maybe be in my way more than I might like. No, they aren't really. Oh my, ooh, that's really, really tough. Dodge, okay, cool. Thanks, and... Dodge, okay, cool. Thanks, heal, heal. Need that, and... Heal, and... Oh, dodge, okay. And, oh, oh, the rubble is actually getting most something horrible, horrible, and... Wait, what in the... Really, really, I... Oh, come on. Eat this. And launch a bit more grass. And. Okay, cool. Eat that. And. Oh, but. You broke lock in it. Uh, that's the most annoying thing. Break lock in it. Sends it flying off to nowhere. But, uh, uh, controls do feel a little weirder and worse in this one. Definitely got a lot more jank than other Souls games in the future did. And. Oh, what in the. Really? You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try that one more time. In the end, the big thing is that the tutorial boss, if you die to it, you don't get to fight it again. You can get a rematch against an identical monster later on, but it's not the same, and there you get some extra rewards from fighting it initially. Point that... I managed to do it, but... Like with everything in this game, it's very, very finicky. The big thing is just that they're very clearly... Those rocks on the ground do seem to be blocking my movements, which is horrible. And it's probably intentional in the sense that it's supposed to make the fight very difficult to win by getting rid of your maneuverability. Because it's an exceptionally slow boss. But if they get rid of your ability to kite it... ...by trapping you in a small room... ...it becomes that much more difficult as a result. So it does have decent AoEs. But as long as you can get behind it, it can't do much. And the issue is, is that... ...in a small room, in a room with... Funny obstacles on the ground for some godforsaken reason. Well, the godforsaken reason is to make the tutorial fight actually hard and comparatively easier later on by doing nothing but just changing the terrain you fight it in. But. Hi, how are you doing? I'm playing Demon Souls. How are you? How are things with the guests you mentioned? Are they all right? Oh, okay. Fair. Because you're still technically supposed to be entertaining guests. Well, either way, as always, it's nice to have you. Thanks. Thanks. Tell me about it. What? What about them? What about them specifically? But this Souls game is interesting. It was the very first, and I think I mentioned it, but it was meant to basically be a successor to games like Oblivion. Well, Sony hired FromSoft to basically make a competitor with the Oblivion games. I mean, with Oblivion. 
as in Elder Scrolls, and it did not work in the sense that they just made a very, very different kind of game than, than they were intended to make and ex were expected to make. Fair. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the answer is, is that I'm trying to beat the tutorial boss, the Demon Vanguard, which is... Oh my, ooh, okay. They seem to be a little uninterruptible, actually. Not entirely, but... Hmm. Okay. Goodbye, boy knight. Yeah, those guys are, like I said before, basically... The Demon Souls equivalent of the Black Knights from Dark Souls, or something like that. And one, two, three, four. Presumably I should be able to break their lock eventually. Three, and ooh, all right. Hmm. One, two, three. One, two. Hmm. Seems like a decent way to force my way through their guard. Thanks, and okay. The minor guard pierce actually made a decent difference. Hmm. Okay. This may end up being the most difficult thing I encounter in this game. Beating Vanguard. Okay. Come on, come on. Because it is just very, very finicky. You have to be able to get behind it and then not be screwed over by the terrain. Which is obnoxious. Thanks. One, two. Use this to switch, presumably. Examine and go through the fog. You should get over here. One, two, three. Thanks. But, use our crescent grass. Oh, that will not save us. The hit from the vanguard, but that's life. Half moon grass. May end up using this on the vanguard fight. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we can use our magic. Cool. Nice. Alright, and... Cool. Great. And just... Thanks. Cool. Gotta find a way to stay behind you as much as possible, and... Thanks. Cool, cool, and... Uh, the dodge roll is crucial, but... Hard to use sometimes. Okay, cool. Time we use. Yeah, it's basically the same as the Asylum Demon from Dark Souls 1, actually. That's the funny thing about it, and... It's the same kind of enemy, and oh my, okay. Yeah. Well, because he's, again, he's just the prototype for the Asylum Demon from Dark Souls 1. The time it takes to use grass is... Thanks. Dodge. Okay, that worked quite well, actually, but... The speed of these attacks is annoying. And... Well, he's basically the Asylum Demon, but he doesn't have the butt cheeks that you thought were nasty. Okay, so that attack is really punishable, but he hasn't been using that that much this time. It's weird to me. Okay. Come on, come on. Ugh. Okay, that hit, I didn't think it would. Come on, just... Alright. Is that attack? He's invulnerable for a while, but I... Thank you. And lucky. Thanks. And just a couple more, and... This should do it. Bye, Demon Vanguard. So the tutorial boss that you aren't supposed to beat, well, we beat him. Demon was destroyed, you shall obtain the demon soul and a power that is beyond human imagination. So the prologue describes the power of a mature demon soul as being beyond human imagination. So let's touch the archstone. We got the gray demon soul, which is the vanguard's demon soul. Radiates a strong power, or a number of souls when used, alternatively made into spells, miracles, or weapons. Made into the dozer axe and nothing else. Big thing is, we're going to the next area, which is actually... Well, it says tutorial. Well... Mm. This is actually World 2-3. 
and check it out. Giant dragon. I figured you might want to see this. Said actually, should probably keep my cattle smart, and because the shield I have isn't really worth using as a shield anyway. So full moon grass, that's cool. Most of these are HP. For the lunar phase, lunar exchange, run a condition they're in, crescent moons, pick when they're young, pick when they're withered. Collections of wilted herbs, faint light even in their wilted stain. So basically, if you age the herbs, they will get more effective. Makes sense. More full moon grass, so basically you get some decent healing items as a reward if you manage to be the tutorial boss, and a good amount of other things too. Two more full so four full moon grass in total. Shard of Hardstone. That's Hard Ore, straight swords, axes, hammers, evenly increases the power of a weapon. Next level of 10. Sharp Stone. Sharp War, Daggers, Curb Sword, Spears, evenly increases. And Renowned Soldier Soul. Another Renowned Soldier Soul. And another Renowned Soldier Soul. We have a bunch of Unknown Soldier Soul and a Renowned Soldier Spirit Unknown. Wishing for Demons, in which case we should use it ourselves. And yeah. There's no way to avoid death in this one. One punch. Cool. Classic. Alright then. The list over there is relevant too. Hello. Soul for the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Strength be granted so that the world might be mended. Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Strength be granted, Strength be granted so, the so the world might be mended. mended. So the maiden in black, the first so the fire keeper type character. It's interesting that they don't have subtitles for what she's saying. But we're alive. Nexus traps you. Remain in this world as a soul forever. Cool. This is the Nexus. Finally, subtitles. We hold together the northern land of Boletaria. Thank you. Very Russian. Thou canst not exit the Nexus. To another Each node. Of the five arch stones will connect it. Hmm. All right. To that Nexus is trapped. Your soul, you cannot escape the Nexus. And you see our maximum health is, it's actually more than halved, as we're on pure black world tendency. I'm sure in Demon Souls you can reclaim your physical body. Exile Binding, which we don't really want to use. Hi! Okay. Good guy, yeah, that's Stockpile Thomas, but this is the closest thing to a tutorial area the game has. Just all these messages. No stamina, shield is ineffective. Attacking, blocking, sprinting. Depletes kept from actions that use stamina. Ability points, weapon will be useless. Overburden with equipment, movement speed decreased. Success will parry, chance to repause. Save here. It's not a tutorial message, it's a player message. Both hands, Rit guard. Strength enhanced by 50% when using with both hands. Soul form HP is halved. Durability is low, attack power decreases. Pair worn weapons. Missile learn, spells and miracles. Have to be memorized too. Limit to what can be memorized. Use a catalyst for spells, talisman for miracles. And Zoras of another world, like the one you find now. Messages with selects. Messages sent to other worlds. Die, but seemingly left at the location of your death. Hmm. Sure, on Bloodstain, regain the souls you lost. Touch another Bloodstain, be the manner they died. Give me a hint. Oh, goodness. I. Funny, but Tennessee of the world's souls. Closer to black, demons will pose more of a threat. Closer to white, demons' powers are weakened. And we're playing on pure black. And using the features of the fan server to keep it at pure black permanently. Except for certain events which require other tendencies. Oh! Oh, I can't see talk. That's fun. 
Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. I came for fun. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Mm. Now go. That is why you came. The only one we can do right now is Volatarian Towers. Volatarian. Hmm. You came for demons. Uh, it's this is the first Crestfall and Night type character too. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. Mm -hmm. We're welcome here, as long as we keep slashing up demons. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you, oh, sir. Maiden Black will eventually level us up, but not okay. yet. Okay. We have our blacksmith, and we have our. Inventory manager. I'm stockpile Thomas. Classic. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. I came to by myself when here I came in the Nexus. To, my wife and daughter Sounds a bit victim to the Scottish. Demons, but I would be worthless in battle. At the very Assistance least, your brave I, of demons. I would be happy I to look after excess baggage. It's nothing yet. Hmm. When the scourge came, abandoned and fled like a madman in the Nexus, I was in the Nexus. Their adventure outside these walls, could do ignore more. the world outside. That candle little maiden, the maiden black, for she's next to spare little of kind, but as his daughter would have been, poor girl. It's acquitted by wax. If only some, to help her. If only. Hmm. If only. Interesting. Wait, where are you going? What's interesting is that it's possible that the maiden might actually be daughter would. Maybe taking the form of his daughter? I don't know. Mm. The name is is Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me souls the trade. Souls you can. Give you weapons or if force the ones you have. I can Get a living and go on living. Hmm, what can we buy right now? Buy spice. Restore. Uh, we can also use this to restore. Reduces wear and restores durability. But those get used up. Dagger, short sword, and do we have? Okay, it would. Hi I think it no, no, it wouldn't highlight if we didn't have it. Yeah, this is good. Don't have the souls for it yet? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Dagger, short sword, battle axe. Actually, the sword I have right now is still good. Perhaps you've already had some interesting stone thing. It's centric as well. Same one. Soul that star of stone. We'll just ignore you unless you give him a good deal. There are no in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons, but you just have to make do. Be thankful that I'm still of good health. Not very nice of you, frankly. Be thankful. Okay. No interest, I can tell you. You know, maybe I could kill that guy. Not right now, though. Oh, my. How does this the happen? Failing to show to proper show respect to the respect king? That's not him. true, though. Oh, Mbasa. Mbasa. That's basically a religious phrase in the setting. And originally, Father Gascoigne from Bloodborne said it in the in the beta version of Bloodborne, but they took that out. Oh. Which led some people to believe that Bloodborne was originally going to be set in the same world as Demon Souls. And it is certainly possible, actually, in the sense that... Well... If you want to do it, fair enough. Next enemy's weakness is you. Just take it, take responsibility for the consequences of your own actions. That's all I'll say. She's not over here. Oh, we can walk over this way. This is. What does this let me do again? Nothing yet. Okay, so when is. We're gonna have to beat the first level for the maiden to actually show up and let us level. Terrifying foe. That one's broken. Sealed. The Tower Queen. The Burrow King. Of the Small King. The Chieftain. Oh, the Plague Doctor Mask. The Shadow Men, and that would be Shrine of Storms, but this one is broken, and it was originally the one of the giants in the nor northern limit, but it was cut for time. There was originally going to be a sixth area, and you can actually see. Six one in the top right is broken. So is there anyone or anything else up here yet, or 
Eventually, people will start flowing in, especially as we rescue them. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. There will be another magic teacher and another... Well, a magic teacher and a miracle teacher. They will be able to, well, give us more magic and miracles for one. The big thing is, I don't want to fall down because I could actually die here. Would not be fun. Anything up top or... This is... Nothing at the moment. Either way, the only thing I can really do right now then is to go back to... Go to Boletarian Palace, go through. There are some things I can get already due to having messed around with my world tendency in advance, but as of now, the only thing I want to do is go through here. Stone of the Small King, Boletarian Palace, Huge Stone Castle in the heart of the Northern Kingdom. Your soldiers whose souls have been stolen by demons, attack trespassers, and terrible dragons nest there. Oh, we're not lost at all. I was just poking around the nexus just to see what I might be able to find, and there is the first patches, really. Hmm. There we go. Hello there. Oh, and a dragon swoops by, and... Hello then. Ah! Is lagging a little, but... That's why. Yeah, yeah. We are not going to have to fight it now, though. Got a bunch of corpses in its mouth, which is crazy. Started over here. Cool. Oh, alright. Thing over this way, or... The big interesting thing about this one is that... Things aren't geographically connected. I wanna go home, wait moon grass, and... Large amount versus most. So these actually have pretty much identical descriptions, okay. Hmm. Big thing is, normally the ex execution grounds off here on the side are sealed off, unless you're at pure white or pure black, well, white or black world tendency, but we are at world ten that world tendency. I do not want to go back right now. We have a trap ahead, and thank you, cool. Alright. There's no way to actually downvote messages in this one. Thanks, thanks. And... Uh, one, two, and just... Oh, we ran out of stamina. Also, the range of my poke is really quite small. Crescent Moon Grass. Yeah, there are some things over this way. But I do not want to go in there right now because it would pose a bit of a danger. And among other things... If I beat the enemy in there, I would get a lot of souls. But since I don't even have the ability to level up right now, I'm gonna save those. Very large swords on the next enemy. Or, well. One, two. And one, two. So these draglings are not... Oh, I did not mean to do that. And, yeah, pretty much everything can be instantly stunned out of any attack that they do, which is why piercing swords are so good in this one. Okay, cool. So, and by hitting you in movement frames, we did about 50% extra damage, which is crazy to think about. I guess it, you were vulnerable while jumping, specifically, it seems. Okay. Here we have... Don't go forward... Put a flame weapon fire on the next enemy. Mm -mm. And let's keep on moving. Should be a shortcut somewhere. The big thing is that in Demon Souls, there are never actually extra, well, not bonfires, but archstones in this one. There were never extra archstones before. There's only one archstone for per boss, which means that they have to rely a lot more heavy on heavily on actual shortcuts. You just main gate execution grounds. Okay. 
Keep on moving. And this is... Oh, hi. Thanks. And who is over... Oh, classic. The crossbow shot. And what is down there? Hi. Well, you can fall to your death. Go ahead. Then we'll stab you. Thanks. Cool. Half moon grass. That's the big question. Is there any way to... There is no way to live that drop. The light there was just to indicate it, but if we fell down, we would die. We have a trap ahead, and... Oh, but this actually... That's through Execution Grounds. I believe that's where Meralda is. Go down over here. Yeah, this is... Some things in the... Things in this tower. Putting a pretty valuable upgrade material, but... Not what we really need right now. We don't have any way to make use of it yet. Can I... Oh, we can poke through the wall. That's nice. Cool. So, that was nice. Thank you for telling me about the trap ahead. Thanks, and... Oh, but they're coming. Oh, well, and... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Big thing is, as you can see, the damage that enemies deal is more or less balanced around our health being at half capacity almost all the time due to the way of it. Being in soul form versus body form works in this game, which it's interesting. But unlike other Souls games like Dark Souls 2, where your HP can get decreased, honest to goodness, you're more or less okay. And a firebomb being in soul form, just a large flame, fentanyl cloth plug, a large flame. Probably use that on the boss. The big thing is that a lot of Souls games mention quote-unquote flame sorcery, which is, you know, basically a form of sorcery which normally just deals magic damage that can deal fire instead, which is effectively a reference to Demon Souls in which... Fire damage is dealt by sorcery as well. There's only one miracle that actually does damage, and it's magic damage. Sorcery is basically where all offensive magic it, magic comes from in Demon Souls, which is... Oh, wow, I did not expect that. Okay. And roll. And go for the rolling attack on you, and I want to go home. I bet you do. Let's drop down, and will this damage me? It didn't, that's good. I would have expected it to. Unknown soldier's soul, and will there be anything over here if we... Isn't anyone dropping down to kill us? Oh, a mail breaker. Interesting. And that's... What's the AR on that going to be like in comparison? Right now I have... Let's just see my AR. My... Right hand weapon is 80 damage. What would happen if I put in the dagger? This is... New damage, which is 74, but this... This with 75... Hmm. Smell breaker is... Oh, but it's also a piercing sword. No blade, pierce even hard armor, because it's only pokey. Hmm. Attack with a shield raise, pirate and block attacks. Okay, cool. This is still a little bit more damage, but it's not much difference. Uh, this... The nobility in exchange for being lower level just has arguably better starting equipment, but the entire point of this challenge is, you know, getting equal stats. The sooner we get the equal stats, the better. Lost. Is that easy? Okay, cool. Thanks. And before you even throw your flower bomb, we'll poke you down. Thanks. And get that before you maybe fall through the cracks. I think down there, and oh, I hear somebody. Oh, you're throwing at me from up there. That's fun. Go ahead. Throw your firebomb. Or we'll just run through so you can't actually throw it at me, but. Oh, hello. Oh, and there you are. Cool. That means we can stab, stab, stab on you. Thanks. Anything dropped? No, no. Big question is, can I actually get up to the top of that platform over there at all? I... Duh... 
think I see something, but go around from the side and it wouldn't be much of a difference anyway. Dodge. Swing around your funny fire sword. Cool. Oh, but thanks. I did not see you there. Cool. Alright. Get over here. Mm hmm. What if I press a moon grass? If I winger over here, will it force you to drop down on top? So you can't reach me anymore, and it does not seem to be the case. Okay, cool. And in that case, we can just hit you with a soul arrow for very good damage. Wait, what? Huh? Are you eating grass, or... What are you doing? Interesting. And are you back now, or... No, you're just throwing at nothing in particular now. Huh. How would I get this? I could pull this break, or... Huh. Assumably there might be an illusory wall or something, or... It'd be funny if there was just no way to get that. <laughs> there was just a guy who had an item on him that was somehow unobtainable. That said, I think it might be a world tendency related event. It's possible. Find a valuable item pass here. Somehow I doubt that. One, two, and oh, but that's right. I need to be two handing this thing. Or you can just fall down, why don't you? Classic. Here we are, and just a few more souls. One, two, three, and oh my, ooh, all right. Thanks. That's the one I already dealt some damage to. Thank you, thank you. One balance change that the remake made that I'm not sure how I feel about is that they made more restorative grass cost more in terms of equip burden, which is not really how the game was meant to be balanced. In the sense that if, you, if you're not building health, you're gonna be... Oh, can I... Wait, wait. Is that a world tendency event? Let me just, let me look that up. Demons, souls, 1-1, one one, item in, not accessible? It's the one, let me back up like you previously did. Oh, the boulder trap. Well, that also tells me there was a boulder trap, which I didn't know about. So there's gonna be a boulder trap right over there. Oh, cool. That'll smash that and get me. A sword, too. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's not have our cursor on screen. Should be... Ah, there we go. We got our bastard sword. It's not very nice, frankly. And can I even wield this thing I need? Yeah, I can't wield that. Okay. Just check. That large straight sword versatile is the straight sword. It requires it to be used with both hands. Crushing blows defeat stamina and break guard. But it... Large sword. Just check the requirements on that thing. That needs 18, and I do not have even... don't have 12 strength, which is what I would need to wield it, so... Good thing we didn't get killed by the boulder trap, because that probably would have insted me. Thank you, item grab tutorial, for telling me how to not die. Let's keep on going up here. Go back through, and... You know, I do like that I've got a crown right from the start. Because in Bloodborne and in Dark Souls 2, I liked wearing a crown, and now I can just do that right from the outset. Okay, come on, and- Oh, okay, that went over the ballista. That's interesting. There's a blue eye knight over there. Question is... Over here is gonna be... What? Before I take on that knight, I should almost certainly use some kind of healing. Okay, spear guy over there. We should actually probably... Oh! Oh! Not great. Okay. And... Oh! Your shield didn't even block the magic. Classic. Okay. So that means going through to take you down. Thanks. One, two. So you killed your friend. You were a sitting duck. Half moon grass. Crescent moon grass. And then this should be where the black phantom ahead. Oh, okay. That oh, it's the red eye knight. Okay. In that case, we'll power pushes on the next enemy. 
Let's... Mm -hmm. This is something we could use. Magic... Oh, okay. So we just back up slowly, spam magic on you, eventually we'll be able to break your guard and punish for big damage. Cool. Cool. Nice, 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 and... Magic is kind of an easy mode in Demon Souls. It's definitely more than a bit over tuned, and the fact that enemies are slow means that they can't just... Oh, okay, I... All right, then. Okay. Have it your way. Wait, what? What do you mean, shooting at his own brother? Is this... Don't tell me this is a mafia thing. I hope not. Especially because you told me not to say that everyone in... Southern Italy is Mafia. Okay. Well... There we are. Yeah, it- this is just the standard soul I want this one, too. Half Moon Grass, and there we are. Classic Red Phantom enemy. And what's the- wait, what? An, an- another one? Okay. I did not expect that one. So how far can we run away? In order to make you just disengage, especially since I have run out of, run out of magic. So if I run down these stairs and just stay away from you, how long will it take before you forget I exist? I, wait, what was that? Maybe at the very least I can run far away enough that I can kite you or something, but does not seem like their pathing is good enough to see where I am right now. See what happens. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. It's just okay, I hear them coming down, but I need to mind the corners. They're definitely coming this way. I or actually, they might be going back to their original location. In that case the big issue is that I don't have a lot of magic points. I don't have a lot of mana, which means that using Using spamming spamming soul arrows to take to take this guy down is the only way I can really manage this. Big thing is if he's going back, I can hit you from behind, and that's good for me. Oh, but it oh oh, but right, the guard rank will increase the damage I deal pretty significantly. But the issue is that I'm running out of casts. Said I, how much do I? I need seven more MP to get the kill, which is going to be basically 28 seconds, because every four seconds this ring allows me to regenerate one magic point. Fragrant ring, and it is the only reason my build is working at all like this. Wait, what is... is that the sound of regeneration, or something else? Eventually, I'm going to go for Latchery as soon as possible. So going over to Latrin and beating up the Fool's Idol will allow me to, among other things, get Soul Ray pretty much instantly, which is just a better version of Solero. The big thing is, I don't know how enemy tracking behavior works in this one. I get the impression that they don't have a set range that they'll chase you to, and it's just, if you're within a certain distance of them, they will continue pursuing. It's possible. Big thing is we gotta... Oh, hello there. And you're stuck? You're just stuck? Okay, well... Oh, but you're... Wait, how do you regenerate health? Okay. Interesting. Alright. And how far are you going to chase me now? Well, you're gonna get stuck on some of that, it seems. But... what? Oh, but I can't target you like this. That's the really annoying part. But I... Oh, come on. And now I'm... Uh, where are you trying to get to now? I, oh, you're targeting my current location. Oh, interesting. Thanks. And... Uh, what if I... How much more do I... I need... To run a little more because I need... Ooh, 32 seconds worth of mana. Where to take this guy out. But the big thing is that... These guys... I'm not supposed to be fighting these guys right now at all. The only reason I'm even remotely able to do it is just because... Magic is that overpowered. We need three more magic points to do this. Okay, cool. And this is... Unknown hero soul. Oh, a hero soul. That's fun. Thanks. Should have enough now, but... So these are actually blue-eye knights. 
Oh my, and of course you're grassing. I hate you so much. Come on, just when you use your grass. Well, okay, no grass right now. Come on. Uh, I guess I could, in theory, try to get them down normally, but that is not going to be how I want to do this. Come on. 30 seconds of generation from the ring. Big thing is, I... Ooh, terrain got in my way. I don't think I'll be able to... If I weed you down in here, I can circle around. How are you gonna drop down in here, will you? Come on, if you drop over this way... Getting kind of confused by the terrain, and I... Oh, come on. All right. Let's just keep on running. Oh, my... Oh, what? Oh, wow! Okay. Instant death. Classic. Okay. Huh. So, maybe going over there right now is not such a good idea. First real death of the run. Okay. Big thing is, I, oh my goodness, all right. This is a big enough blood stain that I need that back. One, two, three, okay. Yeah, just, and that's the thing, is that being in body form is not mandatory, really, but the enemies in this game definitely are balanced. Because the enemies in the game are definitely balanced around you being in soul form, but you know, having double HP is certainly not a trifling difference. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, but right, I think that... Is it first area or inner ward that opens up? I think that might be the Old King's Crypt, which... If so... I want to get there eventually anyway, though. But of course not right now. It's probably why those phantom blue nuts were guarding it anyway. Well, we'll see. I, if at all possible, it would be fun to take those guys out. The big thing is just kiting them correctly and using distance well. And not getting struck by them instantly because I underestimated how many of them there were. So that's the thing, is that if I manage to engage them one at a time, they're no trouble really. And, of course, we can get you to fall down if we go ahead and fall down. Thanks. Classic. Hello, hello, one. Ooh, all right. And can we... There's no plunging attack in this one, too. Oh, that might be why I used the plunging attack on the Asylum Demon in Dark Souls 1. They wanted to show off the new behavior. That's cool. It makes sense to me. And can we hit... Let's get in. Did that hit anyone? I definitely did not hit them. Well, the big thing is that they don't have an attack ready for right when I cross the threshold, so we're okay. Ooh, that still hit. Okay, so it wasn't actually an uninterruptible, but did kind of prevent a degree of interruption. Mm -hmm. Let's keep on moving. Keep on moving. We're okay, we're okay. Come on, come on, and just out of my way, out of my way, and uh, range left a it to be desired there, and oh, I did not want firebomb moment, and fell down, and ooh, alright, die, these are grass, which we have plenty of, and in terms of equip load, oh, that greatsword really is weighing me down, I should drop that back off with stockpile Thomas, for since I get, especially since at least as of now, I can't even use the thing, okay, they were gonna start Throwing fire bombs, which means maybe using some magic could be a good idea, but we'll see. Thanks, one, two, three. Where are we going now? Okay. Then we'll loop around again, but oh my goodness. Do not want to get hit by either or any of your attacks. Whatever. One, two. Frankly, this would be a good opportunity to strike you down, and you're gonna move a bit, but even that shield only has about half magic defense. We're up here, and we can just send out two more soul arrows on you before you run. There we go. You couldn't run away fast enough. Thanks. One, two. Okay. Then we have... Oh, and every time you reload the area, 
that gets changed to. Oh, they're high. One, two, and nine. So normally they would be dropping six, I believe, because being on pure black world tendency actually increases enemy soul drops by 50%, which is really, really good, actually. It's part of why I do it. Just, it's fun to be at a, oh, but wait, no, no boulder. So is that missable? Is it a one-time thing? Oh, no, it actually did stay broken. I just can't see. Because the... Yeah, the boulder stayed down there. Okay. But what is interesting is that the trap only procs once. Pretty sure that in other Souls games, pro the trap traps like that can proc multiple times, at least comparing it to the Asylum trap in Dark Souls 1, which is probably the closest analog. Come on, just get over here, get over here. We take you out, and that spear is going to be aggravating. Thanks. But we can just do that, and wow. The damage of the crossbow is actually pretty impressive, but okay. And it does home in very, very slightly. Oh, we got a soldier shield, which is that better than what I currently have? Presumably, but I can't even use it yet. I don't have the strength for it. Points reinforced by metal, greater than ordinary wooden shield. Okay, cool. One, two. Take a couple of those spirit guys out, and then... Okay. Were you over here, and my blood stain is... No, I did get my blood stain already, that's right. Hello there, hi. So, once we can lock on in on you, we can... Thanks. Oh, but you... Cool. Interesting, and... Okay, alright, we need to... Smart about how we do this, but the spear ones are actually... Pretty easy to knock away, but you... Uh -huh. And... Yeah, that guard break was really, really good, too. More full moon grass. Big thing is, we can take on one of those red spirit guys at once, but we can't take on multiple, that's for sure. And if we keep on moving back, we have to wait for a lot of our stuff to regen, but it should be fun if we just keep on moving back, slowly but surely, and oh, I messed that up. Too far away, actually, but whatever. Thanks. Do this slowly but surely. We can take you out, and that should be fine. Cool. Nice. More half moon grass, but I want to move on a little because my mana will keep regenerating while I kill more guys over this way. And that said, this boy I note over here is probably going to be something I want to deal with. He's magic too, anyway. Oh, hello. Hello there. I. Uh, Alright. Thanks. Alright. Cool. And, uh, that homing was not entirely adequate. Thanks, and die. Cool. Ah. Uh, half moon grass and throwing knife. Feels good to be a wizard. Enter the fog, but that marks moving over to the next part of the area. I should probably want to poke around a bit more of the rest first. And acute foe lies in wait ahead. I don't like the sound of that. Somebody seems to be coming up the stairs. At least I hear somebody pacing. Got an item. I don't think there are any actual treasure chests in this one. How much does a firebomb wing? I decent amount, but yeah, I'm gonna want to use that on the boss of the area, because it's very weak to fire, and I don't have any source of fire damage yet. And oh, you're kind of stuck. Kind of. Thanks. Oh, and yep. They're explosive. Cool. Thank you for blowing yourself up. Kind of figured it might have been a good idea to stay away from that, and what do you know? I was right. So, okay, we got another fire-wielding, draggling, and you can just... Okay, but the ball damage dealt there was actually pretty minuscule. Where are you going? Okay, whatever. Poor guy, and... Oh, that... Wait, what did that do? Oh, it dropped a corpse down to the bottom. Okay. There's gonna be an item there, then. Why are you all running the same spot to try to engage me? Actually, no, because... Well, that'll do it. Did you die? No, you didn't die. Oh, I think enemy fall damage, unless they actually land on a kill plane, is a bit less 
Thanks, and all right. Thanks to. Oh. So we take advantage of the corners. Oh, well, they all blow themselves up. Great. That's one way to do it. Big thing is making sure I don't die. And, oh my goodness. All right. And, huh. Cool. So that's just one of you, but what if I... Ooh, ooh, I... All right. Turpentine, that's actually really, really good, because it... Turpentine lets me coat my weapon with fire, which, the question is, if I shot a soul arrow at these explosive barrels, would they blow up even though I'm not using fire on them? And, okay, they just break. Okay, cool. This is... Message, you'll find a ring pass here. So we're taking a bit of a detour, and also, well... Nice. Another ring, the cling ring. Okay. That... Not quite dropped out. Think there think there'd be a hint, and this is old ragged robes and old spice. Power. Female only tears and slightly open seams and slightly insects no seam. Person dare wear something like this, but so I can't wear that. This is one of the few, probably the only Souls game with actual gender exclusive armor. And I believe those are the clothes that Executioner Miralda wears, and we'll fight her later. Not right now. But I... Equip Burden is getting... somewhere. After I beat this level, I'm gonna have to go and put away my greatsword. Bastard sword I got, especially since it's not really a weapon. That really suits my build, at least, at least at the moment. I'm gonna want to get rid of it, at least for now. The Moonlight Greatsword is in this game, too. And it's also, it is a faith-oriented weapon instead of an intelligence-oriented weapon, which is interesting. The big thing about it, though, is that it's completely unblockable because it's composed of light. It's one of the Moonlight Greatswords that actually does pure magic damage, which only the Demon Souls Ma Moonlight Greatsword and the first Dark Souls is Moonlight Greatsword dealt pure magic damage, if I recall correctly. No, no, the Dark Souls 2 one did as well, I think. Thanks, and all right. Just block you down. This should be more than enough. Big issue is we can't get into that door because we don't have the key. But we can still kill these guys because magic is just that overpowered in Demon Souls. There we are. There we are. And you draw more late moon grass, which... Black Soul tends so you can proceed, and it appears to be locked, but it's not about that, it's about having a key. It might be a Soul tendency thing too, but I'm pretty sure it's also at least partially having a key. Let's continue onward. Okay. And we do want to be two-handing this as much as possible, because again, even though this is a dex weapon... My strength is so low that having my strength effectively go from 8 to 12 by two-handing it, because my strength is 8, gives it a decent amount more damage anyway. So we're reaching over here, and I think that's Strava of Boletaria over there. The prince. Jump down from here, a friend lies in wait ahead, and... Big thing is, yep, you can actually vault small walls in this one. Examine remains, thief's ring, and a. Oh well. That was a bolt jump. A surprise indeed. Thank you. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. All right then. As one does. That was a bolt well. Okay, cool. Said so, the best way to do this would probably be using a bit of magic, just taking advantage of my high ground. There we are. Cool. We talk to you here now that we've killed them without even having moved. Well, there's actually there are actually a couple more. And oh, but uh, it auto locked, but that tapping again broke lock. That was a bolt jump. Well, but oh, and then he goes down once we've killed them, and he will advance. Ah, uh, thanks for your brave rescue. So that we don't I have to go back up. Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you. Oh, brass telescope. Where are you going? going now. Is it some sort of magic on him? Oh, and he broke something because it was in his way, or what? Crescent Moon Grass. 
We'll see him again later on for one, but what next? Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. Oh, I, okay. But will you fight them at all, or what? He's just keeping his shield up. I should probably oh use some magic on them. But so are they trying to kill him, or are he trying to kill them, or? Okay, so what is he trying to take care of, though? Yeah, if an enemy had killed him, it would have been more than a little inconvenient. Okay. And... Crescent Moon Grass. He's gonna fight something we should probably support him, but... Oh, there's a boy I knight. Let's not... Yeah. Let's not let him die. Cool. Where are you going now? You're kind of... an imbecile. Attack, and... Oh my goodness, I have to follow this guy to make sure he doesn't die? Oh my goodness, okay. Come on. And, well, he is attacking a bit. Doing a bit of support, but I... Uh, feel like I gotta... Babysit this prince. He's leading me to some things, but... Oh my goodness. Soldier's Lotus, and... So where are you going now? I assume you might have been trying to help me with enemies specifically. They might have given you that kind of behavior. But literally, where are you pathing to? I can't tell. I... Okay? Janky? Okay. Now I must. Okay. So he'll stop if we do that, but... Flame weapons on the next enemy, and... Oh, goodness. Yeah, these are a lot of draglings. If you want to make sure he doesn't die, it might be good to... Hmm... I mean, he is also strong. He's not invincible, though, but... Giving him some support could be a good idea. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, but that was too close. No, it's being blocked by terrain. That's right. Okay, cool. And, all right. Oh, my... Ooh, all right. Thanks. Did actually work, but... Where are you? Where is he going? Don't know where you're going. Okay. Weird. Can't imagine he's just trying to show us around the place. And it might be the case, but... Hmm. Need to follow this guy and make sure he doesn't get his butt killed. The rest of him is fine. We just want to save his butt. So... No, but seriously. Going around so much. But I... Clearly still approaching over there, but... Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Where are you headed? Strava. Okay, so he seems like he was pathing towards enemies, but... Other than that, I... Where is he going? Ah, uh, okay. I mean, somebody is shooting at me, but it shouldn't be a huge problem right now. The big thing is... We could actually kill him right now to get the key to go into that mausoleum from before, I believe, but... Attack. And now you're going over this way again. So when are you going to stop moving? Will you stop moving? This is strange. Oh, but I... Oh, somebody's shooting at me from... Wait, what? Somebody was shooting at me from up there. Thought for a second they might have hit me because I touched... Touch that training dummy, but it did not seem to be the case. Crescent Moon Grass, and... Crescent Moon Grass. And... Okay, I think he's just pacing between certain areas. Which is interesting, I suppose. Would not really have expected that. But... Hmm. Keep on going over this way. Attack it. Oh, is this a... Wait. One of these gonna be an illusory wall, or... Also, can I vault over this, or... No, we can just go through. A scimitar. Can I wield that? Scimitar takes... Let me see. Oh, I can actually wield that. That... 80 plus 6 versus... 80. This is a fun one, but... It said it won't be as good against armor. It said I might want to use turpentine combined with... But I already have. 
As in the turpentine on this scimitar. Take out phalanx. See, slashing attacks are pretty good. Uh, the, the reach on it is actually... Gives a little bit to be desired, but... Should still be a good weapon for dealing with first boss its weakness to fire, because we have turpentine. Resin from a pine tree, cannot be applied to wooden weapons, ultra throwing, carry as a backup weapon, plug plug, large flame. And fire bombs should still actually be a little better, I think. We'll live. It's just the fact that Estrav is just pacing back and forth, doing nothing, is funnier than it should be. It's just what is Bro doing? I don't even know. The reach on the piercing sword is good too, but uh, we have various ways to fight already. It said the draggling should still be okay to deal with using the scimitar and range on that is one, two. Oh, but I, yeah, it's a little better. More than a little, actually. So in grass and Strava coming here now. And a slave shield and a broken sword. I actually want that broken sword. Question is, are you coming over here now that you see enemies coming? Or... Yeah, that, the damage is a little better. So you're just trying to accompany me? No, you just stop over here. Kind of patrol this area for some purpose and that is heretofore unrevealed to me. Okay. If you read this message, your mother will die. Send it to ten more people to prevent your mother from dying. Okay. Oh, okay. Kind of went up the stairs. We also kind of didn't. Mm -hmm. More stuff over here on the scaffolding, but... Let's check some of this out, and... Alright, get out of the way to... Get... This, which is an unknown soldier's soul, but somebody is shooting at me from over there, presumably. Didn't think you'd be able to actually. I think you had a crossbow. Well, whatever, we'll move in and two, three. Oh, my, oh, we ran out of. I think this costs a bit more stamina, though, compared to the other sword, which is possibly a comparative disadvantage. But this is. Wait, can I drop down? No, this is just where I came from. I thought that might have been a secret. Just had to make sure. And Estrava is still patrolling. No, seriously, what is he doing? This might be a shortcut, maybe. We'll see. And we have... It's over here and... Wait, what? I... Oh, alright. Thanks. One. Ooh, ooh, one. Two. Dodge it. Oh, my... Oh, okay. Oh, but if you get down here, well, will you follow me down here? Or... Big thing is, I was not intending to fall. I, okay, Estrav is still over there, but there were two more knights. So the big question is... Will they fall down, get tracked on Estrava, and... Okay, somebody was hitting, trying to hit something, but... Big thing was those two knights dropping down behind me. Kind of edging me out, but should be over here. Yeah, you're just right over there. Fun. One, two. Good stuff, good weapon, and... Oh, well, I... Never mind. I didn't think that would hit me, but... My frames I had were left a bit to be desired. Let's go through here. I need to find a way to get up to that guy. We're going to trap ahead, and... Is that going to be... Oh, it was probably those guys dropping down behind me from before. Hello there, hi. That will- okay, interesting. Two, three. Nice. Thank you very much. And then we have... What do we have? Got you. One. The range on this is... The animations in Demon Souls seem to poke through a little less far than the animations in other Souls games. Oh, but actually we could have... Ah, interesting. If... Well, you can blow yourself up, too. That works for me. Oh, but you threw a firebomb and didn't get hit at all. So, if we had actually not vaulted this ledge, we would have... Oh, okay. 
gone through over there and maybe been able to work my way back maybe a little more conveniently? Actually, probably not, because the axe guy would have seen me straight on and also actually caught me rounding a corner, as opposed to the way we got him this time, which is just, you know, going in from behind with his back turned. This is cool. The big thing is we need to... Top here, we can't get to much of an anything, actually, to get that guy we'll need. No, actually, we go up here. This is the way to proceed, then, and I... Okay, all right. One, two... Now, this is actually just fine. One, two, three, four, and... All right, then, fine. Half moon grass, and... The question is, what if we... Okay. One, two... Be recovery item, yeah, you think? Grass. Do you want to just check one more time to make sure what might be in this upper path that we went over before? Don't think there'll be anything. It should be okay. We'll see. Here's something patrolling, but that should just be a Strava. Yeah. Oh, but right, there was this over here. A merchant was in wait ahead. This should be the traveling merchant. Right. Check that, and cool. Thank you. Hello, draggling merchant. Good day to you. Care to look oh my goodness. He sounds like Bugs Bunny. Stolen, but who's telling you? What's up, Doc? Let's talk. Be a brave Not knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, you. make you go mad. Those who dare cling to the end of Great Boletaria. Terry don't sell sword deaths in battle, so they don't like the king. Skinny fab was over, some mission, that would be a straw buff. Stay safe, have the sun, buttons off his shirt. Okay, let's buy an item, and what can we buy? We could buy fire bombs, we could buy a... We can't... Oh, we could use the long sword, but... I think the... Scimitar I have is actually the best option I've got, but I don't need... Slave soldiers, wood shavings, a substitute, a shield is somewhat dubious. Then, de absorption weight durability breaks easily, and... Reduction on... Reduction percent. 80% out of 30? 80, 30, and... Wait. All shields that we have are physical, right? Full physical? That would be magic and fire resistance, presumably. Plate helmet, but we, uh, coat of plate, stamina, uh, we could come back later if we really wanted. I actually probably don't need much of armor, I'm not going anywhere. Because this game is slow enough that I can probably dodge most things. That would free me up, free my equip burden up, among other things, which could be nice. We'll see. The big thing is, I... Something should have looped around that I did not see loop around. In particular, over here, there should be... Oh, no, you just dropped down here. Okay, cool. That's this. Light crossbow and wooden bolt. Keep on looking. This is... Oh, and yep, it just led to that part over there. So I think the phalanx should be approaching soon. And oh, my goodness. That was more than a little awkward. And the damage we took... It's interesting how lenient fall damage seems to be in this game, considering how hardcore fall damage is in the original Dark Souls, as in the game that came immediately after this one. You would kind of expect it to be the, the other way around, especially given how lenient fall damage became in Elden Ring, which was after even that. Because in Elden Ring, fall damage isn't something you hardly ever have to worry about. Or at least it's very weird about it in the sense that fall damage is either not really something you have to worry about at all, or... The big thing is, is that the maximum distance you can fall without dying, as in dying instantly, is unchanged from the three preceding standard Souls games. But the distance you can fall before taking any damage at all is significantly increased. So any amount of fall damage, as in the range where you take actual fall damage, the range between no damage and instant death, is severely contracted. Just in case, in case this is a boss. This is not a boss. Okay. Which gives it 
kind of weird feeling in which gauging whether a fall is survivable at times can be very weird and complicated. Oh, there's a dragon right over there, as one does. Thank you. One, two. And all right. Ooh, okay. Interesting. We need to... Oh, okay. That was fun. Did not expect that to happen. Just let those balls roll for us. Cool. So that was pure dumb luck. Great. Trouble, please recommend this message. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, because it would give them healing. Sure. Okay. Yeah, a lot of dirty traps in this one. Well, it makes sense, given that you are invading a castle that's still occupied. Dragon over there. Eventually we can fight that thing. Eventually. We'll see. Hi. Hello. Then what's over here? And this descending stairs. I. Uh, you are magic fodder. Okay. Cool. We have enough grass that we can afford to basically use our bad grass, like garbage candy. And I, huh? Yeah, these guys in particular use their shield enough because they've got a spear to hide behind while poking that I can safely just toss magic at them without feeling like I'm wasting anything there. And this should be another shortcut back, presumably I. Thanks, cool. One, two, three. We do a shortcut in the other way. No time to read messages. Oh, but this where the dragon is going to fly through? There's a chance. Yep. I hear somebody coming. Very least, I can... Mm -mm. Come on. Yep, and there we are. Thank you. Thank you. And... Gonna breathe fire. On them, or not. Wait. So, in that case, I should probably activate a shortcut in case I die to the dragon and have to go back through. Forward without fire defense, dangerous foe lies in wait ahead, but oh, the dragon is just here. Where are the formidable foe ahead? That, oh, is that the red dragon and the blue dragon together? Oh, that's kind of crazy. Big thing is, need to make sure that the dragon does not hit me there. So need my fire defense. Dragon. As soon as I get the ability to level up, I might go back to Execution Grounds. I'm not quite sure. Oh, goodness. I... This might be magic time, maybe. Everything is far away enough that... And... Oh, but you're not dying instantly. Great for me. Great news. But... Now if I can just get you to run over, we can... And... Alright. Will you... Oh, great. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, but I... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So that's how that happens. Alright then. Thank you, Demon Souls. Okay. Big thing is gonna be making sure that we can survive our way back. Have a return trip. There are a lot of draglings around, a lot of fire barrels. And again, it's just, since we don't have the ability to even level up yet, I should have run away as soon as I saw the fire coming, but it lingered in one place for so long that I expected it to be maybe not easier to deal with, but a bit more casual, I suppose. Well, whatever. We have our shortcut now. Cool, cool, cool. One, two. That's the power of a fast weapon. You can actually interrupt their jump. Feels like Sekiro. One. Okay, nice. And two. Thank you. Get more grass. Yeah, you get a lot of grass drops here in Boletari. Oh, okay. One, two. Thank you. And... Okay, but it's the other one. Oh, but I think that this gate is actually the way to failings. This weapon's on the next enemy. That is a hilarious joke. So if you did that, you wouldn't be able to do anything, really, because they're all shielded, spear-wielding enemies. Okay. So actually, presumably, if we were you all out one by one, we'd be fine, but... Gotta avoid... 
kind of death. So many of them, and getting them to boil themselves up is probably not going to be a working strategy this time. Yeah, okay. Alright. Come on, come on. I, okay. Jump it. Okay, thanks. And you didn't get your own barrels. That's sad. Come on, then. Come on. On to... And then, let's just get rid of those gunpowder barrels. No reason to leave them there. And, alright. And, yeah, that should be everything that could blow up and just insta-kill me. But also everything that can blow up and insta-kill an enemy, too, which... Well, we'll win. One, two... Okay. Thank you very much. And presumably there's gonna be a Blue Eye Knight on the other side shortly, which... Well, whatever. Come on, come on, and one, two... Thank you, Scimitar. One, two. If I really wanted to, I could also upgrade this thing at the blacksmith. It is interesting how they give you access to a lot of weapon upgrade services and other services, repair and the like, before even giving you the ability to level. It's a very interesting choice. I wouldn't even... I, I won't say it's a bad choice, but it's definitely a strong choice. Because it does mean that you have to go through the entire first area, which means there isn't all that long. Just at whatever the base stats of your class is. And Dark Souls 3 arguably kind of approximates it in the specific sense of that. You have to beat Udex Gundir, the first boss, without... And oh, so Estrava's just walking through. You know, maybe I won't... Maybe I won't do anything. Maybe I'll just let him chill. Okay, and... Okay... That was decently rollable, which is good, but I, uh, got stuck. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you know what? Strava should be okay. He should be just fine. Don't predict him to be in all that much trouble into the draglings in here. M maybe I should go help him. Maybe. I, okay, right. Thanks. One, two, ooh, all right, thanks. Uh, spear guys are really, really tough. I, okay. Uh, alright. And just take you down and can I... Thanks. Cool. That is a time to use magic if ever I saw one. Big thing is gonna be just getting through the shortcut by the dragon so that the dragon does not kill me. That's the idea. And what if I break all these so that nobody can firebomb me? I think it would, frankly, be a great idea. And... Mm, one... Uh, but no, that didn't hit anybody. One... Thanks, one, two, three. Here we are, but... Our stamina is honestly really low right now. That is presenting some issues. But... Trump is over there and... Oh my goodness, he... Maybe I don't want to let him fight him alone. Thank you. Thanks. I uh, alright. Because if Estrava dies, then Estrava is dead, and that quest line has failed. Which would not be fun. Oh, they dropped a guillotine axe. It's also what Meralda uses, I believe. It's executioner NPC enemy, but I yeah, I'm gonna have to babysit him again because I died. That's annoying. Okay, luckily he'll mostly Stay away, but I... Oh, goodness. Uh, just go back, why don't you? Whatever. Come on. Well, you... You're not gonna firebomb anything, though, so... Thanks, thank you. Okay. All of you were decently vulnerable. Magic, but... Uh, gotta be kidding. Really? If any of them use any kind of fire, though I don't predict they will, that would just kill him. That would kill him very, very easily and very, very badly. And cool die. Alright. Thank you. And that special noise was... I don't imagine it was an item drop sound, but... Another broken sword, which I will need to make one of the better weapons I'll be able to use via via my build. So much crap. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kill this guy again. 
Thank you. Go ahead, die. Cool. Oh, but the big thing is, since the rocks aren't coming back, presumably, it means I'm gonna have to fight. Oh, that entire line of guys entirely fairly, which is not something I am going to look forward to. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, that is a weird position for you to be in, and die. Cool. Makes me wish they dropped a little more in the way of souls. Yeah, but just having to play Estrava babysitter is... I mean, not the worst thing in the world, but... Not exactly what you expect out of a Souls game, really. One, two, three. But I guess it does make sense in the sense that... You know, he might be a prince with really good armor and a unique sword and shield, but... That doesn't mean he has good situational awareness or knows how to handle himself in the fight. Upgrading some of these weapons could be nice. We'll see. But I'm not quite sure, though. That's a thing. There are other ways to get this done, but... Especially since most enemies that I'm going to fight, anything with a real consequence, probably going to want to deal with with magic anyway. Cool. And if I'm close enough, you just don't attack at all. Oh, but what? You didn't... that didn't kill you? That would probably kill me, or at the very least, I don't want to do a drop like that if I can help it. But just they... No, sometimes they do point blank you, but the hesitation that they had was really funny. I guess they're just Mika. Okay. Come on, come on. And... Are all the rocks gone now? Okay, actually the rocks... The rocks come back. So... Let me just... Oh, but we can... Oh, uh, alright. We have to break that ourselves. But then they come back. Oh, that's fun, actually. That's really cool. But oh, because they got broken by a crossbow before. Crossbow bolt, and that's why it happened like it did. Okay, now I understand. Soldier's Lotus, Poison Plague, status effects. I have to be aware of those later on. And got a spear guy over there. Let's take both of you out with magic. None of you are going to block magic. Okay, cool. Now, all there is to do is take on the dragon. Well, send the dragon through in a non-stupid way. Which is, you know, easier said than done, but whatever. Two, three. Some of this. And there we are. Regain lost soul. Wait for the dragon to torch everyone on the bridge and then fly away. And then we can probably run through. Hello, dragon. Do your thing. We're counting on you. It's very, very important. And, thank you, cool. I said, oh my, oh, that, how did that, did that even hit me, or, what hit me? Cool. And, alright. Then you run away, which means the bridge should be clear now. Presumably, but, oh, well, I, alright. Never mind. Okay. So, where is it clear? Okay, the big thing is... Ah, uh, we can take this guy down with magic. I think we actually have to. In the specific sense that we bait the fire breath, hit with one singular. Actually, Soldier's Lotus. Hmm. And, okay, you're going back to your original perch now, aren't you? I think. One, two, three, and said I probably should. Hmm. This is tough. I guess maybe the dragon might be gone now. Oh, no, not really. Okay, cool. Now you're gonna burn some guys. Cool. And there we are. Yeah, you got a flame scale demon soul. I'm taking out the dragon, which... Really, the only thing to do with it is consume it for souls, but it does give a decent amount. Huh. Taking out the dragon is a good idea. Oh, they're high end. Crescent moon grass. Oh, but uh, time was tough. Timing was tough there. And we just gotta run. We gotta run. Okay, cool. Thanks. And can we... Oh, but never mind. We could... 
Thanks, and take you out, or what? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. Coming back, so if we... Let's see over here, or we can... Keep aiming freely, or... Big thing is, I know for a fact, you can... I need to use that brass telescope. That's the thing. Don't need this, I need... Telescope Estrava gave me. Far off distance is clearly warped glass, comparatively advanced southern Boletaria. Interesting what it implies about the level of technology in this place. But... Mm, come through a couple of times, but... Uh, killing the dragon there is going to be pretty crucial, frankly. Well, eventually, eventually. But you'll... One, two, and... Oh my, okay. All right, let's just run over and leave. Oh, never mind. Damn. Okay, I I should have run over to the other side. That was really embarrassing. And the worst part is it means I'm going to have to babysit Estrava all over again because otherwise he'll just die. Ah, stupid. It's not a good way to hit it without the telescope. Magic combined with the telescope is good. Should probably buy some of that spice from the Dragling Merchant. That just really sucked. You know, I can slash through these guys quickly, but... Uh, okay. You know, playing on pure black is one thing, but it's not just that. That would almost definitely be a one hit kill no matter what happens. Okay. Yeah, but just... There are no other bonfires and no other arch zones. It's just... You have to go through this way, and if you don't manage, you don't manage. Uh, uh, at least we have plenty of grass, but... Yeah, exactly. You know, touch grass. People joke that the main character of Demon Souls is actually a humanoid cow. Because... They heal entirely just by eating grass. Suppose it isn't entirely inaccurate. Okay. The way I was getting more souls from this. I think that gives any amount of souls here is gonna be the Blue Eyed Knights. And, well, we got more turpentine, which could be good, but. Big question is hitting. I just need to run past the archers and try my best. Get to the other side. And. Presumably the dragon will pull something, pull a funny on me and turn around and just blast me far from the other side, but, you know, we won't know if it happens until it happens, so. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. One, two. The grass. And, okay. Cool. Thanks. I just... Uh, things will get a lot easier once I can actually level up. But I cannot level up right now. It certainly puts the opposite of a spring in my step. I will say that much. Half moon grass, and then throw a firebomb. And... Hello, hello. Throw a firebomb. Great. Go over and help Estrava again, because it will automatically go over now that that part's done. But... Uh, do decently well for himself and not perfectly, and he's just, well, not a perfect fighter. Again, you know, especially against that blue-eyed knight, there's a real chance that he might just die to engage him separately. Okay, well, that did the trick. I just, buying spice from that draggling merchant... Should help me take out that dragon. Depends on what I have and what I need. Frankly, I'll just try hitting it with what I have. Once I get in a good position with the telescope to shoot it. It is, quite frankly, a slow and painstaking process, no matter how you do it, no. And, alright, is that... That is enough range, which is nice. Thanks. Oh, but right. Soul Ray pierces. Soul Arrow does not. Which means... Some trouble. Thank you, thank you. Let's do it this way for the sake of 
ease of taking them down. Mm -mm. Okay. But all these souls for comparatively nothing to spend them on. That's what really irks me. It is what it is. Come on, come on. The big thing is that Gates of Boletari is pretty big. Everything else is much smaller. It should go by relatively fast. But we'll see. The Strava is no longer around here, which means we don't need to babysit him or anything, so... Ah, we'll, uh, come on. Please. Let's go over one, two, three, and... Right, thank you. More grass. The equip load should still be in a totally usable state, but... Funny thing is that you can vault over this, presumably, but there's nothing on top that would make vaulting worthwhile. It's just... congratulations, I guess. I think it... no, I think it might have literally just been that one wall, which is funny to think about. I can see... But that's just almost certainly why they changed. The jumping mechanics in Souls just going from certain walls being vaultable with no real indication other than, oh, maybe... It looks kind of vaultable to, okay, you can jump over certain things. And even then, it wasn't perfect, but it was a matter of standard platforming rather than, okay, some of these things are jumpable, some of these things aren't jumpable, good luck. Which is at least a bit more logical, I'll say. Two, three. Buying one spice from the merchant, if only to just use up what I currently have, would probably be a good idea, but... So did he blow himself up? He did not blow himself up. Should take you out. Cool. And will you drop anything? Probably not. Go over to the other side and... Take out... So this is rolled. Well, let's buy a bit of spice from the merchant. What can I do for you? That costs... Wait, can we not buy any... No, I can't buy spice from you. What was I thinking? Is there another merchant or am I just... Going so soon, or... I... Presumably I... Did I just have some spice, or... I just have spice. Generally sweet, fermented ingredients, sharp smell, and savory brewers prevented, prohibited in some regions. So presumably it's some sort of magic-enhancing alcohol. If it's fermented. So basically you... Drink some wine in order to use your magic again. This is funny. So... Thanks. Yeah, I do feel a little weak, but it's life. And the big thing is that I should be in a state rocket. Oh, goodness. I All right. We need to run. I'll run out of the way of you. And hello. Hi there. Hi. Could have gotten a quick hit on you, but... Where are you going around? I... Mm, okay. I... Ah. Block on in this game is very, very finicky. That's the one thing. Oh, but... No, that works. And I end up using a solar that I didn't need to use as a result. Big thing is, now I know that I can just unleash all the rocks pretty much instantly. Annoying thing, of course, that... Oh, come on. Gotta be kidding. That said, they don't move. We can safely ignore that guy. Break this. We'll send all that through. Send all the rocks down. Yeah, thanks. And then... Use this catalyst, which my crown, my coronet, is from the Yormidar family, so it's a familial lineage of magicians and silver catalysts owned to Yormidar magicians. So presumably the royalty, starting class, is Yormidar royalty, or maybe a pretender who killed someone or otherwise stole the crown and catalyst that would mark a member. Interesting enough. Hello then, hi. Thanks, and hit you with Soul Arrow. Big question is, how am I going to get over to other dragons? If I change my world tendency to pure light, I would actually be able to get everything done more simply by way of... Let's see. Just makes the dragon disappear entirely, which is funny. But getting white world tendency is a tall order. This game ends... Mm-hmm. A lot of you were coming now, but if we use the brass telescope and aim, we can hit the dragon. 
Let's switch to our telescope. Should be a safe location, more or less, but... Oh, never mind. Only if we... Excuse me. Only if we stay that... They'll actually breathe fire, it seems. So, oh, well. Okay. Got a winger a little to get you to breathe fire. Come on, come on. I need to kill those guys for me. Oh my goodness, this is more trouble than it should be, and definitely more than it's worth. And there we go, just breathe fire. I'm over here. Thank you, and oh, but it's only if I get onto the actual bridge proper, it seems, that they'll breathe fire at me, maybe. This is so finicky. Okay. And, alright. Get over here. I hear your wings slapping. I hear your wing flaps. Just get over here and let me burn all these guys down. They're coming back. This should be our opportunity. The question is, how much damage will this deal? And... Breathe. And there we go. You're breathing fire now, so... We can use our telescope to take you out. Cool. Oh, but... Oh, uh, oh, that's really bad, actually. It's really annoying, because it means that you cannot combine using magic with... Ooh, and also you're really, really strong. Ah, okay. It's possible to kill you, but it's really, really annoying. You have to free aim it up here like this. And, oh my goodness, uh, okay. Thanks. All right. Well, this is something for sure. Okay. So, there we go. We gotta figure out how to free aim this, but the issue is that it takes into account the free aim camera angle and just... This is more or less a uh, way. We can get two off per if you aim it really high, but... Killing this guy will guarantee free passage, but again, it's... End of the first stair should be... More or less fine, and another hit. And the first staircase guards us from the fire. Thank you. Cool. Nice, then we run. Go back over this way and start ending up. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, and cool. Ah. Spinning a bit too intensely. Big thing is, is I think it might have some small level of HP regeneration, which is worrisome for me. But we will uh, get we hit. But how much HP does it even have? I not sure. Okay. And then we can aim up until we just barely don't see the stairs. And wait, what? None of that hit? Okay. And the big question is just if I use the telescope to aim this. Will this hit? Okay, that actually works kind of fine, and the best way to do it is go right past these stairs and do it so we can just barely see, barely see the stairs, and that should be just fine in terms of hitting, unless we aim that wrong somehow. What in the... really? Really? Okay. It's just so finicky, and walking on to the dragon is also just... Not something that will usually work, too. And yeah, we hit twice, but... Uh. And now, that if I can guarantee a hit... Guarantee two hits per... It won't take all that long. That's a thing. But to actually get you... But, uh, what can I... This is really aggravating. Mm -hmm. This is not the most efficient way to do things, but... It works, it works. The big thing is just... Uh, come on. Thanks. Cool. Don't really have any other ways to hit me all that adequately, which is nice. Thanks. Cool. Five per arrow. Just go back. Aim over there. Aim over there. And... Oh, come on. Just... Thanks. Hit. Should use. Maybe some more spice soon. This... Uh, uh, it's tough. And roll back immediately, and once you're getting close, roll, hit, and can we, nice, 
Uh, one is... One is fine, but the others are not. Anything I can guarantee we need to get rid of a lot of this then. Uh, the items in our inventory do not need to be in our inventory right now. How does... Wait, what? Okay, it goes way off. It's really annoying. Let's use our spice. Have that on there, and just... And of course you're gone now. Thanks. Okay. Crescent moon grass. Getting close. I'm sure you're gonna get back. I... Come on. And, oh my goodness. I, okay. Thanks. Uh, now you're over here. How much are you gonna be able to... Whatever. I don't even care anymore. One. Oh, there you are. Cool. And you're gonna breathe fire. Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Thanks. And just immediately go back. Immediately go back and hit. Thanks. Alright. Use the spice. And that's good. That's a good amount. Just breathe and... Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, cool. Just one. Two. And... Oh, for whatever reason, it always skews really far left. That's really strange. Okay. And, uh, but... All these guys, the crossbow guys, are utter agony to deal with, though. They firebomb and... Hmm. Okay, well, let's get that, at least. Hi, okay. Coming back... Damage is slow, but what's a, what's a Souls game without an early game annoying dragon fight? Coming back now. Thanks. Oh, but it's the Hellkite Wyvern that has significant HP regeneration. I don't think this one has HP regen, I don't think. But the big thing is, we need to stay pretty far to the left. To the right, actually, because it skews left for whatever reason. We have to face right, basically, to actually hit anything at all. Just weird. And just face right a little, and here we are, just hit. Thanks. Oh, how'd you mouse she Upper Latria? I'll try? I'll try to get there, but it might be later. The big thing is, is I don't have- wait, what? Oh, and it hits that too. Okay, I- that was a fun idea. I cannot afford to find the dragon now. I need Soul Ring. I need Soul Ring. Thank you for the follow either way. It's nice to meet someone new. But I literally just started. I can try to rush to Upper Latria. I actually plan on going to Latria immediately after Boletaria 1-1 for a number of reasons. But it will probably be a little bit until I get there. Apologies. Because right now I was trying to kill the dragon. I just don't have the magic or the spells for it. So I'm gonna need to go kill Fool's Idol, get Soul Ray, and then try that instead. The Soul Ray, it costs more, but it is ultimately just a better Soul Arrow. Frankly, I probably wouldn't have had the MP to kill anyway. I just... Ugh, that was really obnoxious. Yeah, thank you for popping in, Robin is cool. Are you also rushing from Soft's catalog in advance of Shadow of the Earth Tree coming out? Because that's what I'm doing. Trying to beat this so I can start an Elden Ring playthrough shortly, but oh, and right, I need to babysit Estrava again. I stupid, stupid. He'll move on after I beat Failings, though. Just can't afford to waste any more time in one dash one. Okay, cool. Die, die. Thanks. You very much. Go over here and I think I'll be doing this again on either tomorrow or Wednesday. I'll be posting my schedule to Twitter and Discord later tonight for the coming week. And based on when I'm going to be doing... Oh my goodness. When I'll have time specifically to do more PS3 Souls. I just... This is obnoxious. Just The big thing is that in Dark Souls, you can actually survive a hit from Hellkite normally, but in this, you're just... There's no way to live a hit from the dragon here, at least in soul form. Body form might be different, and Water Veil with Gravel Week maybe make a difference. Big thing is just... Hitting that guy is going to be obscene. 
And, oh, well. Go ahead, drop down. Oh, my lord. What are you gonna do? If you're gonna chase me, I... Thanks. Oh, what? Oh, my... Ah. But having target lock was... Oh, you flew. You absolutely flew. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. One, two... I... Cannot afford to fight these guys again. I just need to... Go through, run past the dragon, come back with actual levels. I'm not beating that guy at level one. Maybe I could, but I don't want to. It'd be too much pain and suffering. Oh, they're high. Let's get that blue eye knight in here. Still got your shield down. One, two, three, four. Okay. Cool. Go that way and go back down. Take care of the funny prince. Then take out the blue eye. Free to throw a firebomb and drop down here. Thank you, thank you again. And run over. Vault that. Why couldn't I vault over there? Gotten stuck or something? Wait, it's just. Ugh. He takes those out handily, but. And the blue eye knight is possibly another story. One, two, okay, cool. I just... In most Souls games, the difference between... Because the Bullai Knights are stronger, but they're not Black Knight tier. It's just they're stronger than other enemies. The disparity in soul drop between them and actual standard trash mobs is way different than, say, in Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2. It's almost as if... You know, it makes the other guys almost not even worth fighting, which is interesting if it's a deliberate choice, which it almost certainly is. Just most things you can generally run past or afford to ignore, but these guys are different. Thank you, thank you, and alright. Cool, I'll get rid of you, but... No, really, what is that sound? Oh, maybe a special item drop, because that guy dropped a nail breaker. Okay, cool. So we go through again, we kill, avoid wh whatever I can. Big thing is, as long as we can make sure that good old Estrava does not die here, we'll be okay. Oh, but, oh, that guy's uniquely strong. Okay. I am not going to get past the dragon. You know, I'm going to get past the dragon, I'm not going to kill it. It's, the flame steel demon soul you get from it is good, but, wait, what? I need to, close out, close out, close out. Okay, cool. That should maintain my bloodstain. Okay. So where am I now? Where would I be now? Okay, that was stupid. That was really stupid. That's the wrong window. I am quickly losing my sanity. You know, someone said, you know, you're, an, you're a lunatic for wanting to play Demon Souls. And, you know, maybe they were right, honestly. And where am I? It's the last time it saved. When does it autosave? Big thing is that the autosave in this one is a bit different. So I'm in Boletarian Palace and... Wait, wait. If it saved at 136, where did... Huh? Okay. I'm confused then. Just killed those guys and... The big thing is that you can cancel death by quitting out with proper timing. There are a number of other things you can reset by quitting out, which is makes quitting out oftentimes a good tactic. In particular, there are these treasure enemies called Primordial Demons that will drop decently rare upgrade materials on only pure black world tendency. And they're interesting because they don't actually drop their drops for certain. It means that, okay, I should be using magic here. They don't drop their drops for certain, which means that if you don't get their drops, you're actually best off quitting out. And because that will oftentimes just reset their drop chance without leading to you missing their drops entirely. Yeah, I think... Honestly, it's smart 
that they changed the game so you can't just reset. Well, because other Souls games have autosave on player death, which is, again, not the case here specifically. Which is a bit more unforgiving, but it exists for a reason. It's to prevent safe scumming tactics, which, you know, I don't... It is a stylistic choice that the developers made for reasons, and I respect their artistic liberty. That does not mean I always like the consequences of it, though that said, it's not necessarily something you're supposed to like. It's something you're supposed to engage with and deal with. And the big thing is we got a uh, crossbow guy to deal with. Half moon grass, and I think that was the auto save icon. Big thing is, is, that means I could actually be... If I had known to do it, I could have actually quit out right after the dragon killed me and just gone back on the bridge. Well, that's fun. Didn't expect that to hitbox me through the wall, but... You know, wonders never cease here. Land of Boletaria. Or Boletaria, depending on the NPC. I do actually find it a little charming how the pronunciation seems to be kind of inconsistent. Between Boletaria and Boletaria, based on who's talking, it, in a weird sort of way, it makes the world feel a little more lived in, if you catch my drift. That's some sort of linguistic difference in certain ways between certain people. So that tracking is actually not all that good. Big thing is, can you use the dragon to clear this out for us? Probably be our best way to do it. Running out of crescent grass, but we'll live. So if I see over here, it will breathe fire on you, torch everybody, and I do mean everybody. Cool. Should just fly off now and not come back. So, we're gonna breathe fire a second time and we can just run away. Alright. Alright then. And will you go back over there, or are you just going to leave? And are you going to breathe fire again, or... This is your cue to leave. Okay, cool. So in that case, we can lure more people over, but this is going to be a whole thing. This is a whole thing. And just... You back over here, and... Dragon might be coming back. Presumably. We fight so many of you at once before it becomes completely untenable. And, oh goodness, well you are weaker. You require a bit of this treatment, but we'll live. And, no fire. It means you've lost interest in me. Okay, for now, for now. It is cool that the crossbow bolts actually go through some of these walls because of how low they are. Definitely makes things a bit more interesting. Some of these guys are a bit harder to deal with, too. And there we are. Let's just see what happens when you come over here. Actually, now we've gotten over this way, I don't think the dragon is coming. Maybe. And where will you... Ah, okay. Ah, so this is how you do it. This is how you do it. So if I wanted to, I could fight the dragon from here. It might be a better idea in that case, but uh, that's not a breakable wall at the moment, at least. Then, Unknown Soldier's Soul. Still over here, if we get behind you, we'll keep burning. This isn't really a direction sensor, then. And this opens up the main gate, presumably, so I can actually fight Phalanx. Hello, then. Hello. Hi. Oh, and we got some sound design for that, too. As one does. The classic. Let's just go over here and... Oh! And a giant spear has been thrown. Hmm. The Phalanx's own spear, presumably. So then... Oh, okay, well. A couple more guys over here. One, two... This is treasure ahead, presumably. Or so they say. Let's break this and see what we can get. This is... What is this? 
Oh, on the other side of this impassable door. Turpentine. Oh, to use that against failings. Fun. All right, then. Or crescent moon grass. Presumably this should lead around to the gate. Oh, then hi, one. Oh, but I... Ooh, ooh. And these guys are magic, for sure. Go at them with magic. Ooh, all right. That sweep was different. Okay, cool. That probably would have killed me if it had connected. Hmm. Then anyone else in here? It's interesting how in lieu of a torch we just have the ability to uh, light up our immediate surroundings. Reminds me a little bit of Sekiro, actually. This is night vision really only applies in dark places, but he does have night vision. And oh goodness, oh goodness. And go ahead, fold down and take surprisingly small amount of damage. I think enemies specifically just take flat damage from full damage instead of- Oh, and you are throwing that. Okay, great. All right. So that's a single phalanx. Oh, but what's interesting is that presumably if we can approach it from behind, it'll be a lot easier to deal with, so. Hmm. This is- Oh, but you're not blocking magic. Or at least it seems like your shield does not block magic. And yet, then, from behind, we can go back through more easily to wherever this is going to be, but... Oh, hello, phalanx again. Where is this? This is... The unknown hero's soul. And then... No time to read messages. Fun. Oh, but... Two, three, four. Interesting. I... All right. Oh, but the shield is... Interesting. But a bunch of those guys right there is going to be... The boss of the area. So we're just going to proceed onward and oh my goodness. It said you are weak to magic, so. Oh goodness. Okay, cool. Thanks. And use a bit of grass before we get hit too much. And what do you drop? You dropped a large sharp stone shard. Oh, interesting. Okay. One, two. A lever ahead and that just leads back to the boss area. And grass, and that opens up both, which... Well, it's not like there's any extra treasure there, but... Big thing is, this leads back to the dragon, which... If we stay behind it, we can probably take it out with relative ease. It's at least worth a shot. Hmm. Because you have to lock... If you lock onto it... Hit it when you can lock... Probably not going to be able to hit it at all, but if you hit it right before, it's lockable, if I heard correctly. Should be decently easy to get, but... Anything down there? Probably not. That looks like certain death. Hello, then. Oh, that's an interesting mountain. It's almost like prayerful hands. Okay. So if we can stay behind it, presumably... Word over here and then stay behind it. Do not hear the dragon coming. I. Hmm. So, what triggers its approach? I guess the big question is also if I tried hitting it from over here, would it just immediately torch me or. Probably. Hello then. Hello. What are you gonna do? If I. Do you see me? Can I hit you from here and just... Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, I... It's only the bridge. Literally only the bridge. Okay. Oh, but now there's a fog gate there. Okay, well. I will come back to fight that dragon after I've gotten Soul Ray for myself. It's not something that's really time sensitive, and I cannot afford to waste that much more time in here if I want to clear this game with any semblance of alacrity. Uh, Phalanx is over there, but I need that. Oh, actually, I could have just. That's right, I could have quit out. <laughs> I should have quit out. Well, whatever. 
Cool. But I don't really need that brass telescope then. If I'm going to be using law to hit it. There's another fog wall, the one for Phalanx. Cool. Two. Then one, two. I guess it's a question of equip burden and. Oh, that's fun. I like that the spear is actually still there as an object in the world. Then we can just go through here, take out the remaining failing skies. Use my magic though. Take another crescent grass. Try to wave through those guns just to get my blood stain. Kill phalanx. Level up decently with the souls I've got and mana. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. This is certainly something. Okay. We're very weak to fire. That was the thing. Okay. Hmm. And also relatively weak to magic, but literally everything in this game is, so... Hello then, hi. Thanks, and... Oh, we were too far away. Oh, the terrain is getting in a way, but whatever. Thank you, thank you. Take some of that. And then we'll... Take out the draggling over there. We just cannot afford to... Weave this, any of this up to chance. Then, can I hit you from here, or... That actually hits the phalanx barely through the side. Okay. Magic spam, magic spam, magic spam. This is the way to do things. Come on, come on. I... Mmm, thank you. Cool. Hardstone ends. For a second I thought he was still alive, and if so, he probably would have torn me a new one. That would have not been pleasant, but... Can approach the other guys entirely from behind, we should be okay. Oh. Crescent grass, we don't have all that much of, but we're getting so much of other kinds of grass that it's not like it matters all that much. Okay, cool. Die. One, two. This. Pretty soon, I'll have more HP, presumably, and be able to actually use other kinds of grass effectively. Oh, thanks. Okay. So I've got how much? So much half moon grass. And a decent amount of weight, Moon. And I've actually got more full than late. Okay. Go back through here, kill the dragon, and... Okay. So... Not kill the dragon, but avoid the dragon. So that I can kill Phalanx, and then I can kill other things. I... Okay. But I can't use that Nexial Binding, because if I did, I would... And uh, just losing all my souls, and that's not something I want to happen. Okay. Cool. Great. And at least the spear guys are instant one taps. That's some relief. Thanks. The crossbow guys actually put up a lot more of a fight than you would expect from guys with just crossbows, but thanks. And one, two, and oh my. The lock is finicky right now. Those guys are coming faster, which means they will intercept your charge with a bit of that magic. Thank you. Over. Kill the crossbowman. Go back in my bloodstain again and pray. So I think it's only coming one way that actually activates Dragon's appearance, but really I could always be wrong. Two, three. Happens more often than I might like to admit. Two, and... Oh, alright. So you have a spear, actually, but... Why well, weren't we using that before, then? It's a better suited weapon. And thanks, Jot. Okay. The timing on the... Grass takes weirdly long to eat, is the thing. Two, three, and... Oh, okay, we actually managed to avoid one just by staying out of the way. Here we go, last guy, and then we can kill Phalanx using a bunch of... The big thing, and I think this is part of what they were probably trying to replicate with the blood vial system in Bloodborne, is that since enemies drop grass, if you know what you're doing, you can oftentimes just keep going in a level without having to go back once you run out of healing sources, which is part of why they can afford to have literally one archstone per level. As in other Souls games where you just can't do that, it would become an untenable design decision. 
Okay, we got our souls back, and that is indeed a lot. Might be good to maybe invest in more armor eventually, but maybe from that draggling merchant. But the reason I'm questioning that is that... The reason I question that decision is... Our item burden is actually getting quite high. Because we've just got so much grass on us. So we're probably actually going to need to leave some grass behind and go for a sort of acquire on site mentality. I mean, for the next areas. Hmm. Well, if it works, it works, but it's just... I've so much my inventory way down like grass is funny. The big thing is, is that I'm going to get some very, very heavy armor on my return trip here. So to use that, well, we'll see. I do gotta go to Latchery, though, right after this for a number of reasons. Including if our friend Robin is still in chat waiting for help, which... I don't know. I would not blame them for taking their leave if it's taking me as long as it is, so... The big thing is, we want to use Turpentine, and we should put this in our quick bar. Actually, we could put some Half Moon Grass in there, too. Then turpentine, put fire on our scimitar and we'll be chilling. Cute foe ahead. Don't go forward without a flame weapon. Alright. Let's do this thing. Use our turpentine and start throwing stuff at us, but we'll be okay. We just gotta set out of the way. And oh, oh, alright. Gotta roll over and can we Nice, nice, nice. And cool, we can take down some of it, but it's the middle that we have to try to take out. The big thing is, oh, and there's some individual offshoots also, and that, nice, cool. The damage added by the turpentine is actually less than I might expect, but whatever. And die. Ooh, alright. That's some grass. They should start maybe flaking off individually now, maybe. It's possible, I, oh, but I, oh, what, what, huh? Okay. Actually, actually, I... I should just spam magic, honestly, and use turpentine when I start running out of MP. Because the phalanxes are still exceptionally weak to magic. Fire would be better, but I don't have any fire spells yet. You know, eventually I would be able to get flame toss from Freak's Apprentice, but that would take, you know, beating 1-1, because until you do that, you can't buy any magic. Okay. Either way, we should clear some of our inventory out, and then, yeah, once we get Soul Ring, get a bit stronger. Honestly, given that killing the dragon is by no means mandatory, I'm just gonna come back much later. The souls won't be as useful, but I won't have to worry about just dying. That's the big thing. Thanks, one, two, roll. And take you out. Thank you very much. Cool. Have more dragglings around here, and we'll live, we'll live, and oh, well, the wall prevented me from hitting you, but you still managed to get me. That was more than a little unpleasant. Okay. One, two. Thanks. Let's go on in and get my bloodstain back, first of all. We can take on some of the little phalanx guys. Thank you. Cool. Got enough MP that this strategy should be more than workable. I guess the big question is what do they drop? Because I saw an item drop before, but I didn't actually get it. Well, if I one, two hitting them on the non-shielded side is, as you would expect, a far significant far superior strategy. And they should be shedding now, actually. Oh, they're shedding already? Wait, okay. They've already started shedding. Oh, but now I think they're a bit more aggressive, which is annoying. That core in the middle is the actual weak point on them. This is not going to go from a two-hit kill to a one, one hit kill no matter what I do, so... I should just take my time with this. Oh, well, they're high. It's a cool cool theme. Cool music for the fight, but... And, you know, you get a good amount of souls from killing each one. No reason to rush this, though. A bit silly, but, you know, whatever works, works. Everything else will be a lot more of a stomp, presumably for a number of reasons. Primary one being just... 
Well, being being able to deal with enemies that aren't, you know, shielded on one side like this, and enemies where magic will be even more overpowered than it usually is, but we'll be alright. One, two, three, and ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, Phalanx. It is nice that their shield is 100% block, at least. That would make things kind of impossible. Oh, they dropped Sharp Stone. Interesting. That wasn't what I was expecting. Frankly, I was expecting them to drop some grass. Well, whatever. Big thing is, I should buy spells with souls I have. Some pretty big purchases. Also, it immediately make me <clears throat> decently more effective at what I'm trying to do. One, two. Ooh, alright. Thanks. One, two. And one, two. Cool. We kill all the phalanxes, and presumably the boss itself should be a sitting dog. It's got its core, but its core is helpless without its protectors. Pretty sure, but what is interesting is that it seems that going for the ones that had already broken off was what led to it leading for more, having more go off of it. It certainly seems that way to me. Okay. Short of Hardstone ends. So now it's mostly detached entirely. You gonna get any more, or is this just gonna be it? Big question for me is... Would it immediately... Mm, when all of them would presumably die along with it when we killed the boss... Would it drop the amount of souls we'd get from killing them, or what? Or not? Okay. Oh, but they can't actually aim at me all that well. Oh, but now it's advancing. Oh, so the more you kill, the faster it can move. That's funny. I like that. Makes sense, but I didn't even think about that. Uh, and why was that one stuck on a wall? Well, whatever. Uh, let's take a few more out and... One, two... Thank you. How much more is here? One... All these shields on the ground. And this is actually... And in the remake, they chain they added the silhouette of a woman, not a random woman, but of Longbo Ulan, who is one of the three Bulletarian Knights we meet later on in the game. Because the Phalanx was actually a demon created from her soul. Yeah, so once I actually take down every segment, we'll even be- Oh, congratulations! No more annoying guess? That's good. Two, three, four. Ooh, alright. So, two more blobs on the phalanx now. Oh, I'm doing alright. It's been hard and the dragon's been really troublesome, but... I'm glad that you can hear me now. Okay. Thanks. This is the game's first real boss. Which I'm fighting in a very silly way, because I could have just... Focus on taking down the main body. Can the main body even attack? The main body can't even attack. Wow. Okay. How much will magic do? Yeah, that's good. But I can just... Yeah. It's a blob with a bunch of... Enemies around it, which is why it's the phalanx. So we got our turpentine weapon buff. One, two, three, four. And now it's just a sitting duck. I was not able to, because... They were in a much later game area that I don't have access to yet. Yeah, it's a tragedy. There we go. Demon was destroyed. She'll obtain the demon soul and a power beyond human imagination. Oh, the phalanx is trophy. Fun. Revived and I got body form back. Exciting. Bring more souls, slayer of demons. So the big thing is... Singing voice. Lead demon soul. Make a special spear with that, among other things, so... I'm just gonna go back to the Nexus, because now I can up a lot. So I got some vendors here, too. Hmm. Welcome huh? back. Thank you. Classic feet. Not sure how I feel about that. The monumental Covered in the above. wax. Then... All the way up, or... All the way up. Okay, in that chamber. Fun! I'll have to go all the way there. Great stuff, really. 
The monumental will explain, explain the, the nexus to thee. The nature of everything here, but... And then, presumably, I can level up. Presumably. No other. Still a, this is Does that interest you? After the, the flames. After the flames. So literally a flower keeper, I secluded. No other. Flesh and blood with their power life. into a foul beast. Thank you. What's See it here forever and be safe. How obnoxious. Either way, we should get our initial miracle and sorcery trainers now. And among other things, that will also mean... Just spend all of our souls on those, even though it'll be some time until I can actually make use of them and is... Oh, wait! It's up here. Up here. Okay. So presumably the monumental would be sleeping. I did not see the side pathway. Not over... not over here either, but... Wait. Wait. Huh? Now, how high up can I get here in the Nexus? Those other little guys seem to also be smaller monumentals, but... Interesting. Get the key you can proceed. Oh, so... The Pantheon? That... Wait, so... Hearts are breaking. So what in that case is this? Oh, it's a leaderboard! That's really cool. Phantom saved. Honored NLK. Oh, that... That's a really cool idea. I didn't know that was a thing that existed. It's interesting that they didn't bring anything like this back for future Souls games, but... For trouble, there's an item. Oh, a stone of ephemeral eyes, which allows you to... Regain body form at your leisure. Okay. Hmm. Well, all right then. Big thing is that you could actually... This would be the kind of thing you would probably cheese, but... Can't see first. Maybe it glitched out. Okay. Yeah, because you can just cheese. Soul gain by using duplication glitches. Which they never patch, which is honestly kind of a good thing, because it... Cuts down on possibly wanting to grind a max level if you want to do that. I'm aware that the audio is bugging out. It does tend to kind of do that in the Nexus. It gets mitigated if you turn down resolution. And I did turn down resolution. But if I turned it... It's at 75% right now. 100, there was a lot of static zones. At 50%, the static's gone. But the game is almost unparsable. So I couldn't do that. Monumental should be here. Around here, and I can talk to him, or it, or them. I don't think they really have a defined gender. They're basically people who have sacrificed themselves to basically prolong the world. Which, wait, where is the monumental then? The big thing is that it would be really, really annoying to get back to the start because there's nothing like a homeward. Guaranteed you a stone more and Oh, another stone of ephemeral eyes. That's cool. So where is the monumental we can actually talk to? Where are you? Is this... Ah, uh, you're the one. Slayer, Slayer of demons. One, one of them. Preserve the fact of reality. Needs to know. A script of demons face before. Oh, a cutscene. In the distant past. Past. I went to the soul arts, but the soul arts are evil. Until a lust for power causes the awakening of the old one. The swords originate Across from the, the old deep one. Deep fog. So presumably the, the swords will be gone if we save the world from the, the old one. Of demons. And be, we were able go back to its slumber, people, but it's stirring again it. because Alon did it. Yet only after the loss. But that's one of the reasons people believe Bloodborne might take place in the world of Demon Souls. Because it would explain why there's no real magic there. Because once you lull the old one back to sleep, which is one of the possible endings of presumably the canon one, six elders, but of course one was broken because they couldn't finish the area in time for the game's release. Small yet diligent, Votorian Kingdom, Votorian Palace. Stone Think Tunnel. 
Surprisingly a bit more Why? narrative. The wise queen. The great ivory tower. That'll be Latria. One. To the chieftain was in ill fortune souls, and soul. would that be your or probably not? One. To the shaman. But the tempest was So there are the ones we fight. We fight their storm king. And the giant manta ray they worship, basically. Of the northern land. Well. The archstones were placed at nodes. The giants did not end up in the game. At nodes. She contained the old one inside this nexus. And then the swords. But people kept using it because of King Alvans. Finally, we became half living. Half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. So they sacrificed their lives themselves. As one does, I guess. Alas. Mm. The other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. How tragic. Hmm. All right, then. Four sealed archstones have been released, so we can now it is your, if not, go away and seal the old ones, all, all that we, that know. we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Sure. Yes. Hmm. We are fortunate indeed to, to have you. Oh, did I just now, miss? Destroy every last demon. Our oh, demons will new servant seeker to its bosom, and then we can put it to sleep. We neutralized the, the swords with the archstones and, and became However, monumentals. Memories short. The mistakes perish long forgotten. And, and awoke the old one again. The monument and the sh okay, cool. Interesting how they the shorten the, the dialogue. Shorts. But they don't just repeat it, but shorten it, and with this, this could lead to... Oh, you can't actually go over... Wait, can we... So that is a way out, but... Can't afford to fall down, and... Well, for one, we would lose body form if we fell. Okay. The question is, where will the remaining vendors be? I know that the Disciple of God and... Sage Frake's apprentice show up somewhere, presumably down here. The big thing is we can level up now. Brave soul who fears not death. So set of the start too. Prithee. Roll back to its ancient slumber, blue and white eye stone for summoning other people and being summoned ourselves. Reconnect, lose your form, remember the eye stone. Control soul in human souls, allows her to aid the slayers of demons. What is it? Does that like soul power? Sure. So be, so be after all, required strength. Go forth, the touch the demon inside me. Let these own souls, the souls become, thy, become thine own. Just basically, this is more or less the basis of the touch of the darkness within me that the Firekeeper in Dark Souls 3 says. And the Firelink in Dark Souls 3 is also a bit like the Nexus As here in that it's I cut off from the world. I keep the candles, the candles lit, serve the slayers. I keep the hmm. I keep the okay. I shall I For now, we will try to learn some magic. Hello, you're right here, weak guy. I have seen. I swore. We did to know you to him right away. Abandoned him, but we can learn magic. Oh Lord, five. I'm trying to punish myself. Oh, but will she have something to say now that? Back in the time. We blow the castle. Left on strange events. Return with demons. The, the demons and madmen, and shudders. Stone shard keeps sick of the grandfather may not have survived. Hmm. If I did And would that be a talisman or and is that disciple of God or Oh honorable one? Imagine your present state, no one shall ever continue to pray. I'm in such misery. Oh honorable. Okay, so he's not selling to... anything. You are oh, disciple of God, quest by the demons. We have not faith. God's power so from the same cloth. A miracle that heavenly yes, axe spells are demons. They They're actually the same things. And yet, one is called one evil, clearly good, servants of the demons. Because the entire deal is that the god that Urbane and his followers worship is actually just the old one. And the reason that there's nothing like lightning and explicitly holy damage type in this game is that. Miracles are just another kind of magic, which is why actually the strongest healing spell is not a miracle, but a sorcery. A miracle. They have mag okay. A miracle. Repeating, let's learn some miracles. And oh, evacuate his. That's expensive. That could be... Mm, that could be useful. Entry cures of poisoning, recovers HP during lonely journeys. 
Hidden soul. Well, I... Mm, let's see what else we can buy. Miracle me Mimic his greatness. I will do some of that later then. Presumably, the apprentice should be over here. And some sorceries. Hello then. Are you here to face the demons? Yes. If so, please free Sage Freak the visionary from the dungeon of Latria. That was my intention. I will help you however she I can. Elementary spells. Sage Freak is, is a gleaming hope for human kind. Alone. Alone. Freak is a great this is my sword for human invitation. Study in Boletari, in Boletari in the greater things, meet must... him as soon as possible. All the more... Okay. Then, okay, this is good. Very useful. Then we have one memory slot, though, is the thing. Flame toss is good. Protection is good. All these are relatively cheap. Cloak, water veil, and... Wait. Water veil, demon's prank. Oh, but... Okay. But all this stuff. All the more re Possible, we can't be not, careful. not use it. Normally, normally not be grand one. Just make, an, make an exception. So we could free him. Let's just see what... Oh, but the spells aren't marked there. Interesting. Are you begging? Begging. Oh, come on. No spells to learn. Remember spells. We can choose. We have one slot. Okay. Interesting. That's tough. Flame Toss, Fire Damage, learned by Town Magicians. We will switch it out for Flame Toss. That'll be good for First Latria. Gold Armor and Hard Scales, Protection, Effective Against Physical Attacks, Cloaking, Hides Presence, Quiet Escape, Sheet of Water, Common Method of Attack, and quite often. Direct effect, think creatively, but it doesn't actually distract enemies, to what I remember. Be careful. Normally, if I have Thank to you, it. thank you, I get it. Okay, cool. So, there we are, and, yep! Oh, and that's it. They use that of sound effect in Demon Souls. I mean, Dark Souls 2, no, I think. Demon inside, and let's seek some soul power. Mind, mind, life ether. Okay. Upgrade. Alright. Oh, we have to spend it immediately. Ah, it's different. Oh, but the cost is not going up by all that much. Get a good deal more then. Their intelligence may be a bit higher. Physical resistance, plague resistance, a bit more drop rate. Okay, cool. This is nice. Item burden, endurance. This is good. Strength. Then our butt goes up, and so we're getting closer to equalizing our stats like I'd like. Item burden could be good too, so. Spell memory is still gonna stay at one for a while. Oh, that's aggravating. Hmm. Well, whatever. Help the world be mended. Let's put some things away. What was that? Get off like that. Deposit some items. Let's deposit most of this. Yeah, bleeding. That's not really gonna be relevant. That won't be relevant. I. How much will this? Weigh? We can put all of this away for now. I might want to upgrade the scimitar a little, actually, but eh, we'll see. What else? What else? Weapons for sure. All of these can go away for now. I don't need them. Guillotine axe for beheadings, executioner's weapon, Volataria. Yeah, I will away some of these shields, but I, but I can't put away the catalyst because yeah. But can I use that? I. That's needed. I don't have enough strength to wield it. Okay. For now, we'll keep that away. And what else can I? A lot of bolts. Surprising amount. Let's... Ah, uh, the robes, which I can't even wear, are now wearing, weighing me down. Shape of an eye, less HP, loss. Sapphire ring, seduce presence. I... Huh. Cling ring could be good. Oh, no, no. Take. Let's take. Let's Let's take. Not back. Cool. Everyone. Right, so Let's we're at an okay position item burden-wise, but... And a lot of that is just the grass I have, which I do want to hold on to, but... First place we're gonna go to, then, is the Latria. Yeah, I'll get a lot of things here. John the Queen, locking your family in a prison with inhuman guards, escapes this place, or the prisoner's cries. That is, can we... Phalanx Archstone, 
Quick path, what you feeding ground for dragons in reward with the knights live? Okay. The question is, what can we get from the dragon's nest after killing the dragon? Either way, presuming this will go a bit more quickly. The big thing is, let's check what the Mind Flayer Demon Souls are weak to. Weak to. They are very weak to fire, so this is a good choice. Okay. Here we go, let's warp over. Thank you very much. Okay. of Meralda. Here we are. Hmm. The buzzing of flies, as one ha as one would have it. Thank you. Hello to you too. A lot of things are around this way, and if we open that. It's going to be in here. Eventually, I keep track of locked doors in here. And I is something in here, or uh, guides of guidance, VIP chair, yeah, for torture. I've got some guidance or just things you can drop. And okay, one locked door. And four. Lock. Okay. <laughs> Latria. Then, big thing is tossing fire at the mind flayer should presumably do the job. We need to be smart about it and not get hit immediately. Oh, hello. Alright. One, two, three, four. Open that, and it's also locked, as one does. Can't even get those guys in. I hear a bell. I hear a bell. All right. Bother with nothing. And still locked. Okay, cool. All right. I mean, I don't really need to kill those guys, but oh, they're locked doors. And how did how did he die? Has he died on his own? Well, that's weird. Okay. Well, either way, we need to. Thanks, thanks, and boom, and boom. Okay, cool. Cost a bit, but taking those guys down is crucial. Fresh spice. Oh, nice. Third four cell key. Prison of Hope. This is getting the key rings. Interesting. Presumably, the key item should not cost any kind of anything to hold. Oh, and this. What of souls? Oh, but we have that already. Three, third, four, the prison of hope. Okay. Locked cell. And this is... What is that anyway? Is this even... That's not even a door. Okay. So is this 4-3 or... What for? Oh, presumably this... Yeah, there we go. Cool. And... Wooden catalyst and the wizard's clothes. So we already have the better catalyst and the silver catalyst. This is... yeah. Come on, come on. Need... oh, sorry. We're just gonna go for a backstab on you then. Right. Oh, that didn't kill you immediately. Okay. It'd be funny if rolling on that thing actually did. Some sort of bleeding buildup or damage. Oh, but now you're... oh, you run out and immediately they try to hit me or... run. No, oh, no, you're not even resisting or anything. You okay? Oh wow! Oh, all right, fun. Interesting. The big thing is I need to make sure that I don't get tracked down by one of those mind flayers over there, as they will. If I get hit by one of their attacks, they're basically like the brain suckers in Bloodborne. They would kill me fast. Oh, and no. So the cell doors don't appear to have really done much. Whatever's in there is probably actually a shortcut. Probably you go around the other way. Bother, and that probably couldn't even get out that way. Hmm. Then we got that. Oh, but that was open already. Anything in here or nothing in here? Okay. Hmm. If you spam fire on the mod flares, they go down. Almost without a fight. And then just more torture as one does. Soul form for so long. Then anyone in here or do I see Oh well that's unpleasant. 
All right. Oh, and it swings. They got physics through that. It's funny. One for so long. And then, in that case, watch out. Who is coming? Clearly, somebody's around that sideway then. Or what? I. I'm worried. Hmm. Here is. What's in here? Got one of you, but. One and. Oh, I should definitely be two handing this. Right, right. One, two. Oh, alright. It's good time to use Half Moon Grass, and. That's a bit better. Especially now that I'm in body form. So being in body form is the one thing that's really letting me survive in here. It is what it is, but. Well, it's in, and clearly somebody died here to something. I. That's worrisome. Renowned soldier's soul. Presumably they got attacked by the Mind Flare. I am worried about this. Short of Mercury Stone. At least it's not a drop down or anything, but. The rear. Oh, because it's. Beware of butt. Okay. Fun. Amusing. And. What even is that evil incense? I. Got a jail keeper here. Keep your bell coming. Thanks, thanks, and boom. 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 Just spam flame toss and take it down. Thank you, goodbye. I don't love you. Okay. So how many more are there around here? Somewhere there might be one stalking the other side. Okay, cool. Then we can get over this way, short of Mercury Stone. Next enemy's weakness is its backside. Yeah, I bet. Liar. I don't even think there are illusory walls in this game. And it is interesting from an environmental storytelling perspective that a lot of these jail cells aren't even... They don't even have anything in them. They aren't supposed to. They're literally just for the sake of, you know, showing you what happens in the sense of... Oh, look, this is a place where torture happens. And that's all. I actually like that. Decent deal. And, okay, we can get you through before. Grab me down, alright. We need to we use these as places to hide, but... Question is... How am I gonna manage to get through? And, okay, you're over here. Let's cut you down. Thanks. Silver coronet. Oh, that's what I had on the already. And my item burden is going up slowly but surely, so I need to manage that, but... It's not anything all that troublesome. Oh, they're high. One, two, three, okay. Yeah. Being able to take them out from range really, really helps. Then, Old Spice and a Prison of Hope third floor key, which means not the cell key, but the hmm, locked hallway of the Prison of Hope. Okay, then. One, two, three. Anything in here, or...? No, nothing. Alright. And... Already been through here, so... Yeah, we'll be okay. So the big question is, do I need to go back to where I started to go through that hallway? Is it gonna be over here? Is, it, is this what it's referring to? Come on, come on. It's so dark, too, item. Then, let's see what we can get. There's gonna be a vendor in here somewhere, or what? I know that there's a vendor in here, the once royal mistress, but that's not quite. It is funny how they, they gave them weapons for whatever reason, though they were literally prisoners. And I, oh goodness, that's tough. I need healing. Could have been death. Could have been. Oh my, what? Get out of here. Get out of here already. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. And die, 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 and die. Okay. That was aggravating. That said, I guess a lot of it is. You don't need to open every cell. You probably shouldn't open every cell because you can't close them again. And if you do, well, you know, plenty of things can get out. That's cool. And, oh, Renowned Soldier's Soul and... Oh, all right. Somebody is shooting at me. It's great. Hmm. 
There's a locked hallway. Presumably I would need to go around the other way. The big thing is, how am I going to reach that section? That is certain death, without a doubt. But actually over here is nothing really. Hmm. Staying in body form is going to be crucial for this. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Here, unlock that hallway from before. Then, Latria well, is not all that long, too. Most of it is really just the prison. And then, the second boss and the third boss are more or less right after each other, which is nice. Okay, cool. Open this. Cool. That said, I'll probably want to save Old Mike for last. Just because of... Nice. With, the build, with my build as it is, I'm not really probably going to be able to make much use of... I'm going to be weak, and given that Old Monk is a mandatory PvP fight... Actually, though, nobody should really be playing right now, which means... Zoom away, it should. Oh, we can open that normally. Anyone in here, or... Let me sneak attack. What is that? Can I open this? Oh, wow, okay. Examine remains, stone of ephemeral eyes, and if I... I can't close that on myself. Soul. Unknown hero's soul. That was interesting, being able to open up an Iron Maiden. Wow. But we're up a floor, so... We'll see. I wonder where another Mind Flayer might be. I see some of you. One, two, three, four, five, and... Oh, but it's locked. It's still locked. Okay. Presumably we should be able to get the key to open it here. Description, Prison of Hope West, fourth floor. Oh, so there are plates. It does kind of remind me of Bloodborne in the research hall, actually. Oh, and you're right here. Fun. Can I dodge and can I Oh well Oh You can do a massive AoE. I did not know that was something you could do. So the real question is if I can get you through here, can I? And the flame toss hit you through the bars. And no it can't. Makes sense, but thanks and alright. Cool. Okay. One, two, three, four, and... Oh, great. Some of your stupid bell is driving me insane. I... Okay. Let's take you down and die. Just to not have to deal with that, and that's still locked. Okay, and... So where would the key be, then? There's a key over here. This is... Can we open that? Nice, we can. One, two, three... And we have a few more draglings in here. And oh, well, this one of you seems to have a crossbow or other ranged attack. All right, then. Oh, and you're right there. Thanks. What are you doing, then? How are you attacking? I, okay. One, two. And listen to some kind of singing. Backs up damage is actually lower than I expected. Oh, whatever. Listen well. Other side should probably be where the once royal mistress would be then. Maybe. Oh, hello. Well. We're all just whistling for the song. It's really, really cool. It. There are a lot of people who do consider Demon Souls to be the most atmospheric Souls game, and I think there is some truth to that. And that. In the Demon Souls remake, it was changed so that her singing would be throughout the entire area, which among other things makes it so they can't use the sound to locate her, which is one of the complaints that some people have about changes made. Just that blue point the people who made the remake did not really understand the reasons for a number, number of the aesthetic choices made and changed them Maybe not necessarily for the quote-unquote sake of changing things, but because they just did not know why those things were done. Assassin's set. 
another guy over there, so... Nice! Let's examine your remains and get an unknown hero's soul. And then, and then, and then. If we pay attention, we should be able to hit you as you're coming out. Sneak behind you, maybe. Hello there, hello. And... Thank you. Boom. 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 And one last. Last. Thank you. Cool. And oh my- oh wow, we're already poisoned. Gotta be kidding me. Wow, that really sucked. Worst part is I don't have any kind of healing for poison on me because I didn't think I'd need it. I- okay. You got the baby's nail, presumably, which is... that was awful. And... Huh. I don't have... I didn't think I was gonna get poisoned here. How much longer am I poisoned for? That was funky. Some fresh spice. And I... Just... There aren't really shortcuts, so... Can't afford to just leave. Huh. Prisoner for... Fourth floor and fourth floor cell key. Good stuff. Once Royal Mistress should be... Over here then. And the nice thing is that at least this lets me get my grass down. The fall ahead and... Oh, interesting. So then, I have to go around, and this would lead to, well, maybe not to death, but the question is, the other side, I think, yeah, that's the one, the drop, but to get over there, we need some other, other tactics. Let's go back through, open up other cell doors, and oh my goodness, we are just chewing through our grass stalks. Uh, and that's why I should have capped one royal lotus on me at least. Or, I don't know, bought an anti-poison miracle and used that. Because I am feeling very stupid right now. Okay. I guess the big question is just how long does poison last? Or is the question of... So just lose my grass or... Poison, demon souls. Poison. Period of time. How long? No, seriously, how long? Okay. Well, whatever. Whatever. Open this up, open up some other doors. And... Thank you, cool. Alright, and... We're gonna start flooding out now, and you're just normal. Normal... Dragglings, you just hit with your hands and... Oh, you weren't even trying to hit me, are you? You're just running. Okay, cool. Thanks. No, I feel bad. Oh, Royal Lotus. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Alright then, finally. And short of Moonlight Stone. Here we got Unknown Hero's Soul. Then, don't attack. Well, nothing really happened, huh? It's cool how they're hiding in those pots. That's funny. A claws. Well, it's a pretty crappy weapon. And a Widow's Lotus, which cures plague. Maybe not poison. Claimed by the disease. Okay. It's interesting because it, oh, a secret dagger, which presumably would be very good against... Claws, vicious used by spies, fist weapon, with it, but it counts as a fist weapon. And then, secret dagger. A half wooded dagger, heavy damage on flesh, limited effect on armor and scales, picked after parrying and backstabs. Okay. And you also over here, I know we opened up a few cells already. Hmm. The big thing is just. With the way grass mechanics work, I can just keep going until I run out of grass. At the very least, that's the main thing, my main limiting factor. Some hope for four key and oh, what was that sound? We need corpse. I got some more old spice and oh, so the tower over in that. These should be the spires of Upper Latria. Am I what? What? Huh? Okay. Well, I was not expecting that to happen. Okay. And durability is... Oh, but it's not broken. It's at risk of breaking. Well, either way, in that case, we should use... We've got a... 
grindstone. Let's use that. Cool. That should drop a lot from Stone Fang, I believe, so. Hmm. And that did use it up. It is gone now. Did get some from the Eye Knights before, but. There we are. Cool. Keep going through a watch and there was that ledge dropped in that I did not see previously, but. Okay, cool. Thanks. Boom. Boom. Oh, but I. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. And I. Oh, my goodness. I. Okay. Cool. Can I. Oh, my. What? What? No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Let's roll, roll, roll. Roll back. It. Thanks. Cool. Cool. I was not expecting that to work like that. Or for that to kill me. Okay, cool. I need to run. I need to run. Get you over to a point where I can hit you without trouble. Thanks. And stunlock you if you go through here and cool. Nice. Yeah, we can stunlock you with fire with that. Yeah, that grab attack was vicious. Okay. Well, you know, that's a bit of grass used. Whatever. Should probably carry some more grass just for just quite, quite frankly, the smaller ones are a bit more useful in the heal a more discreet and manageable and specific amount of HP. Oh, there she is! Her singing is here. Singing of the once royal mistress. Hi. You're an ordinary human, aren't you? Where do you call home? She impressed yeah, in my collection. Why the royalty now seems to show. Talk. Before, there were many others trapped, trapped here. They Van ventured above their own motion. No such thing as redemption. The queen Van vanished. Vanished her depraved husband. Came back. Golden garb and demons. They pillaged the great land. Went under the warrant of magicians. Land the dungeons being off souls. Over and over. Of redemption. Hmm. Interesting. You know the, the church, church for God's may die, die, never for long, drop away forever. Redemption. Huh. Church goddess and this. We can buy some of that if we really wanted to, but one lotus could be eh, we'll see. Moonlight stone, have those already, and Ring of Avarice is good, but I can get one of those for free from above more souls, wealth and debauchery. Alright. Cool. We actually don't need anything from her right now, then. It's around the side from where we were before, and that drop down. Okay. Big thing, there's another drop down. I think. We'll see. The big thing is we need to get to the church goddess. That is the fool's idol, which takes the form of the Queen of Latria. For poor Selkie, and... All right. Oh, all right. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, okay. Got a dagger on you. That's funky. So get out of this way and let me take you down. Getting poisoned in one single hit is insane, though. Craziest part of all this. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and all right. But you're not even attacking, you're just praising, basically. Oh, well, all right. Thanks. Uh -huh. What's that? Go up, take you down, then what else might be in the cell? Oh, well, we can get lotuses, which is nice. So they drop poison resistance, which could be useful for the poison swamp later on. Then if we keep on going, will there be another mind flare or what? I think that a drop down might be around here. Pay attention and wait. Wait. Prison of Hope Selkie, and presumably, actually, we could. Bet! There might be an enemy in one of these that we could maybe take out, which... Not that. So if I hit the Iron Maiden, presumably it would let me... Kill the enemy inside, maybe? Maybe. Oh, Ring of Magical Sharpness! Oh, that's good. That could be quite useful to me. Unknown hero's soul. Then... Oh! Well, we... Oh, we can't actually get that guy. That was really annoying. Well, we can use our Lotus at least. Okay. Funky! Funky! Okay. Huh. The big thing is that if we change our word world tendency, it will remove rubble from a location, I believe, which... would allow us to get some special treasure... 
if I recall correctly. But I'll figure out where it is at a later date. And oh my goodness. The rats aren't even dead. I mean, the rats aren't even ever alive. I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. This is Old Spice deodorant. This is anything in here. We have back on third floor. Nothing right here. So can we free the sage from his imprisonment? It's the big question. Nobody's here right now. Then this is good guy. Ah, there you are. It appears to be locked, so we need another kind of key. So a drop down and wait. Did that wait. Uh we can probably get down there some other way. <laughs> Presumably. Keep going down and but wait, what? Actually Okay, yeah, okay. So then Hi. Hello. Should be some more guys around and at least one more mind flare, presumably, and Prison Hope first for Selkie. So what floor are we on? Big thing is, what's the key to Freak going to be? How are we gonna free him? Mm-hmm. And I fraked it. Oh, but this should maybe be the boss fight arena? Either way, I magical sharpness could be a good idea, but it would also mean taking more damage from spells myself. Uh, it's gonna depend on uh Fool's Idol isn't. That's locked. So we're gonna have to go through from the other side, or yeah, that's locked too. Gotta go back up to second floor and then. Hmm. Okay. Out of the fog, and okay, that's not the boss fight. Okay. So then, heavy crossbow, black bolt, and... So where is... It's getting weird. Frank and the other locked doors. Should notate that, and I see a mind flail coming, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. So the Latria is... It's a later game area, and probably a... One of the harder ones, too, so I- Okay, nice. No, oh my- Oh, that didn't hit me? Oh! Wait, so, did it- Did the stun projectile disappear because of the timing, or...? Because we hit it out of it, its animation, or because of... Distance? Is it range limited, or what? That's the real question. Two, thank you. Anything here, or...? Yeah. Hmm. Here is. Sorry, sorry. And here and. Okay, that's locked too. So we can't even go there yet. So. What key do we need from where? And oh, that's. Black Phantom Lord Rydell. Okay, cool. Appears to be locked. He's gonna appear here, probably drop something. And there you are. Fun, fun. And just. Can I? Nice. Oh my. Ooh, you're strong. That's not great, okay. Ah, uh, funky. All right, I might want to use a ring of magical sharpness for your fight. Okay, I hmm, but if I get hit by your weapon, your phosphorescent pole, it's probably gonna one-shot me. I would presume, honestly, so. Is there sharpness and power magic defense and will this Spells. I guess the big question is, will that include fire? Is fire included there in that category? And you're coming up this way. That's not good. That's really bad for me. And, okay, cool. And, all right. That actually did not really meaningfully increase. No, it did actually increase damage decently, but... Thanks. And, don't... Oh, well, I... Yeah! Okay. Well, that's fun. <coughs> So guess who's in <coughs> who's in soul form now? Me. I huh. Let's go home. I interesting. Hmm. What do I do? That. 
This is actually weak as to magic. Okay. Oh, but I... Okay. I guess maybe... Uh, but... Flame Toss is still going to be more useful. He is... Hello again. Put a number of things away. All of these items, which I'm not going to use. And... Uh, Assassin's Mask is... Is this better than what I have right now, or... Wizard's Clothes, or... Don't need to duplicate that. And that... Is this... It's actually worse. In pretty much every way. Interesting. Hmm, let's get more. Take... Some grass. Take... Lotuses, and... You have a heart of... Thank you. Let's use our eye stone. Okay. <laughs> so that's the thing that getting Lord Wydell, Lord Wydell down is gonna be zoomably a bit annoying. Okay. Uh -huh. Just gonna need to spam him down, basically. Want to make sure he doesn't lock me down and then spam him down. Uh -huh. Fresh spice, old spice. That'll be good. Stick to the good stuff for now. Yeah, but having to get rid of Rydell is going to be aggravating. We'll see what happens. And who is? And yep, all the doors are open now. This can only lead to good things. Question is, when... Oh, how are, you, how are you doing? I am trying to get through Demon Souls in advance of the Elden Ring DLC dropping. See how much I can manage. It's gonna be something. Hmm. It's... I'm doing alright. I'm fine. It's a bit hot in here, but... It's not really a huge problem. Well, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. This game is interesting in that it's not as hard in a base sense as Dark Souls, most people would say. But there's a lot more of a resource management aspect to it. That's the big difference. And I hear somebody coming around the way in that. All right. Thanks. Blast and... Okay, uh, Thanks. Cool. Oh, but... Ah, uh, the Ring of Nazgul Sharpness made it a two-hit kill. It's impressive. I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm. Keep on hitting. Now, I can stay away from those draglings. Gotta reclaim my souls. Fight Lord Rydell. Retrace my steps. I just... Hmm. There's a very strong black phantom guy over here who I do not want to die to again. I gotta take him down, is the thing, but... Or if I really want to be really funny, I could set everything to neutral, but... I don't want to do it that way. Thanks, and... Okay, one, two, thank you. Cool. Oh, goodness, though, that... That's something. The damage they do... Well, a lot of it is because of the Ring of Magical Sharpness, presumably. If we... They're not gonna- some of them are gonna try to get me from behind, but not a lot of them, so kind of safe here. So some kind of. So we can keep those draglings away and focus on taking out important enemies, which should be fine. And, oh, goodness. That's bad news. I- okay. Come on, do not try to sneak up on me from behind, please. I am becoming increasingly impatient with you. Yeah! It's pretty. It's a little haunting, but it is pretty. Because the entire deal is just, it's supposed to tell you where... How to get to the other guy. I mean, how to get to the once royal mistress. Mm, but right, since I didn't kill that mind flare going around the other way, now it's in a very annoying position. I guess the funny thing is that, presumably, even if it tried to go for a jump attack, I mean, a grab attack, it wouldn't even be able to get to me and... Oh, right. Never, never mind. I, wait, did I? I did that wrong, didn't I? Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. Die, die. And? Cool. 
Thanks, I messed that up badly. Cool. Die. It's another. Is that another drop down or am I going crazy? I, this should be fine. This should be fine. I think I just went down a floor when I didn't need to. Does that seem familiar? Huh. Yep, I've been here before. It's a little annoying, but I have been here before. And just, just gotta make sure that the other mind players don't get me. Annoying. Dropping down there was embarrassing and bad. I will say that much. Very inopportune. And turn around so we can keep tossing fire at you. Cool. It's a good thing that these guys are so good to fire. And they drive a lot of magic. Restoring potions, which is good too. We need to go back up a level again. And oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Oh, but that... That kick isn't even a kick, and it so useless for me. Die. If only these guys dropped something in the way of HP restoration, but there's a reason they do it like they do. So we gotta go, and is this actually the... Yeah, this is where I started. Okay. That just brought me back to the start. Whatever. Uh, uh, this is, again, it's one of the later game areas. You're recommended to go to a number of areas before this one, but... This is where you get the advanced magic trainer. And I'm going to need him. I absolutely need him. Otherwise, I'm going to be... My damn job but will suffer. Because he... Sage Frank... Transposes certain souls into special spells. If I don't have him on me, if I don't have use of his services, I'm going to be in a bad way. And, alright. Get in closer, please. Hmm. To worry you a bit, presumably. Big thing is that if I leave that guy alone, he's gonna be trying to grab me when I'm off in a more inconvenient location and I cannot actually reach him. Not like this. But it is funny because they literally are basically just Dungeons and Dragons mind flayers. Which is amusing. Big question is, if they can hit me from there, can I hit them from here? Can I? And, oh, interesting. Okay. Wow. Well, almost. I have to go over a little more, but maybe I'll have to change my positioning a little. Well, okay. Well, you move a bit. Can I hide or we just move or go around, go around. Go somewhere else so I can hit you. Thanks. Cool. And what? Okay. So you're going to need to go to an entirely open position. It is interesting that the sound of a spell seems to arrest your movement, though. Hmm. Thanks. And boom. Oh, but... Now you're staying still. And oh my goodness. Okay, alright. Huh. So basically, I need to use, use this to. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Okay. Not fun. Okay. That's good. And. Okay, so basically, if we want to get you out, we need to use magic to make you stop at a point where. Hit you through that opening in the mesh, but... Thank you, and then you'll stop, and we can hit you. Nice. There we are. Cool. Now you're dead. Cool. So that should mean no interference during my quote-unquote duel with Lord Rydell, aka just tossing magic at him from far away. But I... Mm. See how this works. And that was good enough to insta-kill you. Great. And a short of mercury stone, which is the poison upgrade stone. Hmm. Guess the question is if we can get to a good position before Rydell himself and then try to Oh and my my blood scene's right there. Let's grab that. And decent. Yeah, we can't free Frank yet. That's the issue. Still locked. 
can get Rydell around here and not in there because we got stuck. We weren't really able to roll his attack either, which was bad. Keep running up as much as we can and then just start keep on running. It'll cost a lot of spice, but should be able to make it work if we just use everything we have. Expendable items, well yeah. They've gotta be expendable. <laughs> An eye stone. Hmm. The only way we can get through is going to be to lure him. And just chase him, have him force him to chase us. Which is gonna be something for sure. Frick and those other locked doors, and then the rabble. We'll probably come back at the end and do all the World Tendency events at once. Uh-huh. Got to make sure we don't get one tapped by our boy, Mr. Rydell. Okay. The faster we start spamming magic, the better. But, oh, we have, right, another mind flare there, too. Great stuff. Okay, and I... Okay. Cool. I'll wait for you to turn your back, maybe, and... Is that gonna happen? Probably not. What do you see? What do you see? And just let me. One. Oh, one. Two and oh my goodness. Oh! I framed it and it still hit. I feel so cool. Uh, 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 uh. I need I should probably put Wait Moon Grass in the hubbar too. That's it. If I take any hit from Lidell, I'm probably just instantly dead. That's the thing. Who's that? Okay. Store me to full. Now we spam our fire on him and hope it works. Assumably we should be able to get a good amount of... Thanks. Cool and nice. Have a lot of this and when are you gonna roll? When are you gonna roll? When are you gonna not roll? Just keep on backing up. Slowly but surely. Use all of our spell casts to kill you. Does this guy even use grass? That's the question. I hope he doesn't. That would be inconvenient for me. And... Boom, and just... Now we run, now we run. Get some of this, and just run up the stairs. Not down, not anywhere we can get me. But you'll... Oh, nice, cool. Now we have to run, keep on running. Don't let him catch us. Go to a corridor, we can cut you around. And, yeah, okay, cool. This should be the right location. Will he keep on coming? Will he keep on coming, or is he done with us? No, oh, he was, he's gonna keep on coming. Okay, cool. And, oh my goodness. You are just... Never... What? What? Oh, wow! Oh, okay. I didn't go far up enough. Okay. That was actually very funny. It was exceptionally embarrassing, but it was also very fun. Okay. Another eye stone, just in case. But... The fact that I absolutely have to kill that guy to get through here is... kind of horrible. Uh, but, oh, I can... Let's try to quit out, actually. Yeah, just see... That's right. But, that's right. PS3, PCS3 is silly this way. Okay. We should be maybe okay. Depending on how fast I was able to do it. Okay. This is my life. This is my life. Going to the wrong spot and dying. Okay. We're in Latria. We're in Latria. Cool. Cool. But falling, falling was silly. That was the silliest part. And I... Oh, yeah. I guess it saved when I used that eye stone. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I... Okay. I actually... I may... I, I'm making this harder for myself. By playing on functionally maximum difficulty, but I really just... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And there you are, Dragling. Thanks. Thanks. And we just gotta run through, avoid everyone as much as possible, and cool. And are you gonna come out at all, or what? 
Yeah, we should be we should be able to more or less run through is the thing. As long as we don't. <laughs> come on, come on, and uh, uh, uh. get through here, get through here. We come through and nice spam, spam, fire, and there we go. They were running in a really weird direction too. Okay, cool. That ring of avarice is going to be very, very useful though. Gonna want that thing. But we got you and just thanks. One, two. All okay. right, it's gone. And there's gonna be another one over that way. Who should probably go down? Thank you. Cool. One, two, and die. If anyone follows me, I will take them out. Only if they follow me. Okay. Oh well. I. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, uh, uh. Why am I? Why? Why is my life like this? Why is my life like this? And do that to trap. Yeah, you stuck in a position where we can hit you. And oh my goodness. I, okay. And dodge. Oh, what? What in the hell? No. 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 Okay. Not like that. Not like that. You know, that is again. That is the one convenient thing about Demon Souls. You can just quit out because it doesn't autosave on death. So the question is, where did it last autosave? So where am I going to be? But uh, um, this th this is the pure black world tendency experience. Okay. As you can maybe tell, I do also have an, a, an active patch that makes it skip. The intro, not advertisement, but sort of credit scenes. Okay. Here in Latria. I'm here in Latria. Okay. Oh, nice. This is basically just where we were. Okay. So we just gotta, we just gotta kill that mind flare. Probably. So I do not want it interfering when I'm trying to kite and fight Lord Rydell. Question is, how far am I gonna have to kite him, and can I finish it before he gets to an inconvenient location? And well, that sucked. Okay, cool. And thanks, thanks. And there we are. Done. Okay, cool. That was more or less what I needed. Okay. Now we just have to kite down. Word by down. Ring of magical sharpness is going to be mandatory for this. Will not be able to do this without ring of magical sharpness. At all, anyway. Down a little past here, because if I don't fight him this way, I'm not going to be able to get the key I need, and if I don't get the key I need, well, can't get to the boss, and if I don't get the boss, I can't get Soul Ray, and if I can't get Soul Ray, well, my damage is going to suck. Really, really suck. Oh, come on. It's just, oh, goodness. Okay, cool, and... Where are you? Okay, nice. Boom, boom, and... Alright, another one. Thank you. That worked. Decently. And another old spice. Cool. Old spice, fresh spice. It's all the same to me. So now Lord Rydell is coming. Should probably get a save around now, maybe. But I... Uh, can't hit him through there, so... Be smart about this, and just... Thank you, back up. One by one, slowly but surely, and it's tossing fire at you. There's no homing or anything, though, though to be fair, Soul Arrow doesn't really have homing either, and why are you being so much better at rolling? What difference has been made? I, what, what, no, you're, you're, you're kidding. What? Okay, yeah, that's the weird thing about this game, that rolling is, I mean, lock on, it will only lock on successfully if, you're facing the enemy. It won't change the way you're facing in order to maintain a lock. So if you do it wrong, you're just not going to lock on at all. And well, you know, great stuff. Only great things can happen. And there you are, nice, die. Die, 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 and boom. Thank you, and just thanks, thanks, and use that. And continue cutting you down this hallway. Thank you, thank you. Which should be fine. 
presumably just thanks thanks and is this the right spot this is the right spot okay cool come on hallway come on hallway just oh my lord i actually hate this game sometimes okay what in the goddamn okay just why is luck so finicky okay and oh well this is a drop down to death oh we can actually loop him interesting we use this, we can, yeah, get through and will you drop down to follow us or what? No, 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 no. I okay, cool. Yeah, never mind. Okay, that kind of worked, but I would need to kill that other mind flare to make that work. What I need to do is loop around the outside hallway. The big issue is that there's not really a good place to loop around. Well, I could actually manage the loop if I were to. That's working. I could have managed the loop if I had killed the Mind Foyer down there, because the Mind Foyer down there still being alive was, quite frankly, the biggest issue in my face. All right. All right, then. Because if I weren't at pure black world tendency, I would have had to deal with that. Oh, am I really? Really? Okay. Big thing is. Oh, but no, I'm right here right now. That was convenient. That was really, really convenient. Okay, cool. Moving around could be a good idea, but I'm gonna have to be smart about it. Okay. Use the spice. Old spice and. Thanks, thanks. Flame toss. Flame. Uh... All we can do is back up and hope that fire's gonna hit. How did that not hit? No, seriously, how did that not hit? Whatever. Ah. So good at dodging. Sometimes. Okay. But it, I feel as if the unique idiosyncrasies of Flame Jaws' hitbox are part of why things aren't working. So it is a little silly at times, and my doll should be coming through here. We can use this hallway. This corridor is another opportunity to get some hits in on him. So if we can arrest his movement by shooting fire at him, well, we can probably make some things work. Take advantage of, you know, the fact that even magic has hits done. We're over here and wait till he gets over, immediately lock on. As soon as we can lock on, we start hitting him. And cool. I hear him. The fact that their detection range doesn't seem to have any limit is honestly crazy. Okay. No, it did have a bit of a limit, but that limit was broken because he saw us. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Come on, come on. I, all right. Please. Okay. Well, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, and it's kind of a crapshoot. Classic, classic. Good game design. And, alright, run and okay, out through here is going to be our way. Zoom away, we can dodge, hit a little bit on you, and cool, and run out through here, use this corridor as well. Thanks, cool. Nice, boom, boom, ah. When is it that you decide to actually stay out of my way, and when is it you decide to not do that? Okay, cool, and just roll and, thanks, cool. Now we're here, now we're here, and just want... Uh, where is the loop we can do to... It's actually just loop you back around. Continue the loop. Okay, cool. And there you are, just... Thanks. What are you actually... You were getting stuck on the terrain, which is funny. You broke that for you, which we should not have done. Phosphorescent pull would kill me instantly. At least we got your health down about halfway. Impressive. Cool, so this might be a bad spot to be in, but ah. Uh, you're getting stuck on terrain, we can't even use that because you're. Ah. Uh, so annoying. Wait, what? Never mind? Really? Really? Okay, but I. What? Okay. Camera is my enemy. Camera is my enemy. Okay. Cool. Cool, and just run. Keep on running. Okay, cool. But I, mm, can I 
turn back and hit you a little. Thanks, 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 and go down the stairs and should be okay. Use every opportunity we have to hit, get hits in. Hit and, okay, nice. Oh, well, oh, we messed that up. I stood up badly and just, can we, can we, oh, no. The lock breaks so easily, or it's so finicky that, thanks, thanks, and cool, and, uh, never mind, never mind, and, come on, just, thank you, Lord Rydell, thank you, Lord Rydell, and, there aren't a lot of places for you to roll over here, so, thanks, and, keep on running down over here, and just, oh my lord, oh my lord, Rydell, and, oh, I'm, I'm just, wait, what, huh, huh, oh my goodness, and I, Dodge dodge okay. Oh wow, that was really dangerous. Okay, cool. Well, we're okay, we're fine mostly, so let's run. Let's run over and use our old sp oh we're out of old spice. That's what happened. So presumably we should be able to be down through here. We have so much more ends. I hope you don't want to heal. I hope you don't know how to heal. Don't think we can count on that, but it would be really great. And, alright. Thanks. Oh no, oh now you have warding. Okay. Great. Not really. Not for me at least. Okay, we could wait for some of that to decay and decline, but uh. Thanks. Cool. Nice. Thanks. Take you out and. Cool, cool. Oh my goodness, I. Okay. Thanks, thanks. And this should decay eventually. Thank you. Thank you. And, are we... No, this is not death. We're actually fine. For a second, I thought I might have made the mistake that I made last time and gone onto the wrong level, but that does not appear to be the case. Thanks. Thanks again. And just keep on looping you. Okay. Cool. As soon as you come out, you'll get stuck. No, you won't get stuck. Whatever. One. Two. Three. And, oh, never mind. Never mind. And... This could be an okay place to try to loop around. Thanks, just run and there we go. We've successfully reversed using that open area, so can I? One, two, thank you, cool. All right, thanks. And once you're dead, you're dead for good. I don't have to worry about any more crap. And it's cool. And all right, we can uh, deal with a stupid finicky camera. And get in on you, and all right, keep on maintaining distance, and cool, and oh, the time that took was noxious, and almost dead, and almost dead. A few more fire flame tosses, and you should be very dead. Nice, ah, come on, should be it. And is that all? That's all. That only took far longer than it should have. That's, oh, and we got his phosphorescent pole. Which is welcome. Is incredibly welcome. I I don't have the strength index to wield it, but it will generate it regenerate MP. That from the witch in the sky. Jumps emit phosphorescent light and presumably though it should still Question is if I unequip my fragrant ring. Do I need to meet the requirements to get my regeneration? I'm still getting the regeneration even without meeting the ability sh requirements, so I really should be using this. Not for the sake of... Quit burden is fine, actually. Should be using this, not for the sake of... Oh, using it as a weapon, because I can't use it as a weapon at the moment, but... Using it for its mana regeneration passive effect. The nice thing now is, now I can... Open up that door, presumably, now that Lord Rydell is dead, and we got his funky pull weapon. And down here is presumably the very first floor. Okay, cool. That really was the fight of my life, honestly. That took ridiculous amounts of cheese. Ridiculous amounts of spice, for one. Locked and ring. Alright. Know that there will be rubble somewhere over here that 
will be depleted by... Oh, we can't get that yet. Yeah, it took a bit. Oh, but wait. Prison of Hope West, so if... Huh? In that case, if I can't open... There's gonna be a ring pass there, and I believe the true word right now, if I recall correctly. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but yeah, those black phantom enemies are very, very intimidating. In theory, maybe I could have actually opened this already since I got the 4-1 key, but... Yeah, I could have opened that. Well, whatever. It was cool to kill that guy, though. So then, in that case, what do I... Oh, what is that? No, seriously, what is that? I... Okay. Alright, and... Huh. This is a giant... What? Okay. Thanks. And... I guess... Fire will... Huh. Fire will constrain its movements, but... I just don't want to see how I have to deal with you legitimately. Okay. Alright. And... Thanks. Cool. Uh, uh, giant monstrosity is... Not exactly pleasant to look at. Okay. Cool. And... Alright. Can probably burn you down and... Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Just keep on rolling. Use that regeneration effect. And thanks. Cool. And... Alright. Oh, what are you even... What even is this thing? It's the real question. And nice. Cool. Huh. And... Well, it's dead now, at least. And that dropped... Some kind of magic using undead monstrosity. Monstrosity composed of undead. And that and what's in here? We have... Nothing, just a tiny torture chair. So I guess maybe the place gets more unpleasant the farther down you go, given how high the once royal mistress was. And soldier's soul, and that the lower area is reserved for less illustrious prisoners. Huh. Okay. Come on, come on. Mm hmm. Alright then. For one and anything in here, or... Assumably, is there going to be another... Okay, one more draggling. Any mind flares, or... In a whole key, and then, huh? Yeah, because these are—they're not oubliette cells because they're not in the ground, but they are solitary confinement for sure. This is silver bracelets which I cannot use. Included armor set. Silver bracelets bracelets give you more soul drop, but you cannot use them unless you're a woman. So I can't even equip them. Said I. This is useful. And what is my quit burden is that? Ooh, that's tough. We need, in that case, take off our wizard's gloves. In that case, what is my quit burden at? It's. Yeah, I couldn't upgrade my wagons though, which is sad. Down where? Where am I going to find the way to fool's idol though? I know it's Soldier's Soul. Presumably, more keys should be around one of these spots, but I'm not finding them. Present of Hope West, first four. Freeing the Sage would also be good and let me start getting better sorceries, but at the expense of more consumption, that said, I've got a good amount of spice. Even though I did use a lot to take down Ward Rydell. The rubble over there is relevant, but again, I will be marking all the World Tendency events together of their own accord. There's somebody in- Oh, right! I can- being confined in a pot is... unpleasant. I guess Argo would be something somewhat similar to Scafism, maybe. Three Old Spice, nice. Yeah, because Latria was the land of the learned, so that's why you would get a lot of... spice from the guys here. Because a lot of them presumably would have been wizards of a sort, maybe. You guys are honestly not worth killing. So then... How much more... Oh, we have a crystal wizard. Interesting. So then... So then, okay. Hmm. 
I have to approach that thing without letting it kill me. Without letting it see me, presumably. But it's... There's really nothing here. But like I said, I do appreciate that. that you know, of course, you're in a prison. Most of these are just going to be empty cells without anything in the way of treasure. You know, if you want treasure, why are you going to a prison? And unknown soldier's soul and... I uh, hear the bell. The mind flare, but I don't see one. So we hope east first floor. Then I... Someone clearly is. Yeah, that's not great news. Second floor, though, that's where I really want to go. Actually, what keys do I have? I've got... I need the second floor cell key. Actually, get to the second floor and presumably a special key for Freak himself. That leads to certain death and nothing else. As one does. There is... Fool's Idol might be somewhere around here, but... What am I even... Oh, a black phantom mind flare. Oh, wow. Showed a moonlight stone, which is not something I really need. But this is, yeah, this is... Latria's ground floor, so to speak. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This is... Press on, you can proceed. That's funky. But second floor in the key to Frank. That's what I'm wondering about. It's getting kind of complicated here. <laughs> well, alright. I will. Oh, but that leads. Is that connector? There's no hope for one key, and. Who do I hear? Is someone coming after me, or. I do appreciate having a bit of a. Magic Knight armor. Philosophy, I suppose. Armor philosophy. And did we already go through here? Is this looping around, or...? I... Ha. Huh. Is this... No, that's still locked. It's just another angle to get to the second floor. It seems. Hmm. Alright. Keep on going, and... It's around there. This leads to... Some item. But second floor cell key. Nikita Freck cell. It's gonna be a little confusing. We'll figure it out. And then, and then, you in here. Oh, but the wizard already ran away. Well, I'll live. Quite frankly, I don't plan on using much in the way of standard weaponry anyway. So we'll be fine. Over this way is. Yeah, because when the wizard disappears. The wizard is gone for good. It's not like Crystal Wizards in other Souls games where they come back. It's just, they're gone, they're gone. Too bad. Each one does respawn after every- oh, wow! Every time you fight a boss, but... Oh, what?! A giant ballista? It's kind of an Iron Maiden ballista combination, too. Right. And what if I... Will you hit me, or... Can I... Flame toss! Flame... Oh, what? A... What? No, no, no. I... Okay. Quit out, quit out. That was stupid. That was stupid. Okay. That... Learning to take advantage of that is going to be, again, my only way to succeed in here. It's not cheating if the game lets you do it. It's not even a glitch. Game just the game is just letting me do it. Okay. Ah! Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Cool. Okay. Welcome to the Archstones. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't quite need everything in here. In the sense that maybe I don't need to have magical sharpness ring on. Because that definitely was what got me killed. Maybe. I think it would have been the difference between barely living and just barely dying. 
In that case, I... I don't need that right now. Eh, we can... Try it again. But I... That red phantom mind flare is kind of crazy. All the cutscenes in this game, honestly, are... It's interesting. Figure out how to wait until you turn back around and... Oh, goodness, you see me, you see me. It's not good. Hmm. I keep on. Turn around her. Turn around her. What? Black Phantom Mind Flare. Not great. Really not great. Okay. Do you see me or. Keep going through here and just. Thanks, boom. 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 Okay, cool. Simple enough. You gotta love fire magic. You really gotta love fire magic. Question is, it's set right. I think here or treasure ahead, so oh right, that interesting. Yeah, you can go down this way and what if I Hmm, okay. Right, well. Maybe come back afterwards after I clear out the initial path. Big thing is that Bliss is going to be a pain to deal with. I'm going to have to shut that down somehow. Otherwise, I'm sure it's just going to one-time me. Hidden passage, but... Ah, uh huh. And, oh, it's definitely turning to shoot at me, isn't it? It's got to be. I oh, okay, cool. And, all right. Cool. So the hope Warden's key. So that should maybe be Frank. Let's check. Warden's Key. Warden's Hall. Used to enter the Warden's Hall. Which... Huh. Is that going to be the second floor that we otherwise could not go to? Or... Let's check. This goes up. This is... Let's see. Huh. It's often... No, that's still locked, so... Question is, which is going to be the Warden's Hall? Because it's not... I presume, the one that leads to Frack. Hmm. Secret passageway might lead somewhere good, but I'm skeptical. Over there is... Huh. Latria really is a funky place. I'll say that much. Get around secretly this way, and nice. And message, and take a step forward, and this is... Ah, another ephemeral eye stone, and... Ah, nice! We can vault onto that. That's convenient. So, presumably, jumping around... Hmm. Secret passage back up there. Leading around this way. Not to a key, then at least to something good. Huh. Come on, come on, we have... That won't be able to hit me, which is nice. Then that's... Oh, the Mercury one! Well, that's pretty cool. Miracle. Use that for additional poison damage. Okay, so what that means is... Go around the other way, presumably, and shut off that Iron Maiden somehow. Otherwise, we're really in for it now. There is... No way in hell. That I'm going to be able to just get past that thing legitimately. I mean, maybe if I got really good at timing my rolls, but... Or just, I don't know, hid behind things. But I... Mmm, another Black Phantom one. Let's see. I... Huh. Presumably there might be things to hide behind, but... I don't even know. Hmm. This is... An S-Dock, which... Can I use that, or... Item burden is getting dangerously high. This S dock is about the same, but it's it's got a bit of bleed, but that's not really relevant. Skill is probably a bit better. Big thing is a pokey sword is pokey, and I like that. Give me a bit of range on my attacks, but it does appear like I'm gonna have to. Just, ooh, almost fell. 
gonna have to find a way to just roll under the arrows. Maybe. Question is where that warden's hull is and what it locked off. Because I might be missing something. Maybe not, presumably not, because those aren't even doors, but... 4-2 key is evading my grasp. Yeah. But... It's very interesting, it's... And it was also made in collaboration with Sony's Japan Studio. So it just is a different game. Hmm. Okay. Run over here and... Oh, but that does not work. Hmm. What would happen if I use a shield? Instead of... the other stuff. Is this left hand? Yeah, this is left hand, so... Try this kite shield, which... Oh, but I don't... I don't even have the strength necessary to use the kite shield. It's ridiculous. Uh-huh. Let's try this. Oh, all right. Hmm. I... It's an idea. If I roll through the waves of arrows... Okay. Okay, I... Ooh, all right. And just... Ooh, okay. It is theoretically possible. It's just... Good luck. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, and obviously, the closer you are, the sooner you have to roll. Interesting. That's a fun idea, though. I like that. As long as I get the rhythm down, that's what I should be doing. Ridiculous. Okay. There's almost definitely a better way to do it that I'm just not seeing, but if this is convenient, I'll do it. Okay. You have to kind of anticipate it. You cannot get hit even once. That's a thing. If you get hit once, well, if you get hit by the first wave, the second wave will hit you for sure and you'll die. Just, you can't get hit by the first wave. And only get hit once. Hmm. This is cool. But, here we are. Do we have our... Mercury... Yeah, we have that. Okay, cool. Oh, but... Uh, not too close. Okay. Oh, but... Okay. Thanks. Oh, uh, uh, we were almost there, too. We were almost there. Okay. It's one more try. One more try. This game kind of crazy, actually. Okay. All right. We can do this. We can, we can probably do this. It's just... The arrows take a short enough time to come that I could probably avoid getting hit by just kind of panic rolling. Sort of a duh, duh. Be consistent with that rhythm. And the more we run. Okay, ah, uh, oh, never mind. Um, big issue is that if you roll too soon, you're gonna end up. Okay. Or if you're running too much, you're just going to end up getting hit. Okay. Hmm. I do find it very amusing, that despite this being a literal emulator. It's still the trademark mark on the Demon Souls logo. They had to slow their roll a little. You know, maybe we need to be speeding our roll, not slowing our roll. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm okay. Vatria should be... Probably the worst one, because we're doing it so early. 
And as soon as we see that pass by, well... Nice. Thanks, Ron, and... Oh, but... Ah. Okay, I overestimated my capabilities. Big thing was, I was trying to run. Hmm. Actually, what I should do is... I can take... Just in case, actually. The shield will take one hit. The shield can stand one hit. It does break instantly, but that would still be one wave I'm not getting hit by. If I keep my shield out while I'm running, that would maybe cause some issues with gaining stamina, but just in case I get hit by one, it would be salvageable. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that... The fact that I can save Scum is the singular... My singular saving grace. We don't need that on right now. We just need a soldier's shield and that. Let's see. Quick burden is still... Oh, wow. Okay. Pick the pull off then, I presume. Okay, not very high burden. Okay. Roll. Thanks, and... Oh, oh, all right, I did that entirely wrong. The big thing is... During the first wave, I need to roll a bit after I hear the arrow shoot. From the second wave onward, I need to roll immediately when I hear it shoot, or maybe even a bit before is the thing. But... Uh, I'm sure that there is another way to do this that I just don't know. But this is, of course, by far the most amusing way to get this done. Dallasly. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Little Latria. Here we are, we need to... Well, we have our shield equipped, so it's saved our gear, which is nice. Thanks, and... Nice, and just... Ooh, ooh, we did it. Will this kill us if we... That won't damage us, actually. So we're through. Is there a lever? Oh, wow. Well, among other things, there is a Black Phantom Mind Flare. Oh, okay, cool. Pull over to turn this stupid thing off. Thanks. And what is on this bridge? There we go. Storied Soldier's Soul. Time to read messages. Clever Rats Ring, which increases our attack at low HP, which could be useful. The Renowned Soldier Soul again, and... I don't think that part is accessible. We're just broken for a reason. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Nice. Let's change our equipment out. We don't really use... Sword normally. I mean, a weapon normally, so... Effectivist will be less, and yada yada. Okay. Cool. Right under the relevant amount of burden, so use this to get our stuff back and Oh, that should be the way to presumably to Where is that Black Phantom though? Hi there, hello. Do you see me? You see me? I never mind, we'll just burst you down with fire magic. Thank you, and this should be all we need. Thanks. Goodbye, goodbye. Cool. Anything else in the area, or more fresh spice? Alright. So what's up over here? I feel like a key should be somewhere, or at least that warden's area that was mentioned before. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. Uh, huh. Interesting. What is... This is nothing. This is... Is this for two? Or is this even part of... Wait. Run straight through. I... Huh. I'm a little worried about that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Oh, I thought I saw something. It was just... The skybox nearly made me jump. Okay. Oh, but we're over, presumably, where we were before. So we're going to be fighting fools, not a valuable weapon, and... Wait. What can we get from here, then? Is this a door? 
Yeah, it is. And then, yep, we can't go down to the floor below, and that's where we'll find the boss of this area, but there might be something useful. Oh, well, oh, well. oh, the, the silver. Well, I already have that. Funny. Okay. Interesting, then. Interesting. So there's something, there's something over on the other side, though, and that... Who is... I think I have to beat that guy to... Oh, right, I think. You have to kill that guy in order to actually do the boss fight, otherwise... The fool's idol will keep respawning, I think, maybe. Because... He's basically the guy creating the illusion, I think. No, like in Sekiro, every illusion has a creator. And to dispel the illusion, you must knock its creator down. Snapseed item description. Which I actually read a bit about Sekiro translation the other day. What it says, said was basically, you get your first Snapseeds most of the time, relevantly. Before the Lady Butterfly fight in Hirata State, first memory, we use it to dispel her illusory enemies, but in that fight she usually sort of goes up and hangs on strings. So the term that they use for sort of defeat the enemy in the Japanese is a joke about knocking her down, which is not really in the English. And presumably, maybe that's somewhere, maybe not. Maybe. Probably not. Enemy's cuteness. Uh-huh. Let's see. Is this going to be the Warden's Hall, or what? I'm a little curious and a little afraid. Let's go through here. Go oh, hi. Well, I... Oh, interesting. Well, that's something. I guess we can't go in there yet. The Warden's Hall, though, is... Don't know where that would be. Don't know where the second four key is going to be. Big thing is, I should probably spend some of these souls relatively soon. But that said, the big thing is that I don't really have to worry about losing them in the same way I did in Dark Souls. Because I can just save scum, and I will save scum without mercy. Without guilt. Relentlessly and- wait, how does- How can you get down there? Can you? They probably glitch out of bounds. That's my guess. Well, okay. So we'll see if I miss anything along the way. Hmm. There and... This should be... A liar lies in wait ahead, and that would be... Liar lies in wait... And... Huh? A bloodstain and... Wait. Attack? Oh, because someone got hit. Something over there, but... We'll drop down there on our way back. I wonder what that would even be. Presumably the liar is the one who is maintaining the fool's idol. And beware of the liar ahead. Okay, cool. So am I going to be able to damage him at all, or what? Good guy lies in wait ahead. Somehow that doesn't sound right to me. He is maintaining this through his power. Hello. You do it. Okay. Oh, actually we could have talked to him. Treasure and this is special key. Okay. Let me see. That would be the special cell key, and that would be presumably Freck. What are you doing? Oh, but fool's idle draggling. Lying draggling is left alive. Lying draggling. Let me see. What does he say? What does he say, though? I... Oh, he's claiming to be of no trouble. That's what he says. Just basically ignore me. I'm not doing anything. Treasure. So that would have let us free Frack, but... So the question is, where would the second four key be? Let's see. Prison of Hope. Key. Iron key and... Oh, it's an upper Latria. So you actually need to beat a significant portion of the second area before you can access the remaining part of the first area. But before I forget, 
I'm going to go free the sage. I have to go back and do it anyway, so I may as well do it now. And all right, then we should drop down as carefully as possible. Thank you, and oh, wait, who's shooting at me? Widow's Lotus, and where is... Where are they? I, uh, huh? Who is... Oh, oh, interesting. I was not expecting that. Who are you? Oh, this is just the baby snail phantom. Nothing special about this guy. But he will inflict plague upon me if I get hit by his attacks. Thanks, and oh, goodness, I should... Run out of the way. And actually, what is my equip burden at? We're fine, actually, but... Oh, and a... oh, wow! Okay, I... It's not good. Okay. Cool. No reason to accept our death. Don't have to put up with that. Cool. So baby's Nail Phantom is... It's gonna drop Baby's Nail, which is the only weapon source of plague in the game, but it's not like I could really make much use out of it. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Alright. Cool. Hmm. Oh, alright. Oh, and we're just back on here. Cool. But I won't be able to hit babies now, guy like this. Is the thing. Oh, and right. Put the pull back on. Doing like this. Thank you, babies now, guy. I, I'm okay. Oh, but what? Okay. Never mind. I'm expecting you to one-shot me with your crossbow. You know? What happens, happens. But... The annoying thing is that I just don't have a good way to get back down. Other thing is also that to be able to cast miracles at all, I'm going to need to get to Upper Latria to get the only other ta there are only two talismans in the game. It's honestly interesting how they never sell talismans anywhere. You have to have talismans and saves. You have to either start with one, craft one, or to craft one, you need one. Or find one somewhere in the world, and they're all in Latria, I'm pretty sure. Which is the craziest thing about it. Okay, cool. And just immediately roll on. Wake up, and cool. Thanks. Right, and oh, not like that. I, okay. Thanks. And cool. Will you engage me? No, you won't, which means I can literally just strafe the arrows and survive this way. This is really silly. Not complaining, but it is really silly. And where are you now? You're over here. Thanks. Thanks. Cool. And just spray the arrows. So little. And just thank you. And over here is you. Thanks. And here. Go for another shot. And thanks. Babies know I have the crossbow, but. It's funny that the crossbow was almost the bigger issue, and now you're dead. You should drop the black. Oh, you dropped the black eye stone, which lets us invade, check a moonlight stone, and ephemeral eyes, but you didn't drop babies now. But well, that's crazy, actually. Big thing is, before anything else happens, I want to free the sage so I can just immediately get Soul Ray from him in the Nexus. And that would be rather convenient. Also. I guess the big question is, would anyone be offended if I used a glitch to duplicate upgrade materials? Well, I probably won't do it anyway. But there is a glitch that allows you to duplicate items. And use that for upgrade materials, among other things. Well, actually, the big thing is... Fair. Well, I would get mad at myself. But the big thing is, is that I'd like to... Upgrading the pole actually increases its rate of mana regeneration. Fair. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's education. I'm teaching you how to play PS3 Demon Souls, which frankly I doubt any of you will ever do. But you know, it's an idea. Okay. 
And then, yep, here we are. Frank is over here. Wait, is this our... Wait, what? We got a blood stain there? Okay. Cool. There we go. Right, because of Lord Rydell. Oh, that's really funny, actually. Well, hi there. Oh, and this should let you teleport back. Get out of the wrong line. My name is Frank. Frank, known as a sage. I thought my magic the would demons? give me an edge against was. these demons, but how wrong I was. The voice I acting here is different. By my long but I can still move Maybe my back to the Nexus. I thank so I the my star. Or my wife. Got his stiletto, and he should go back I home. Been, but I can Feeble, still... bring it back to the Nexus. Okay, cool. And there... We'll be able to transpose certain souls into spells. In particular, Soul Ray is the only thing you can get from the Fool's Idol Soul anyway. So we may as well use it for that. There's really no reason not to. Now we can go over and actually take her down. Interesting. We've got sharpness and the other ring on. Go around and down. Down and around. But did I actually go down far? I did. This is the right place. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think this is the right place. Presumably. No, no, no. This is Rydell. And the rubble there goes away on pure white world tendency. But again, I think I'll come back in a bit. The big thing is... One thing on pure white world tendency is a... Decent sword that I would like to have. Let's check. Rubble. Okay. I knew you were rubble when you rocked in. Okay. Let's keep on going. Back around, we can take on the Fool's Idol now. We've gotten rid of that phantom, and the first black phantom you kill, actually more like a red phantom, but who's counting? Black phantom you kill is... Wait, wait, did I? Special key. Wasn't able to open a number of those cells, because I don't have the... Wait, let me see. 4-1, four, 4-4, four, four, Warden's cell, and special cell key, so... Was that on? Okay, presumably that was just a special instance of 4-2, maybe? Well, I'll have to check. Said, I don't think any of those cells are going to have much in the way of anything useful in them, but we'll be alright. Exactly. No shield. No shield. All we got is... big thing is that if you go around the edge, you can avoid fool's idle stuff. But, yeah, you literally have to... You have to roll through here. There's no other way to do it. You have to roll, use shields, use armor. That's actually crazy. You know, it's not all that all that crazy, but it is a true skill check. You have to be able to do it. If you can't do it, well, then you can't do it. Block Phantom ahead and... Oh, a cutscene and... Wait. Now that's open for me and the fog wall should come. That's yeah, that's the colorless fog that demons produce. It's interesting that the fog gates have... An explanation in this one that they really don't in the others. There's magic traps. Hmm. Then, and we're here in a church. Presumably that's the image of the queen, but check it out. There she is, the fool's idol. can tell which one is which through a number of ways, but this is basically a false queen. Just around the edge, we can avoid the magic traps. They themselves will also set off, but she is weak to fire, so you avoid getting hit by her magic, which should be fine. And oh, she takes good damage from fire, too. Classic, and all right. And now multiple should show up, which the ones that don't have health, but their own health bars will be. The one without its own health bar is the right one to hit. 
This is really a puzzle boss, but... Oh, she doesn't even have much in the way of health. Okay. Next one is... Okay, cool. That one has its own health bar, so it's not real. That one also has its health bar, so it's also not real. Also, the real ones will shoot more damaging magic than the others. Soul Rain versus Soul Arrow. And there we are. Cool. We'll just hit you a bit. And that did not proc. This is fun. And oh, great magic trap. Thanks. Cool. And where is... Oh, but we can see that. Okay. And where is... Ah, never mind. I... Oh, my goodness. One back there is the one then. Okay. Grass, grass. And... Oh, my goodness. You over there are the right one. But I, oh, come on. Oh, but how did that... Did that pierce a wall or what? I, okay. Cool. And just... Really, really... Okay. Cool. Dodge, dodge. Okay, thanks. Then, oh, goodness. I, come on. Okay. Come on. Just uh, dodge. Hit with fire. You're weak to fire. Very weak to fire. And... Cool. Thanks. And the yellow is the color of madness. And... That's correct, good. Thanks, thanks, and cool. Be close, and one more, or no, no. Almost, almost. And there you are, one more hit, and boom. No more Fool's Idol. It's kind of a joke, boss, but that's like Beyond human imagination, cool. Okay. Watch over. Take these guys down. We interact with the altar. For one, we should be able to get her soul at an archstone. Might get up a little higher. There we are. That up above. Okay. Cool. Mm hmm. The trap shouldn't be here anymore. The big thing is that if we hadn't killed the liar, the boss would have simply resurrected. So it's a puzzle boss in more than with more ways than one, and. Quip burden is getting dangerously high, so I need to... So you can break the backs of the pews, but you can never just go straight through. Okay, interesting. The pews are enough of an obstacle anyway. That the big thing is they can dodge most of those magic rune traps that we saw earlier just by staying on the edges of the arena. That's why I fought her like I did. And, as you saw, I was trying to see which one didn't have its own health bar, because that told me... Whether the ones with their own health bars were the duplicates, which also, I believe, only have one health individually. Well, we'll see. Yeah, there shouldn't really be any mindful errors left, I would believe. I'd hope not. And then, yeah, the key you can proceed. The Horden's key leads to where? And that... Is that actually a... Wait. We're being spirited away, but... Presumably there'd be an item there that we just missed. What is behind there? Something behind the altar and... This is actually basically the same thing as when we get taken to Anor Londo by Batwing Demons and Dark Souls or the Undead Settlement or Ring City by also Batwing Demons in Dark Souls 3, but you know, the big difference is that it's, these are basically black crow-winged demons, but in Demon and Dark Souls, of course, they're white and red demons that are bat wings. Thanks, now we're in Upper Latria. Question is, how are we gonna get back? Will we get back? And welcome, thanks. Yeah, and there there was an item down there. Okay. Just gotta remember that then and approach from the other side, presumably. Alter item. Okay. Alright. So we got a good amount of souls now. Like you can get the Ring of Avarice in here, among other things. Would be useful. Ring that just gives more soul drop, but. There we are. The Oh, and we got the Dull Demon Soul from this one, and that's the Soul of the Fool's Idol. Big thing is, we can do a bit of leveling up. But I don't even have a talisman, so I wouldn't use. I don't really need evacuate for anything anyway. I'll buy it for completion, but other than that, and it's so nice that she stays next to wherever we are. Hi. Have you met the rose? I'm not too old. Want to win? Do their mistake? Travesty. Oh, so I don't know if he's right or not, though. 
is presumably. What in the devil is I did not intend you? to do that. What can you gain by killing me? Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh my. Wait, what? I should probably close out then, just in case that permanently aggroed him. I don't think it would permanently aggro him, but. Dropping down there, dealing a tiny bit of damage to him was funny in and of itself, frankly. Well, alright. Alright. We should be fine. If we were really lucky, it'll put us back in the church so I can get whatever's behind the altar, but I don't hope for as much. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Another game. Not the nature going to be decent, maybe. I mean, magical nature ring. There we are, so we're back, but... The question is... Is Freck aggressive, or... His disciple is here. Safe, safe. Then I was right then to bring them to the I'm grateful. self is in this dreary world. Now he's useless. What is it? Ah, uh, better yeah. than having him. Yeah, I'm Freck. Oh, okay, no spells to learn. So, look around, Trek with nonsense, even the demon souls. He's on the okay. I see. Cool. Let's chat. Hmm. I have a proposal, proposal demon souls to me. It's a soul teaching you magic, and your abomination of lesser souls. Understand me, it's a different thing entirely. Do you have a connection? Disciples, for me and my magic, for which Quint soon to be dead. Quaint. And so, so they hate each other. And heaven forbid the day you find out what their so-called god is. But he is right that their god is just a perverted version of the old one. I was defeated. Golden Elder beyond, so the old mind manipulate souls, dark over dark souls. Over Those dark souls? Oh my goodness. I thought this was demon annoyed. souls. Oh yeah. Hmm. I know of three he became demons. Owen, Estraya, and the old monk. Estraya of the Valley of Defilement. Ah, so that's and the, the six Saint Estraya mentioned Natria. earlier. She won't be a boss they later have on. Evolved to a higher we state. Wrong to assume demon that... work. He has power. So the idea is we were wrong. humans becoming demons, effectively. We have white piercing. Idol was in the form of Queen Nalus Elatric. Fraction Queen's power is a gifted sorceress. Okay, there we go. Bring me my patiently up. Find magician friend. In that case, we can get some level ups from our maiden friend. Thou seek Thank you. Seek some soul power. Key to life's ether. She says those whenever you actually level up. That's cool. And 14 would actually give us a bit more spell memory. Still can't actually... Faith, Miracle Memory, still at 1. Defense up, Plague Resistance. That said, some of them are going to be... Still, defense is going to go up no matter what we level, because it's tied to total level rather than other things. So is Fire and the other kinds as well, but... This, that will be crucial. Passive is increased. Vitality is good. Endurance is good too. Okay. Oh, but we can't. Oh, we can't actually. Oh, because that souls required, not souls held. Okay. Thank you. Help the world be mended. Now we can get another spell, which. Frack will let us change the spells we've got equipped. All right. Well, so the disciple, but better than having. Goodness. Doesn't choose our memory. Soul arrow, soul ray. There we are. Cool. Chat weapon is an interesting idea, but oh. water veil could be good if we were fighting the dragon. But be careful how you. Careful how you use it. Try this out. I thought someone was knocking on my door. It was not the case. Now that, that's good. This is going to be my best magic ability at the moment. 
But I do want to keep going in Latria. First we need to deposit some things. Deposit. Then all of these can go. It's moonlight, magical effect, chunk of moonlight stone. We can send the scimitar away. Send Gary's stone away. Hey, this is cool, but we actually don't have enough magic. Special magic. Dagger says and bladeless, but Pursuit Pole is good. Send another silver catalyst away. Kite shield could be useful if sweet so Oh, we do have enough strength now. I let's actually deposit then. Soldier shield, because it's just not as good. Yeah. And deposit. Massive damage short. Hmm, we may as well keep some of them, but... But other... Get rid of the silver gauntlets, because we can't even wear them. Female only. High value, more souls after defeating an enemy. Hmm. I... We'll be okay. We've got... Our item burden is quite high, though. That's the thing. I... We can put the helmet away. Put the leggings away. Put the gauntlets away, because I will not be wearing them pretty much no matter what. Okay. Okay. You have a heart. Let them take it from you. Oh, we did. I did you for a fair price. Let's repair some equipment. This needs... They don't need much repairing, though. And... Ooh, that's taken a bit more... I think maybe more expensive gear might require more of a repair. It's possible. You Need your business. And is that all? Okay. Let's go to Upper Latria. Fool's Idol Archstone. Church Devoted. Give hope to the prisoners. Malice behind it will crush their faint solace. Hmm. Alright. Cool. But it is interesting that it's above. Let's check. Man Eater. Demon Souls. Man Eater is weak to fire. Okay. Upper Latria is not that big. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take this. We use the possibility of maybe clearing out Latria today. Don't bother with dodges because I will just fall. My equip burden is at. Hmm, let me see. Equip burden, item burden, and. What if instead of the armor, just equip a shield? It's an idea. Guess the question is does Soul Ray pierce blocks? So, it'd be really useful. And... Where then? Beware of a fall ahead. And then, in that case, is it gonna drop us off? I really hope not. Now we're above the prison. That... If you get really, really close, huh? Hmm. And hero soul, and... Yep, we can just vault that. Nice. Back over where we started, and I hear somebody. Oh, I. Oh, all right. That's not good. That was unpleasant. Okay, cool. And all right. And compare the damage with flame toss. Ooh, soul ray is really, really good. Nice. Okay, let's use this late grass. So the armor was useful. I guess the question is, how can I make sure that I see an enemy coming? Sure that I know where to actually go on. Hmm. It's tough. Uh, it, was, it was over this way, but all those gargoyle-like enemies are. Oh, hello there. Hi. Thanks. And die. Die. And but okay, you can fly, but you can briefly hover. No, you can actually fly. That's weird. Oh. You can't do much against the soul ray, can you? Unknown soldier's soul. Then. Hmm. Something going on downstairs right now. Presumably construction. So the question is, could I actually break that? 
No. No, I can't. Okay. It was almost a fall, so I'm glad that didn't happen. Hmm. I need 16 dexterity to actually use. The phosphorescent pole is a weapon. But, still got our generation, which is good. This is behind you, which... Well, I don't see anything behind me yet. Or would it be that gargoyle that we saw and that awakened earlier, or... Or... Let me just go back and check. It's an annoying enough area that I feel like I have to be a bit more diligent with this. Hmm. Epic Lottery a moment. Hmm. Soul Ray would have been really nice to have here, but... And... As in the first part of the area. Hi, hello. How long will it take for me to lock on to you? Oh, hello, then. Hello there, hi. Thanks. One, two, three. Cool. Goodbye. There's gonna be a heart in Upper Latria, from what I've heard. That should get me the Ring of Avarice. Which will allow me to just have it equipped for 20% more souls, which pretty s eventually should be very useful to me. Well, that's annoying. I did not want to just have a demon corpse clinging to me forever. Come on, come on, come on. Just gotta make sure we don't fall down or anything. <laughs> please, please, please. Thank you. So over here we have... Good guy, no, not a good guy. Very, very bad guy. <laughs> that and... Okay, two spies. Yep, that's a lot true for you, and is treasure ahead? Well, oh, there is actually. That's nice. That's renowned hero soul. That's not nothing. Not amazing, but not nothing. And, oh, hi there. Hello, Mr. Gargoyle. Thank you. Just go for a few soul rays, and there we have it. Good enough thing to not want to, well, whatever you dropped, we're not seeing it now. Came back from this way, but not safe here. But this is wait, is this not wait? Where am I? Dodge. I Oh to get through that. Presumably, but that has a high chance of knocking off the edge, doesn't it? Oh, but that one I guess can only be obtained through dodging. Oh interesting. But how do I Is this damage it at all? Heart. Oh, so you have to drop the heart down in order to get through. But who is? Oh, they have a they have bows. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. Interesting. And oh, that. So the bow ones actually have a good deal less health. That makes sense. Usually, is how they do things in games like these, including other Souls games, of course. Also, Sekiro. This is, wait, what is this? Moonstone and, yeah, it's Moonstone. Makes sense. Imagine if you needed some kind of clearance to turn. You need an area to turn into and this ended up falling over. That would be sad. Once I get the, uh, let me think. Once I get my, Let's see. Sanity Catalyst is a fun idea to have, but frankly, I think it might not be worth it. That's what you get from beating the final boss of this area. The old monk, but what is interesting is that there are some Lovecraftian references here. Down. I don't think I will. Well, not kind of Lovecraftian in the sense that Sort of Moonlight Stone. The entire uh, the entire deal of this area is that they're possessed by this evil demonic yellow magic. And in particular, it's a reference to a book called The King in Yellow by Robert F. Chambers, which went on to inspire arguably Lovecraft's work. It was one of the first works of so-called weird fiction, according to a lot of people. In particular, it had to do with this 
sinister yellow symbol that could drive people mad. And also just a symbol of sort of eldritch occult power. So we need to drop this part down in order to get all the way down to the bottom. Presumably that would require some kind of... Yeah, yeah! But the yellow wrappings that the monk wears, as well as the yellow crowns worn by Hazel in Dark Souls 3 and Jeremiah in Dark Souls 1 are references to that. Hmm. Can I... Can't go up there yet. You find a way to drop this weird evil heart. Okay. Where is... Jump down from here? Well, you'll die, presumably. Actually, wait. And I'll... Well, I was close. Okay, I need to just find a way to barely roll off the edge. Yeah, there is treasure there, though. That was nice. I just need to be less stupid about it. <laughs> I feel like I could beat Lottery in one more area today. And then the next time I play, I could beat the remaining three, presumably. They're not, they're not all that long. Just think. Ooh, blood sword. What are the racks? That would take getting to 18 and every offensive stat, so that's a bit off. There's no reason to rush about your defilement then, but the weapon would be good for the final fight. <laughs> okay. Alright then. Big thing is that I don't think I actually want to be man eater right now. Because being man eater would take. It'd be best with fire damage, and I don't have. Mm -hmm. I don't have a particularly good fire spell right now. And that's the issue. I might have... Mm. Might have Flame Toss, but... It has its limits, and its limits are... Well, the big thing is just... I would rather have high DPS and high MP consumption than low, low MP consumption and low DPS. Said the insanity catalyst would come from the old monk, and that could also be useful. It's another idea. Mm -hmm. Let me just think. Can I? Not there yet. We have to go up, go down to get that treasure. Mm -hmm. Question is whether a quit actually saves the game, which. It just says quit. Hmm. Okay. Funny that maybe I could. Is that I need to go down kind of. Step off a bit. Okay, and. Ooh, that was really, really narrow. That was close. This is. Oh, the rune sword and rune shield. And those are the items that Astrava uses. So that's how we get those ourselves, but... Hmm. Let me just see. I... This sword needs a lot more magic than I have. Power negligible, powerful spells, protect from magic. Hero's weapon matching set with a rune shield. Hmm. And the rune shield then requires... Does not have... Oh, it also has a magic requirement, and it has... A very good magic block. Matching a rune sword. We could use that eventually, but I honestly don't think there will be a lot of enemies that use magic that we'll really need to deal with soon. We've killed Fool's Idol, and that is honestly the only magic-using boss. Aside from, I guess, Tower Knight, but Tower Knight is a gimmick boss that shouldn't be much trouble. We'll see. Tower Knight is decent. And then maybe I think Shrine of Storms, maybe, but again, that would just be Storm King, which is another gimmick fight that isn't meant to be hard and probably will not be hard. 
How do I... There's somebody coming. Hello there, hi. Use our soul ring. One, two, three. All right. Just made magic way too good in this game. Which, I guess no magic is its own kind of challenge run, but I don't feel like that. But, uh -huh. So what do I have to do to actually drop the heart down? Two things I see where the heart is currently blocking me. Hmm. Oh, hello then, and oh, all right, and oh my goodness. Okay, cool, just take you out, and another hit. So you only really use the crossbow from a relatively close range. Presumably, one of those might be Ring of the Avarice, because I know I read that. Get it from somewhere after dropping the heart down. But then how am I going to do that, though? Is the question. Oh, is that Maneater, or what? The true demon soul starts here. Flamberge, and... That actually did not affect my item boot as much as I might expect. Flamberge is... Large soul of the ripple blades, severe bleeding, causing fatal wounds. Huh. And yeah, I don't have the strength or the dexterity to use that at the moment. As one does. It'd be funny if that killed me. Backstep kill or something, but... Oh, but how do I get back? Oh, goodness, I'm... Maybe in a position. Okay, that's... No, that worked. That worked just fine. Huh. Go over and is this... Oh, well, you're over here. Hello, then. Hi. Thanks. One... Two... Three... Okay, cool. Enjoy death, and... You're gonna fall off again, so that's another... Soldier soul presumably gone. A distraction ahead. Oh, hi then. Hello. Cool. Nice. And good. Good. Okay, cool. Nice. Unknown soldier soul. How about a lot of those souls? Honestly, I feel like I should use a bunch of those just to get more levels. The sooner I get those levels in, the better and stronger I'll get. It's actually silly, because it means that if I hadn't opened that fog wall, I wouldn't have been able to get that. <laughs> oh, but you can also just go around that way, and we got some spice from that, which is fun. There are all the big old gargoyles and thing down there, or you can get down there, but there doesn't seem to be any benefit to it. Okay, cool. Fun. This goes back, and I hear something moving. Zoomably, it's what's letting the heart stay still. And thanks, thanks, and hit. Thank you for that. And boom. Well, I should maybe... How much do I have? I've got... I don't have enough MP, actually, to cast three soul rays, which is what I need to kill one of the gargoyles, so... This is... Beware of a fall ahead. Thank you. This is... Wait, oh, and a... An elevator. That's fun. Anything over this way? Or, yep, yeah, there was. With no stone unturned. Oh, and a stone of ephemeral eyes. That said, I probably won't have much need for that then. Cool, and aerial enemy, aerial enemy, goodbye, aerial enemy. Cool. Okay. That was interesting that it came at you just from the air. This. Interesting how they have this giant spider web like structure over the entire area. Isn't really crucial. <laughs> Alright then. What's up top here? We have. Presumably the way to drop the heart down. Probably at least one more. Demon here. And, oh, hello. Oh, they're all powering the heart. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, with more yellow magic. Oh, ah, okay, interesting. Let's... Oh, but I can't... Wait, what? Oh, okay. It was just a terrain issue. And the s dock is good enough at back steps. That can rely on. We just one tap all these guys, but none of these guys are supposed to be trouble. And... Oh, and it changed your angle, too. Funny. And... 
can we? Nice. And what now? Now that the yellow's all gone, the heart should drop. And... Oh, because they were basically holding the chain, whatever that giant heart is, is going to weave. Cool. Okay. That's all done, and presumably there's going to be something even higher up on the tower? We'll see, but there were two spots where there were heart-related things that we couldn't quite get, and it's... I think that this feels like a World Tendency event. Going up to the very top of the spire. Maybe. I'm sure that that isn't the end of things. Well, we'll see. I've been wrong in my life, and I'll be wrong again. There is anything, or attack something. Maybe. Oh, but right, let's get that back out. Where is you're the silent chief? Fresh spice. One of the cages will contain a very bad guy. We're gonna want to kill as quickly as possible. We're the liar ahead. Yep, his entire goal is to cause problems, basically. Friend lies and wait ahead. Somehow I don't believe that. Short of archstone. Oh, that's fun. Then I guess the question is, how would we get back? Back to where we need to go. Oh, it presumably we would have to use the short of archstone. Hmm, okay. Alright then. Alright. Can we Are you have the demons help me escape? Your... Stop, come and face the demons. Thanks, you're and alright. Well, actually. Move to the Nexus after another boss. Just wait, where's he going? He's just staying still. Okay, cool. Well, what have we here? Do you wish to die so soon? Which damage will we deal from a soul ray on you? Can we. Nice. And will you. Nice. Oh, you're simple. You don't even dodge. Okay. Now, killing you as soon as possible is the best way to deal with you. Why you? Sorry. Because eventually he starts killing everyone in the Nexus. Got his gloom set and. Ooh, our item burden is getting dangerously high, so. Be a good time to leave anyway. It's not any kind of cage or elevator, it's just. Oh? And does it. Oh, it is a cage elevator. I... Hmm, okay. In that case, I should actually quit out and try that again. Because there's not going to be a way to get it to come back up. There's no lever or anything here, so... Hmm. Okay. Not that one, not that one. But what is... Is it corrupted? can't imagine it got corrupted. That'd be really funny, though. Okay. Maybe we opened it too soon. I... What? 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 Okay. I... Let's reboot the emulator. Okay. Cool. Let's see how this works. Okay, it's booting back up again. Good. That's a relief. Whew, so the cage elevator, we're gonna have to use that. At least your dies really quick to just standard soul rings. Really want that ring of avarice, but we'll see what happens. More souls, more souls. I hunger for souls. Okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe a little. May not be all that emotive, but I was in a state. Okay. There we are. Oh, that, that's actually perfect. So they saved it because we killed him. That's fine. Let's see where this takes us then. The classic souls. Oh no, it's sending another one up from the side. Okay, cool. So it was gonna work. See another cage passes by. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool. That didn't do much, but... Oh, and is this... 
Ah, uh, okay. An actual legitimate poison swamp, or no? What is this place? I there's something coming, and I don't like it. Heart drop down, and huh? What are these things? I don't like them. And go ahead, die. I'm going to kill you. Okay. It's giant spiders. I do not appreciate your presence. And oh, tiny baby spider. And I. Ooh, well, I. Huh. Okay. Thanks. Huh. I. Oh, no, they're scorpions. Interesting, okay. Okay, All right end. Presumably these tentacles are gonna- Oh, they're not hurting me, but... Oh, this is disgusting. Okay. This is sort of mercury stone. Giant spiders, well... This is basically... Well, the real Demon Souls Blighton is... Valley of Defilement, but this is... Okay. It's a swamp, but it's not impeding my movements, and more importantly, really, it's not poisoning me. But the heart over in Upper Latria was what I really wanted to go through, because went straight through. Yeah, no 81. Just normal swamp. Thanks. Nice. Cool. Do you have any kind of Ooh, projectile attack? I should hope not. Ooh, we don't have... We need to cast right now. Great, and ooh, my... Okay, okay. Great, great. Okay, now we can kill you that way. Okay, cool. Then, chunk of mercury stone. Okay, then. Where are all my... Oh, okay, cool. That's just... Two, three, four. These enemies being strong, we can just... And those are movement frames for you. Should have Mercury Stone. Question is, really... Where is that fog gate going to lead to? Don't imagine, actually, it'll be... The nice thing is that... Soul Ray will pierce both enemies. At least a number of them, and... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Cool. Thanks. And... Nice. Alright. Cool. And die. Heat these spiders so much. So much. Okay. Primeval demon. Oh, it shows up around here. In a... Oh, that's the... Or not? Oh, I think we have to kill the boss for the primeval demon to show up. Which is going to drop colorless demon souls, which are... Useful items for us, and... Oh, wow, okay. And, ooh, you actually follow us. Okay, well, we can just keep hitting you. I guess. Cool. Thanks. Stay still. Die again. Thanks. I think that these guys only show up on... Higher... Difficulties, anyway. What is this? Oh, it's just... It's chunks of flesh. Great. There is actually repulsive, and this is... Oh! A... One of the demons actually fell all the way down here. Because it was rendered that far. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, that's actually cool. This area is still disgusting, but... That's cool. Okay, I... Mm. Be glad that you don't have to be the one playing right now. I'll say that much. Ooh, that did not connect. And can I hit you with soul rays? I cannot hit you with soul rays right now. And... Yeah. Please. Please be. Oh, and I'm... Place is confusing, too. Yeah, it... It's nasty. It's downright nasty. And of course freeing Yurt is what made that happen. I, at least I got the heart through, but... I don't even know where I need to go at the moment. Hmm. 
Assume we wanted this. Like we fall down. Yeah, the, the squelching noises are nasty. Valley of Defilement is kind of gross too. But it's not this weird bloody color. But also you get cool items from it. Oh, that's where you get an... That's where you're supposed to get the fragrant ring. That's cool. Okay. Big question is, now that we've got his gloom set, maybe I should have actually gone to the Nexus first. I don't know. Hmm. So if I'd gone to the Nexus first, I've been able to... Someone's coming. Don't like that. Oh, please. Either way. Huh. Can't reach anything. Where do I gotta go? Okay. Hmm. So I'm worried about accidentally overcapping my item burden and... I guess if thing worse comes to worse, I can just eat a bunch of grass. <laughs> like a cow. That'll get rid of some of my item burden. But Mercury said, oh, their tails come off. It might be part of it. But. And stone of ephemeral eyes. Don't presume that that much more could actually show up in this area, but. We'll see what happens. It's kind of funny that. Soul Ray is actually probably the best pure magic damage spell in the game. Just. There's nothing else in the game that really compares with it. We're all guides of guidance. And. So we are sitting up over this way on the nasty little walkway. Get a few more items around somewhere there in that corner of the swamp, but. The question and my worry is... It's gonna get picked up over here. Like a mercury stone and... Somebody's shooting... Oh, it's you! Okay, cool. Thanks. And... Alright. Can't even walk on from any kind of crucial distance and... Okay. So flame toss is much, much better against them. That makes sense. Okay. And if we just strafe, it's tolerable. But I, oh my goodness. Oh wow, I need to heal up fast. Uh huh. It's interesting that. Oh, but I don't want to use the Shard of Archstone right now. That's the thing. Soul Ray is still a little better, but. Half Moon, Late Moon. Okay. I have any Crescent Moon, though. These guys are basically kind of. I'm a lacquer of the old one in a certain sense. I... This worries me. Okay. Don't know what's going on with that. Not... Mm -hmm. Don't seem all that weak to fire, but. Said actually, Flame Toss deals about as much damage, with much less cost. It's probably my best option here, just for the sake of economy. Oh, I need. But I need to have this equipped. Okay, cool. Great, great. Makes me so happy. And dodge that. Hew down. Tossing fire. And from a distance. You won't drop anything special, but... Thanks, cool. Please, the big thing about magic and demon souls is that it costs no stamina. Which is part of what makes it... So much better than spells, because every other Souls game since, spells have cost stamina and oftentimes pretty sizable amounts too. But in here, it's just. Probably to compensate for the fact that they have mana costs, which are more of an all annoying to deal with at times. They're basically free. In terms of that, at least. Okay, cool. And sort of Mercury Stone and. Shards of Mercury Stone. Okay. Cool. Big thing is, there's got to be a way back to the, the shortcut back. Something like that. I'm just here in the swamp. Everything is so gross. Don't want to be here. There also, items, loot I need to get, other spiders in other places. Okay. Fun. And now you're coming, are you? Or are you not? No, you aren't. But, actually, we should. The interest of economy. Oh, the. 
Oh, I never thought to test it, but they're also exceptionally weak to fire, and this is more economical too. It won't work for... And that did not connect. Won't work for piercing them, but I don't think we have to worry about trying to pierce multiple enemies with a single shot. Not really. Okay. Uh -huh. It's just the fact that somehow there's some sort of weird abomination down here that bleeds when you hit it, so it's clearly still alive and just no explanation given. But it's here. Seems to be. It's definitely some sort of marine creature because of the way in which some of those are. Well, I'd probably have killed one of those. Some of those. Because of, you know, this vaguely cephalopod anatomy and lives in this water. But. What a crazy place. I do think. A lot of people do say that Demon Souls is probably the closest. Beyond maybe Bloodborne, so I guess, you know, Bloodborne. But it, I guess it's not a coincidence that it's the two. Two Sony souls, so to speak, that arguably have the most horror elements. Yeah. Well, the big thing is, I don't think you were there, but going through Tower of Hope was fun because there's an area in Dark Souls 3, the Irithal Dungeon, that you might have seen a little bit of, which is definitively a tribute to the first area of Tower of Lashria, Prison of Hope. Because of, well, just the whole aspect of the prison and enemies who are really hard to have to engage with, you probably prefer to not actually engage with. You just avoid because they can kill you fast. Okay. Anything over here, or there are a number of spots that I could go to that. Okay, you're here. Couple of roots. Thanks. And over here it is. Nothing I can reach at the moment. These spiders have gotta die. Okay, and a couple of Oh, and this is the This is the primeval demon. Hello. And not really weak to anything, but not really. We can give plague resistance. Okay, cool. What is my item burden at? Getting dangerously close, but they have a very slow bite attack. They're pretty much entirely passive, but let's take this guy down. So it. Hmm. We'll drop ideally a color with a demon, demon soul. There's a chance it does, in which case I'll need to reset, but should be guaranteed. There we go, a color with a demon soul. It's our first one, which will eventually mean being able to upgrade our pull for more mana regen. It's probably the one thing I actually want to do with it. But this is a colorless demon soul, the primeval demon. Don't feel any power with it. As opposed to the other ones, where a strong power radiates from it. And that gets used to upgrade certain, certain weapons. It also gets used, you can trade in three of them for a special miracle, really strong healing miracle. And that, to be fair, I might actually use miracle healing to some extent at least, just because of the grass mechanics and the fact that it takes up a clip weight and is just, in general, something I actually need to worry about if you catch my drift. I can't just say, okay, I rest, time for more healing. If I use up my grass and I don't have any more grass, well, then I don't have any grass. It's not the kind of thing I can just do casually. Keep trying, you can proceed, and... So what is over there? This is Renowned Soldier's Soul. What is this? Dark Moon Grass. That should be full healing. Fully heals HP and status ailments. Rare Moonite Blossom is right from New Moon Herbs. Huh. Don't have any new, we only have. Right, right, so that's the best kind. Okay. So in that case, we need to pay attention to where we're going. And what is 
These guys are falling down. I need to find some kind of shortcut back, or otherwise I'm kind of in for it. So I don't have a way back up, is the thing. We do have a shard of archstone, which we use to escape. Oh, we have to wait for those things to go up and down. And oh, that's nasty. Weakness is its back. Who's next? Is it going to be some kind of black phantom, or... Oh, another... Wow, okay. Another illithid. Okay, I was not expecting that. Cool. So if we just start tossing fire at you, and do this economically... Cool. Goodbye. Didn't even think you'd be here. True love passed here. More fresh spice, and... If I recall correctly, this actually links back to the first area of Latria, because we've gone down so far. And then... Horde of Foes lies in wait ahead. Uh-huh. I- Oh, alright. Thank you, spider. They're kind of similar to the crag spiders from- Oh, and they're an amalgamation of various people. Oh, that's nasty. Crag spiders from- Dark Souls 1 and the Blighttown Swamp, which were also a swamp associated spider enemy, but being over on this side, or I even get through here. Not right now. Don't presume I can manually raise it up, but. Hello there, hi. This is a horde of foes, but I'm not seeing that. Okay. Cool. Either way, I think that. Honestly, I might like to try Man Eater with Flame Toss or something. Just in the interest of getting as far as I can. Here in Latria. Guess the question is do I beat Fool's Idol? And if I do, or do I actually transpose the Insanity Catalyst? Because it would require a lot of spice to use, but I do have recovery, and it's an idea. Give me much better damage than what I currently have access to. Which, oh, and another Crystal Wizard. I honestly don't really care. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. No poison mist for me today. Thank you. Cool. There we are. Corpse and more mercury stone. It's gonna be here. Okay, fresh spines. But I'm getting to a position. The item burden that I'm going to need to go back sooner or later. Probably maybe toss some consumables so I don't actually go over cap, which would suck. And it would be funny to go down right, but... Oh, hello, hi. Thanks. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Not mean to use some of the other stuff, but... Uh, that some of that old spice was probably a bit wasted, but... We'll live. Thanks. Thanks. Rearing up, and cool. Keep you still. And a bit more fire. There we go. So the fact that magic gets access to both fire and magic damage makes it undoubtedly just the best. Going down there is... How do I get to that? But I... Oh, do I have to break that, or... Wait, how did... No, no, because I could have gone there, right? just need to retrace my steps. Huh. Let's see. Back down this way, we can see what item dropped there. Presumably just more spice, but... It's always nice to have spice. Spice is nice. Yeah, the... Yeah, we can just pick that up. And this was a... Wait. Oh, the... The crystal, the crystal wizard fell to its own death. That's really funny, actually. We have pure moonlight stone. Strengthened by that, but... Uh, not sure I really want the elemental damage weapons. Because I've got normal magic, and applying... Just dueling the element in a standard way. Especially since I have enough spice that I don't really have to worry about running out, so to speak. That is... Oh, come on. Of course you're right here. You always are. Come on. Die. Die. Thank you. Cool. That is... C1. Thanks. 
Cool. Ooh, all right. And where are you going, then? You're taking your time. Oh, because I guess you were supposed to be a hidden enemy who would approach you in secret, more or less. No soldier soul. Okay. And in that case, we'll turn you on. And oh, thanks. That's great. You know, it's just dandy. But, mmm, you do seem to be a little weaker. Flame toss and soul, rate, frankly. In that, the cost of flame toss. Just flame toss cost again. Demon souls. Toss costs nine, so actually that's about, it's a little inefficient. We have to, nine versus 15, about two thirds as much, so if, actually it's about exactly 60, 60%, but question is gonna be, it's over here, I, ooh, that was almost death. Let's not make that mistake. Where do we have to go to get to Man Eater? Oh well. Come on down, come back. Yeah. If Flame Toss deals 60% as much or more on uh, what Soul Ray deals to Man Eater, we're gonna use Flame Toss. Otherwise, I'm using Soul Ray. Man Eater is a weird boss. Really, really annoying. Often considered to be the hardest boss in the game, but if I can use Fire on it and stay at range, that should make it significantly easier, I would think. We hope. It's because it is, apparently. You're supposed to be weak to fire, but I... Alright. Thanks. Gonna come down here with me, or... The annoying thing was just how that gargoyle... Uh, immediately ambushed me upon leaving the elevator. Especially since I don't have any kind of shield right now. The big thing is that I always want to have the catalyst equipped because of how the... Okay, nice. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, but you can't actually attack right now because you're stuck on the elevator. It's really funny. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, but... The time that the elevator is active is basically nil. Oh, okay. And I couldn't search the corpse because it fell off too fast. If it works, it works. Okay. Cool. Get back up here. Get back up here. Despite those stupid man-eaters. Okay. Now, this side as soon as possible. Thank you, thank you. Cool. It's just... The area is so long, and there's no... Checkpoint or anything, really. It's... So much of a... Oh, but I think this might have led back to... Where I was? Or is this... Oh, you have to... The heart hasn't dropped yet. You drop the heart once, and you have to do it again. Again, there are two chains. So I didn't go back too early. That's good. Attack, yeah, okay. And just, thanks, 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 thanks. Oh goodness. Well, that was overkill for sure. That should be there. Okay. Moonlight, so, so we've had to go down past here anyway, no matter what happens. No more yellow magic, and now the heart should drop. Heart should just be gone. And did we? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what I think it is? The end of whatever this ridiculous thing is? Okay. Cool. Little brain that... Oh, I think we have to walk on it wild. So now we have a couple of areas we can go to now and there that we couldn't get to before. Oh, and those spider things crawling out of it. That is more than a little nasty. Okay, and oh, presumably you have to go down in the middle? The big hole? Oh, that is, that's really nasty. Okay. Well, whatever. We will continue on back. Want to go home? You and me both, brother. Okay. Sword Soldier Soul, and this is actually just back to the start, but... See that archstone over there? This the big question is, do I keep on going? I think I always get the ring. 
Let's see what happens after that, because yeah, it's just... I could spend these souls. And it is nice that our relentless save scouting has allowed us to totally avoid losing any kind of any blood save. That is making things more convenient. Yeah. Big thing is that Demon Souls is not a boss-oriented game, it's an area-oriented game. Which the areas might be tough, but the bosses generally don't take too long and they aren't supposed to. It's just the capstone at the end of the area. Drop that down. That's all down there, so we should be able to reach that and all the spiders on there, but... I don't know if I can get the first chain tower from before. I don't even know if I can get on that and on top of it anyway. This is where we originally went, the other chain tower. That's just right over there. The other one was blockaded. This is... Song. Grab that. Oh, we can actually go up top, too, but... Wait, wait. My soul's past here, and... So where's my ring? Renowned hero's soul. Go down all the way. What will I find, then? This might be a man-eater, then. Oh, so in that case, it would actually be really, really close to the start, but... And another Illithid. You've got to be kidding. Next enemy, and just... Can we... Can we... Thanks, and... Ooh, well, I... Never mind. All right, then. Cool. Actually, this is a perfect chance to use Dark Moon Grass, frankly. Okay, and just... Boom. 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 Okay, cool. Thanks. Fresh Spice. That's good. Now, that was... Literally, exactly a full you'll need it. It's basically one hit from death. So presumably this should be the fog wall for the end, but I want to go investigate that heart first, but I want to see what's up here first, too. Should also probably lead to the start of Lottery as well, but this is nothing! Oh no, it is something! Oh wow! That's kind of risky, too. Now actually, if you fell, you would fall right on the staircase. Well, not staircase, but is it a staircase or a ramp? Okay, it is a staircase. Well, that, it'd be funny if you'd fall that. There'd be literally no good reason to. You would just die instantly. Well, when it chance. That is... That's gonna be Maneater. I don't want to fight that thing right now. Just make a long story short. So I might also like to get... Got a good deal more souls. Just upgrading myself could be nice too. Old Spice. The confident one. Because I have Old Spicer, presumably. But that's... Oh, wow, that's eight of those. It's crazy, actually. I, the big thing is... Once I have Ring of Avarice, I want to keep it on semi-permanently. Just because getting more souls means getting more strength. And getting more strength means, well, a lot of things become a lot easier. The big question is... When I get to that heart, will I pick up anything that will put me over a quit burden? The big thing is that when I go through Boletaria, I'll be able to get a ring that can temporarily increase a quit burden. The big thing about it is that I wouldn't like to actually use it most of the time. I would use it in emergencies if I equipped too much. Is the thing. So the Ring of Avarice, presumably, would be farther down. It's just... There are enough enemies, they're troublesome enough right now, because I can't really deal with them without using magic, which does cost MP, which, you know, if, if it came down to it, I could farm spice from Illithids in the first floor of Tower of Hope, but that would be time-consuming and annoying, and I just don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to see if I can go down to investigate the heart and the funny spider things and get a ring and maybe a way back to first Latria. Oh, there you are. Yep, and more spiders have flooded out because of the heart breaking open. This is basically... kind of feels as if dropping the brain of Mensis in Bloodborne was in some way a tribute to this. The funny thing is how 
Even though you, I'm not attacking with any kind of physical weapon, it's still literally... Its tail is still detaching from the rest of its body when I kill it, which is amusing. Oh my- oh wow, I did not expect that. Wait, what? No, no, no. Okay. Cool. Time to try that again. Cool. Alright. Alright then. That happens sometimes. Okay. I just did not expect to be jumped from behind. All right. Cool. It's really funny that... Bolatory was pretty short. I mean, Bolatory took a while. Well, because, to be fair, the, the starting was basically a whole giant tutorial, but... Wait, what was... Mm -hmm. Okay, that was our spice. All right. Hmm. Well, we'll live. As in that corpse was what gave us eight more old spice. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Gonna keep on going. Head on down and yeah. And, yeah, we gotta run down all the way. I thought that maybe going out before Maneater... Going up to the possible Maneater area first was maybe a bad idea, and yeah, it was kind of a bad idea. It's because the run is that long. Okay. Let's just return to where we were before, and yeah, having the fluted armor is helpful, but... The big thing is that Gloom set we got is... some trouble. It's really, really, really heavy, for one. About as heavy as this. You're the Silent Chief. Of old adhesion robs the body, hits shiver, and breathe out cold air. Peed stamina regeneration, but... This... Is... Oh, it's... The same... Resistance... Same absorptions, but different resistance. It's stronger resistance... And status. That could be good to wear in the swamp, maybe, which... Probably is the area I'll take on last. Maybe. Most likely. Just because the swamp's annoying, the anti-poison tactics, the big thing is that I need to probably want a talisman in order to cast various poison cure and resistant spells or miracles that I don't have access to right now. Because I just don't have a talisman. I bought miracles, but I don't have a talisman. Thanks, Shard of Mercury Stone, but again, I don't really need. Yeah, I don't want to get double teamed by these guys. Be annoying. Oh, they're high. Great, great. Have to look around that corner. Thanks. And because if we go out that way, the other one will come and try to get us. Cool. That tail just flew. Okay. Cool. Cool. Can reach here, which I believe also might send us back to first Latria. Then, is this another spider or no? They don't go that far. Around the tower, yeah, we've got all these weird little spider guys just causing trouble. Now we can. Wait, wait. Can we. Ah, now we can actually reach the area. But we should let them come out of their own accord first, so I don't have to get surprised and ambushed by them. Hello, and there we are. Nice. But just literally, what is this thing? Okay. Short of Mercury Stone. And a spider. Luckily, we can just kill with fire, as one does. Fresh spice. Because Old Spice, we'd only want to use in emergencies. And the Epe, which, ooh, we're close. Old Mask is pretty good, but 
Mercury stone. Yeah, we'll probably have to trash some things. Ring of Avarice. There we go. We got the ring we wanted. Avarice is good. Slaying enemies. We don't need all that much power for enemies, but destroyed hero soul. The question is, can we drop down the middle? Destroyed hero soul. Soul, yeah. You think? Give us 20 more on every kill, but... Oh! Just combining sharpness and... Stone of Eyes and Sword Soldier Soul. Big thing, we got our Avarice Ring. It's the big thing I wanted. Again, I could combine with sharpness. Fragrant Ring is actually not as important now that we have the pole, which we can actually upgrade again. Better stuff. Better. Magic regeneration, anyway. It's just where we were. So the question is, can we get on top anyway? Doesn't seem like it. But I... I think I probably actually want to go back to... Latria. The question is, I don't have the second floor key that I wanted. Well, we'll see what happens. Just where would I get that 4-2 key? It's gotta be somewhere. It's the hallway and... Latria. Prison of Hope. 2-F West Key. Top of... Oh, you need pure white world tendency to get that. And it will give you a staircase up that otherwise does not exist. So yep, it was a world tendency event. Then and my hunch was correct. Okay. And so there's a bit over in the first part of Watcher, which I have to come back to later then. Let's just escape here. Take out Man Eater. Maybe take out Old Monk, honestly. By the way, we need to go back here. Mm -mm. Well, alright. I'll give. Mm -mm. Okay. Alright then, I might, for being Maneater and maybe Old Monk, I think I'll actually close things out for now. A lot got done. A lot did get done. Go over here and return to the Nexus. That said, I think that... Oh, nice! It's great. I, I will check that out real quick. I like it. I like that though. I like how dramatic it is. What? Yeah. Pants are important. Don't knock pants. Big thing is, I don't think I can upgrade the phosphorescent pool at the moment. But we gotta unload a lot of stuff. Upgrade, and yep, I can't upgrade it like this. Sharpstone, uh, he's basic. Thank good, I was. Let's deposit that armor. Don't need gold mask, only women. Mass aside, six of souls, particularly high make rare it. An assassin, we see what it will do it. Okay. Seriously? That would generally is one of the top priorities. We have level rotation portion of the complete ship characteristic. Two horns. Gloom armor. These are heavy. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Let's keep on going and hmm. we are in debt. But on our, our behalf. So item burden is we gotta get rid of all my upgrade mats. Pause it. All of these can go right now. Don't need any of these right now. It's funny how the pure stone, because that's a full chunk, a full piece, weighs a lot more than the others. Mercury Epe, that's actually quite good, but I don't have I won't have the magic to wield it during this playthrough, probably. Show flame vicious people are so feared. Rune Shield and Yotu. Kinda of sad having to get rid of so much. Fragrant ring. Let's play. Keeping the rings on me is usually. I don't think I have to worry about that. Okay, cool. We are in Okay, let's take that cursor off the screen and get a couple more levels. You should be over there. Latria. No, where is where's the maiden? She's over there. Okay, cool. Hi there, ho. Huh? Soul power touched the demon. The lines. Life's ether. I know she she's supposed to be kind of Eastern European. Frankly, she sounds a little. Sounds like she's from New York, kinda. Okay, let's actually. Well, I think decks are both pretty crucial. I have more or less everything we need, but. That, hmm. Quit burden, uh, we'll be okay. Thank you. Or, may, or maybe from something like Jersey Shore. It's hard to know. Let's go back and, we've got a ring of avarice though. I guess the question is, the first thing maybe might be to go to, well, uh, I'm so close to Man Eater. May as well just send it. As in, the show about Jersey Shore, it's Jersey Shore. That's the show. Uh, okay. Probably Ring of Magical Sharpness and other things. So when is... should be another gargoyle common. A little bit more magic, which would help our damage, presumably. There is... Let's see. I see somebody common, but I need to make sure we don't get blindsided. Hello there, hi. Boom. 66. That's capable damage. Oh, I, oh, right, because I don't have magical sharpness on me. And a fall? I try to be. At times, at least. It's the right thing to do. People are going to be nice to me by making fan art. The least I can do is be supportive of their endeavors. The least I can do. Thanks. Well, I'm proud of him. Let's keep on going. Where is... Oh, come on. Gotta get back to where I was. Some regeneration. Oh, right, so there's a spider there too now. And oh, the big thing is honestly just... I'm gonna have to kill that man-eater again. That's the big thing. I mean, the... Kill the mind flare again. Well, we'll live. This isn't something I just can't deal with. But, having to go... What is interesting is that if I didn't have to worry about a quit burden, I probably wouldn't go back to the Nexus all that much in the first place. But, as it is... Hmm. The big thing is, I think that actually... I don't need the Fragrant Ring anymore. I need the Ring of Magical Sharpness, because since I'll be able to kill in fewer hits, I'll be able to make better use of the MP I do have. That's how this is going to have to go. Go up, not let that demon cling to me, presumably. And then, and then. Well, alright. Alright then. Go back up for a bit of healing. 
Okay. there at the moment. Oh, but actually... Oh, but no, I have to go back to the Nexus to manually switch my world tendency by brute forcing, so... We'll take a bit. Oh, we'll see. There's you up there, so... Just run up. Wait until you get your back turned. And here we go. Thanks. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Cool. Okay. 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 All right. Keep on going. Probably use a bit of spice pre-fight. Honestly, I've got enough old spice that I should probably. Ah, uh, no, no. It's not as useful, and it would be a little wasted. The question is, if I quit out here. Right at the top, by the fog gate, would I be able to just immediately spawn back in over here? I would hope. Quit and return, and will it save there? Logging in, to the arch stones, and... I know I tried doing a save and quit during the tutorial, and it did not quite work. And it... We are more or less in the same area. This is the quick save works, so this is good. This is alright then. Alright, let's enter the fog and start using flame tosses on these annoying things. Okay, cool. Thanks, and 138 versus... And, oh wow, the fire really is how I want to do this then. Uh, okay, alright, and... Oh, you're... Oh, okay. Huh, alright. A lot of healing it. Are they gonna... Oh, that's not death. Okay. Okay, cool. Boom. Boom. Okay. Uh, they are weak to fire, but the second one will show up eventually. Come on. I mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I uh, stupid gargoyles. Okay, and I okay, nice, nice. Dodge. Okay, thanks. Well, ooh, please. Okay. What a weird boss, frankly. Okay. Got a ring of charges. Okay, well, I. That would have been really, really bad, except. Thanks. And, oh, fire is just. Can you keep them more or less still? Okay. Cool. And you're over there then, and. Can I hit you or. What? Where are you going? So weird. This is basically just the Demon Souls version of. Oh. Uh, of the. Bell Gargoyles from Dark Souls 1, and they're worse. They're just incredibly erratic, is the thing. It's hard to guarantee anything in this fight. And yeah, see, they just will occasionally just decide to throw you for a loop, and uh, never mind. I, wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? Never mind. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Try that one more time. I might. It might be beyond my capabilities. That was the interesting thing was that it seemed like uh, taking out one of them was it was actually just one at the start. That's the real question. Hard to tell, hard to say. Huh, huh, okay. Oh, but right, it came out in 2009 in Japan, but it came out in 2010 in America. Hey, this game is about.
A decade and a half old either way. It's really nothing to sneeze at. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's stay away from them. Thanks, man eater. Thanks. And I. Cool. Flame toss. Just keeping my distance is how I need to do this. And I. Thanks. And all right. Okay. But I. Ah, dodge was annoying. I, okay. Cool. Raw shanks. Thanks, take that. And... Huh? Okay, uh, ooh, what? No, no, okay. That did not work. Gonna need to relaunch. Shame. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. If that doesn't work, it might be the end of things, which would be funny, but not in a good way. <clears throat> Let's just launch this again. It forced me to wait a little, launch it. Initially. <laughs> It is funny that the only thing making a lot of this, you know, not horrible to do is just quitting immediately. Okay. Unsurprising, but makes sense. Okay. But a bit of Ward Whitedale was funny for sure. So the big question is, is whoever is Old Mutt going to be a person, or is it going to be nobody? Going to be the NPC there, because that will probably determine how that fight goes. And I... Huh. Alright, then. Go that all through. We'll live, maybe. Okay, alright. But you'll... Uh, don't have a shield up in that. Definitely really is a problem, and I... Okay. Huh. Dodge two. I, okay, fun. Not really. Okay. Hmm. I might like to actually have a shield equipped for this. So if I can block it, that would be really nice. Block its physical attacks. I guess the big thing is that, as cool as it is to have phosphorescent pull to use for mana regen. I don't really need it if I'm using spice for a fight. And honestly, that regen is mostly something I should probably pay attention to if I'm going through an area rather than fighting a boss. The big thing is just Ring of Magical Sharpness is nice. Ring of Avarice is crucial so I can get as many levels as possible from killing the boss, but. Very least, we did already get to the. We wanted to be of the get our silver cattle stop and get our kite shield on and what does that say about my equip load? And I it's actually not that high. Let's put on the wizard's gloves anyway and just Oh, because we don't have anything in the food it set equipped. Okay, well we'll be alright, presumably. Okay. Now we spam flame toss. Keep our shield up for when we inevitably get rushed. Thanks. Cool. Oh, well, I... All right. Oh, okay. Thanks. Ooh, I... Okay. I said, oh, my lord. I, okay. Oh. I... Really, really, really... Okay. Whatever. Huh. Yeah, this is generally considered to be one of the hardest bosses in the game. It's just, I don't need to kill Maneater right now. I really don't. I could just not do that. Kill something else. Go over to... The big thing is, is... Do I go to... Maybe I go to Bulletari and Inner Ward, kill Tower Knight. That could be okay. Maybe. 
but I really do like the idea of killing. Old Monk is the way to close things off. So it shouldn't be all that bad, presumably it's just... We'll see. But is it dealing magic damage through my shield or what? Just get behind you, we can... Oh, never mind, okay, cool. Thanks, thanks. Okay. So if we can shield it until it gets in a good position to hit, maybe we can make this work a bit better. Thanks, cool. All right, and, okay, cool. So we don't need any stamina, so we can afford to, nice, cool. Okay, and, like that, cool. Oh, well, okay. Sometimes they can just knock you off. Thankfully, it did not happen that time. Cool, and just toss, and, can we? Shield over, and, okay, nice. Big damage, but it's all physical, which means we can, well, Thanks for being erratic, Mr. Man Eater. That was great. And wow, okay. Thanks. Basically, keeping that shield up as much as possible. Especially because I actually don't need... I don't need stamina to cast magic, so... Alright, I can just turtle. And basically be a fire-spitting turret. Hmm, okay. This also means no boss run. <laughs> that is the most convenient part, really. You have to restart the entire game, but... How many times am I just going to see on the first day? It's going to be like this. Either way, Watry is literally just... <sighs> this guy, these two man-eaters, and then Old Monk is literally right after. So... Hmm, should get more grass from Volataria, but... Thing is, I do want phosphorescent pull and thanks. Oh wait, that's an un tackles an unblockable. Oh wow, I okay, cool. Not really, not cool at all. And okay, that hit, which is good. And okay, uh, but so erratic. What even justifies that? Okay, cool. And they're kind of a nice and. Thanks. Uh, okay, nice, and... Oh, wow. Alright. Cool. Nice, and... Those attacks are not great, but just... The targeting being as annoying as it is, is part of what makes it so bad, but I... Okay, cool. Uh, Alright. Uh, but I... Okay. And I... Ah, uh, come on. Get over here. Get over here. Thanks. What? 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 Okay. Cool. What? Where are you going? What are you trying to do? What in the... What? Not even... Okay, and... Oh, really? Okay. Come on. Need some spice. It's just the damage I deal is great, but... It's not unless you can actually... And... You'd be very... Okay. Boy, the rush of, uh, the fact that the pounce is completely unblockable is really just the cheese on the sandwich. This, okay. Yeah, that's, you have to roll that, but that's not something that any other part of the game really. Okay, I think that you actually have to. Oh, okay. It's a timing thing. And, okay. If you aren't with your timing, you'll just end up... Oh, but also fight around here, right? Now, this is probably a better location, because we can use this to... space. And, uh, okay, cool. And, alright. Yeah, okay. Huh. Just stay over this way. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, really, really, okay. Keep on... Thanks, Dodge. Okay, if only you could actually fall off. That would be great for me. You know, obviously you can't, but... Okay, and just... Oh, really, really? Okay. Oh. It's gonna be my Rubicon. Okay. And... Thank you, thank you. And, oh, thanks. Okay. Use of the entire arena is going to be crucial for getting any kind of victory in this fight. Cool, thanks. 
Grass, grass, and... Okay, dodge. Okay. What? What? Huh? Call me in movement frames, huh? Okay. Yeah, it does seem as if... Eventually... The other man-eater joining in is a time-based thing. It would make sense. It does not make me happy about it. At all. Uh, either way, survey and everything else should make everything go really, really quickly, presumably. That's the idea. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Just laundry is the first is objectively a very silly way to be doing this, but really, whatever works. The big thing is just how little grass we have is causing a problem, and can we... Thanks, thanks, and... And I thought that would be dodgeable, and... Wait, what? Never mind, okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Big thing is, I need to be very, very... I need to be aggressive enough that I can get the first one somewhat down before the second one shows up because that's when things just get horrible but if i'm too aggressive then it'll just kill me with that unblockable jump attack which is obviously not something i'd really like to happen <clears throat> okay over to latch having soul ray for First area, though, is going to be just the definition of overkill, though. Nice thing, of course, is that the Silver Catalyst is just the better Catalyst. And this can be... We're gonna... What are you gonna do? Thanks. Okay, cool. Great. Great. And... Oh, never mind. You're gonna... Get over here and just... Thanks. Thanks. And... Roll. Thanks. And... Roll. Thanks, and boom, and okay. And we're just gonna have to tank those. And cool, let's just tank it. Okay. Oh, wow, we didn't die? Well, also, my controller is uncontrollably rumbling. Which is just great. Okay, cool. Nice, and cool. The tail is actually just interesting. And I, okay, well, what can I... What am I gonna... Huh. I'm... Confused in a really tough way. Okay, cool. Thanks. Don't know what's going on. Man. I literally have no idea what's going on. And cool. It's nice that that has some range limits, but can I oh, dodge? Okay, please. I need some of this. And okay. thanks, thanks, thanks. All right. Cool. And all right. Dodge back. And, so just fire and dodging back is. To be a decent way to guarantee survival here, but I can... Okay. Okay. I should run. I should run it. Oh my goodness, that's not good. We need emergency roll protection. And where is that one man here then? We're over. Where is the other one then? And I, okay, cool. Nice. And. Okay, cool. Nice. Toss. Fire. And. Cool. Cool. And. Get one down, we can probably get the other down. I hope. Don't even know if the other one knows where I am. Hopefully it does. Not okay. And what are you? What are you doing? It's just knowing where they're even going is literally half the battle. I don't know where you are. Okay. Dodge and okay, cool. Dodge that successfully, but now you're over there. And white what? What? Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, what? No, no, no. Really? Or are you gonna go? Thanks, and... What in the... Okay. So knock me off the edge, please. I'm begging. And can I... Toss it. Okay. What in the... Okay. Cool. Thanks, toss it. Boom. And... What the... What? 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 No. No. We need... Do oh, what? No! Okay. We were so close to killing one. I wonder what the rumble was doing, though. Hmm. Kill one, we can hopefully kill the other, as long as we're just... It's a matter of patience. 
patience. Latria, Latria, Latria. After Latria, everything is going to be maybe a relative cakewalk, I hope. The big thing is I could use Insanity Catalyst to just kill things quickly, just for bosses, but you can't get Insanity Catalyst until you kill Old Monk. And, well, to kill Old Monk, I've got to kill the man -eaters. Okay. Cool, and just kill you. What are you gonna do? And dodge. Cool. The nice thing is that if I'm smart, I can actually. Ooh. What are you doing, actually? Huh? Okay. Did I manage to break you somehow, or what? That would be great, actually. But I. Okay. Cool, and thanks. Cool. Ah, oh, what? Okay. Fresh spice, liquid grass, and. Thanks, and roll, and... Oh, we got hit. Okay. Those don't seem to really actually home in all that well, which is maybe good for us. So these are half or not... Well, I... Wait. Oh, we could hit. That was funky. I, okay. Roll, and... Did we hit the tail or what? No, okay. Need my dark moon. Grass. Okay. Dark moon. Window woman. Okay. Cool. Okay. I said that did not hit. Did not hit. Cool. Cool. Great. Great. And boom. Or not. But how am I gonna... Really, it's just... Tracking this thing, especially with the time sensitivity of the first one dying, is really just nonsense. Thanks. And die. Die. And really just... Okay. Cool. And okay. Alright. And die. Thanks, and all right, then and I, oh, come on, okay, cool, and just die, 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 and just, thanks, and really, really, another unblockable, you've got to be kidding me, and, okay, how do I, dodge, dodge, roll, and need to know which one is, do I want to kill, okay, this, one of them should be one down from death, and there we go, one is dead, okay, so now we just need to make sure that the other one does not get us and kill us. Easier said than done. Okay. Well, I might actually be in a funny position with this. If I use this as a barrier, maybe I could... Oh, well, all right. Can I hit the tail? I can't hit the tail. Okay, well, I... The way that that works is just inconceivable. The big thing is we have all the time we could possibly need now. Don't need to be... Rush this, don't need to be aggressive, and I... Oh, well, all right, and I can... Thanks, and I... Okay, thanks, and... All right. Just don't die. Die, and... Wait, moon grass. Thank you. Okay. Come on. But it does have a re reputation of being the hardest boss in the game. Presumably for a reason. And I... You're just... AI is so funky here that... It's just getting you to actually go and not... Okay. Come on. If you keep cycling like this, at least we can presumably get rid of you, but I need to... Okay. Cool, cool. And dodge and... Uh, it's just... The way you fight is just nonsense to me. Okay. It's so idiosyncratic. And it's funny, because it is arguably the kind of thing you would maybe expect from a non-human demon, but it it's all just because they were uh, so silly about it. Okay. Thanks. And scrasses. The fact that people beating this boss no damage is still crazy to me. The level of knowledge of the AI's behavior and all that is just... The big thing is just we can be patient. We can and should be patient now. But, no, seriously. Literally, where was it going and what was it doing? It's not even trying to fight me anymore. Okay, cool. And, what? Maybe if, I, if I'm on that centerpiece, that might be what makes it behave so weirdly. I really do not know. Right, okay, just out of the way of that. And, dodge, thanks. Cool. Thanks, and one more, one more, and. 
There we are. No more man eaters. Demons destroyed. Obtain the demon soul and the power beyond human imagination. Finally. Okay, cool. We should get a pretty sizable amount of souls from that because we're on pure black world tendency with some other stuff. We're crossing a challenger. Okay. It's probably what that person before was asking for help with. Now I've done it. A mixed demon soul. This is the man here is also sort of partially snake, partially something else. Legendary and renowned soldier's soul. That, honestly, I will... I'm going to pop all my big souls and just level myself up a bit. It is nice to get all that. Okay. Hello then. Let's seek some soul power. Peace all these. Key to life's ether. From its vessel. Withdrawn from its vessel. All may be mended. Okay. Magic power. And then... Uh, vitality is always good. Let's pop our big souls. Strong health of world be mended. Three cents, we don't need all of these for much. Terry soldier soul. Spirit nourishment for demons. And that honestly isn't even all that much. Use... Oh, but you can't use multiple at once, can you? Oh, you can't quantity use. Okay. Yeah, but Vanguard is after all these because it's in Shrine of Storms, but... Okay, cool. Cool. So I'm gonna have to use all of these one by one. Isn't that great? really makes me appreciate introducing quantity usage and oh but actually what I could do is put on a hot bar and just keep popping them okay thanks thanks yeah but they it's basically nothing and just go straight to the moon grass which I don't even need right now yeah these really just wow but I... Wait, wait, let me see. Can't equip the... Huh? Can't up using the... Did I? Wait. I think I may have made a horrible mistake. Let's just see. I think it ended up making me use my boss souls somehow, which... is stupid. <laughs> Okay. Somehow automatically switch to the next stolen stock and... I mean, in the end, it's just... I was never gonna use... Phalanx, Mixed Demon, Lead Demon. The weapons they give aren't really that good to begin with. They're gimmicks. And there's no magic that I could have gotten from them that I would have missed. But it's still silly. Okay. Hmm. Cool. See how this works. See how this works. Oh, but I, I keep getting the wrong image, wrong window. That's the thing. Okay, that's the issue. So the question is right, and it didn't even save souls we use, so we still have all of those. But I wonder why it used those other souls. I did not intend to do that. It shouldn't matter. Okay. Let's just try and see if renowned hero souls, if we use these, will, will it make me end up using my other souls, or? That's the question. Well, I've got, I've still got those, but, huh. I feel like something might be a little off. Oh, it's because you can't just equip the special demon souls, which makes sense. They won't let you do that so that you can't just randomly use them because the special isn't you probably wouldn't want to do that in the first place. Okay. I'm using these. Equip a renowned soldier's soul, which actually gives basically nothing. 
That's the craziest part, but... Not even sure if all of these will get me all the way to another level up. Assumably, if these are 800, they actually be 500, and the next maybe 200. The values of these are actually surprisingly low. The values of... I've had a lot of souls in DS3, and the value was pretty high, but these are... The big thing is just getting 50 extra souls at base from everything. Way of being on pure Bach World Tendency does throw things a bit off. Six of soul power. Strength. Dex. Endurance. Intelligence. Sold it off in the next slot. Faith luck. Plague res is good. Magic defense is also good, though. Full power. So, Panther will be not even how much we need for the next level we need. Next level we need. Let's just seek our soul power and. 9505. Thanks. Let's just see. 9505. And now we have. Out of those times, 500. Would be. We would be able to make that work. We may as well just do it. As much power as quickly as possible. I seek power. That's only 400 though. Oh. Presumably the next would be 200. So they're kind of almost doubling every time. Almost. Some exception. Thanks. It's nice that the animation is a bit faster given the fact we can't quantity use. Which is probably why they didn't think to do it because it was fast enough already. About 9505. Okay, cool. Should be close. Yeah. <laughs> Need to use 10 or so. 8 or so more, but. More levels we get, the better. Okay. Inner reward would be nice. Go to inner reward, take out some stuff. Take out the tower knight, presumably. Okay, cool. Alright, let's touch the demon. I did not want to do that. Let's do that, upgrade our luck. There we are. So everything is at 15 now. How the world be mended. Yeah, now we're at level 40. Alright, anything now? Or any mental? Okay, cool. Big thing is, I want to see what I can grab. Belongings, take an item, and let's actually take... Oh no, we're actually out of all the grass. Oh, reclaim. Okay, right here. Okay, cool. We have decently high item burden now, too. Question is, what do we want to deposit? Armor's good. You have a hot. Don't let them take it from you. We have equip burden. We could afford to get up to 22. Uh, but still dangerously. Close. 16 will let us use the heavier shield, which should be good too, but... Big thing is now we're going back to Latria. Gonna have to try out the... Let me see. Oh, but, right, we could put on the pull over here. Alright. We're actually close to being able to use the pull. That's right, that's what I was thinking about. Man Eater Archstone, in these hanging prisons, lost his current master, old man who is no longer human, has been creating his own demons. Alright, well, we can put him to rest. May as well. Also, we have. Watch for the. The Makoto, but we don't need that, really. Eh, we'll see. It's a special sword you can pick up from somewhere that. Thought about maybe grabbing. I did not grab it. Oh, but we have... Wait. Oh, now we're actually fat rolling. Okay, so we can't wear the wizard's gloves. Sad was... Okay, so now we're right under... Right under burden. Go up here, take some things out, and... Oh, okay, cool. Ooh, things are starting to sound kind of silly. Ooh, all right. Thanks. And wait, what? Huh? What was... Oh, it's the f oh, and this fog is yellow because. Thank you for popping in. Don't worry, I'm doing fine. Ah. That's the. 
Good to see you. Got a cutscene for the fool's idol, but not for the rest. That'll summon somebody to fight me, but... And is that an image of who we've seen, or... I guess they... Huh? Don't see them yet, so is that an NPC or somebody we're actually playing against? Because if someone is on invading through here, they do show up. That guy, the old monk. Very interesting, because to a certain extent, he used the yellow robes to control the dark spirits. But off his own head, possession. To a certain extent. The old monk might have. He might be in a sort of Christian chapel. His appearance is more of a Buddhist monk than anything, I would say. Just because of the Yawa, which is not commonly a color, I would say, in sort of Western Christian religion. Okay. There should be a crystal wizard somewhere along here, but I... And, of course, we got more spiders. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. That's just... Black Phantom ahead. Yeah, you think? Okay, cool. But, we have almost beaten one of the worlds. Probably the one that will take the longest in the end, just because it's going to be so much stronger after this. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh uh, wait, what? Okay. Cool. I And of course there's a Black Phantom Mind player here. Got to be kidding me. Well, I, whatever. We can stun lock you by just tossing fire at you, so it's no real issue. And is this enough to kill? Yeah, it's enough to kill. Cool. Magical Sharpness is helping. Fresh spice, good. Bloodstain, and can we... Is there a crystal wizard here, or... Oh my goodness, they're just a bunch of spiders. Come on. And... Soul Ray might have actually been good just to get through them, but... Thank you. Let's use some of fresh spice. Maintain things. Now, this Souls game is weird because a lot of the difficulty is based more around... The... But I couldn't get through. The corpse was blocking me. More around the areas than the bosses themselves. It's not a boss battle focused game. The same way that other Souls games generally tended to be. It's not a bad game, but it's a very different kind of game. And now I need... Oh my goodness. Okay. How can I... Okay, cool. And... Thanks, thanks. And burn. Uh, uh, I don't have enough... One thing of spice does not give me enough mana points. To take down an illithid with the cast it gives me. I. This should be fine. Let's see how well Soul Ray works versus Flame Toss on this boss. Alright, cool. And. This is just a normal guy. Presumably just a. Now you're fighting me in a silly kind of way, so I'm presuming that you're not a real person. And boom. And, oh, wow, okay. Huh. Alright, and. Thanks. Can I. I need to run from you. To run. I, okay. Cool. And how about that? Thanks. And do it. Thanks. Cool. Cool. Nice. And okay. Here's some flame toss. That's. Oh, but the stuff in the way is not convenient. Okay. Cool. Let's just get out of the way. Flame toss on you. And. Oh, you have a lot of fire resistance. A lot of fire resistance. Okay. Cool. Nice. And we need some spice. I think Old Spice might be an okay idea, but I uh, question is how much damage you're going to deal with a normal hit on me, but... Uh-huh. Shouldn't be healing all that much of it all, but... To knock you down, but surely wait for you to not dodge, and sword is tough. Okay. Then run magic tactics and try to survive. All these chairs are just really annoying. Thanks, and, alright, out of the way, and just keep knocking you down until your stamina's gone. It's a nice thing is that eventually you're going to run out of stamina to dodge, and, oh my goodness, I, okay. Interesting, I need some of the old spice then. It's going to restore to full, but it's going to restore a lot more, so. Just gradually walking towards me menacingly. Thanks, and, cool. And, alright, thanks. Cool, and, oh, okay. That's not fun. And I, ooh, all right. Interesting, okay. Thanks, Half Moon. Use Old Spice. That's the annoying thing. That, oh, you get your own kind of 
special magic missiles. Oh, you tried to do it. Backstab and totally failed. That's funny. So if you... Uh, come on. Oh, no. What? What? No, no. What? What? Oh, at least her damage actually isn't all that impressive, but... It's a good thing we're fighting a... NPC one as opposed to a player one. This tracking targeted soul arrows are annoying too. Okay. I need... And grass, grass, half moon grass. Okay. You have to, and I don't presume you have any kind of waiter. Thanks. Deal with me and pivot, pivot, and come on. Come on, we'll just take you out until that. Oh, what? No, never mind, really? Okay. So getting all hits from that is not good. Instead, we should probably be close to the boss arena. That's the thing about it, that there are no spells that do anything other than just... Well, there's Firestorm, but that's about it. There are very few spells that do anything other than, okay, shoot straight ahead. Which is the way the game works, but still. Magic was... It's very interesting that in the game where magic is probably the most unlimited in terms of what it could do... It was also arguably the most overpowered. There's very few things, if anything, resist it. You know, fire is good too, but only against specific things. I mean, a lot of things actually fire resistance. Very few things, if anything, have magic resistance. Nobody's in a watcher right now. So we're just gonna spam soul rain until the cows come home. Getting a lot of souls from this too. I'm not complaining, but it's funny. Okay, and do we have... Okay, nice, let's just skip this. Oh, but we have to watch it every time. Just because it shows us what he summons. Right, okay. So if someone actually gets summoned, they'll get a special cutscene, but... This is just the normal guy with claws, I presume. Nothing all that special. But he really does look almost Tibetan with... That big yellow flowing robe up until he... The coolest thing is how... That golden crown is literally just... The yellow robes condensed into a hat. It's like wrapping up your hair with a towel after taking a shower. It spreads out pretty wide. Originally, it's a whole towel, but you wrap it up so much, it's just compressed significantly. Alright then. Alright. It's interesting how he also has a little Jesus-like crown of thorns on him. They really mixed up their symbolism there, something awful. Okay. Okay. Guess the question is... How could I get rid of everyone in here? Oh, I think we get put back a certain distance away, regardless of whether or not the enemies are there. Because we have to... Watch the summoning cutscene again. I might be wrong, there might be another Illithid waiting for me. Certainly hope not. Let's see, and yeah, they're all dead. Just try this thing again and again. One, two, and wait, what? Never mind, and cool. And I, what, what? Okay, nice. You're dead now. That's good. Two chunks of Moonlight Stone. I did not really need those. Well, whatever. Okay. Fresh Spice, Soul Rain is the only thing we need. More grass. Alright, and cool. Nice. Just keep on shooting until you stop dodging and end up getting hit instead. But the warding on you should not protect you from magic, is the thing. But. but okay, cool. Nice. And. Thanks. Ah, but I. Degree to which you can just dodge again and again is. Thanks, thanks. Big thing is just. Claws are actually less effective than the... Huh, okay. Maybe I should honestly just use something like Magic Weapon, but I... Come on. That finally connected. Okay, but all the spice I need to use is... Wait, what? Okay. Alright. Alright, then. That's what I get for running, I guess. The Full Moon Grass is basically a full heal, though, so I... I'm okay, but... Uh... Come on, you so good at dodging, it's 
The big thing is just I'm, all I'm doing is spamming spells. You know, really hope one connects at all. That's the thing, is that the chance of them connecting is actually rather low, but I... Okay, thanks. We're just approaching slowly, menacingly. And cool. So if I actually do it from relatively close, I can... Ah, okay, that makes sense, because if you do it from up close, you'll be attempting to go for melee hits, and you won't be as ready to dodge. Okay, that makes sense. You'll be going for a hit, and... Okay, now I see it, now I see it. Cool. And, oh, well, sometimes it doesn't quite work, huh? Okay. There we go. We know what we're doing now, more or less. Maybe I might have liked to do something else, just not waste so much spice, but we're gonna be good here. And just, oh, well, all right. Thanks, thanks. Thank you, and, all right. Cool. You're on the attack, well. Thank you, and, all right, then, and, okay. No, well, oh, never mind, you imbecile. Gotta heal, and is an old spice, and dodge, dodge, keep on dodging until, thank you. Cool. And just, out of the way, thanks. Keep on. Oh, but you're, you gotta wait until the, big thing is just that, uh, projectiles, oh, and now you're using magic. Well, you're trying to use magic, but yellow there is funky. Yellow there is funky, and, okay, all right, and, cool, a lot of those. Ooh, now I can summon four, and that's really, really bad for me. As four connecting is actually death. Undoubtedly. Luckily, their tracking is actually going bad, but... Just need to, whenever you do one of those, we need to be crucial, crucially... Okay. Cool. Thanks, and... Okay. Oh, but I... Right, right. Okay, right. Come on, I need some of this. Okay, cool. Heal. You were in a weird position then, and... Come on, die, and one more will do it, one more will do it, and just die, die, and there we go! We took out the old monk. Well, the dark spirit he possessed. Cool. Demon was destroyed, obtained the demon soul and a power beyond human imagination. Cool. So we actually, well, beyond world tendency events and that one funny second floor, that's the end of Latria. It's fine. Yo, demon soul, of an archdemon, thick colorless fog shall oppress you no more. Ah, so what that means is we could actually go fight King Alan if we felt like it. I don't really feel like it at the moment. And will that... Okay, returning to the Nexus will regenerate all of my mana. That's nice. Yo, demon... Get homing soul arrow, which is an interesting idea, but... I don't want to drop on him accidentally. I accidentally did. Let's see. Bravo! I can't Thank you, Smurgan. So what an age, my magician, new magic. Spell and homing, meaning for the robe that drives one mad. Old man's nature yearned for power that was not his. Attracts its target and requires two Where are you going? Yeah, I... I'm probably going to use that for Insanity Catalyst, then. The nice thing is just I can actually use... It's moving that. around, that's fun. Use... <sighs> that... Now I can actually use the pole for something, which is great. Mentality, intelligence, but... Until I actually get the difference between one more and... It would be more MP, but... Uh, intelligence is nice. Help the world be mended. Okay. Decent now, but... The big thing is... Color was a demon's soul. It's probably what I want to be using for... I can equip this thing now, which is the best part. Which, it's mostly got magic damage, but... Main thing is just the regeneration I have for it. But I'm probably actually better off using this thing than... The scimitar. Now that... This is just much better. I... Okay. I've got a new actual weapon to use. Impressive. Catalyst and the phosphorescent pole. It's just, it's literally just a big stick. <laughs> you can thwack people with it. But I think actually in that case, I want to see if the archstone for the old monk, old monk to archstone, revenge complete, old man withered away, possessed by golden robes of insanity. Too weak to be a demon's vessel, his soul was eaten. 
All right, then. I think in that case, the next thing I'll do is actually go to Phalanx Archstone with the Inner Ward with the Knights. And then probably fight the Tower Knight, maybe. Big thing is that unless I really want to engage things from range, I'm probably better off actually using the pull. I'm gonna do a quick damage test. And range is nice, but it's just not everything. 162 versus how much for this? That deals more damage, but if I'm not in a position where I really need to be worried about DPS, I can just use this thing to take enemies down. There's also Marauder over in Execution Grounds, but I actually kind of think, aside from Colorless Demons, especially since that, trying to get World Tensy events will mean having to switch back and forth between World Tensy. The easiest way to get that done would be to just do everything that Pure Black requires and then do everything that Pure White requires. As in, do some Pure White time later. And, oh, we can just pancake little phalanxes with a single hit now. That's great. It's funny. Okay. These are really no trouble at all now. Great stuff. Okay, cool. Slam them with the stick. And, oh, alright. Yeah, the damage they deal is also just nothing special now. Paranalyze and wait ahead. wonder if they're talking about that phalanx or what. Yeah, the Tower Knight is actually, it's a giant knight that, you know, it's as big as a tower, but big thing is that it's, it was arguably the basis of the one reborn boss from Bloodborne, which you did see, it was the big undead monstrosity, but the way it fights and the way the fight progresses is, most people would say is based on it, in that... Oh, and the horses are dead. Oh, goodness. Poor horses, really. Got more grass. Yeah, because that's the big thing, is that Boletaria gives you a lot of grass. And, oh, and this is, is this Bjor? Hello. Oh, it's Can a straw, but true love that's here. Help me one last time. Far end if it pleases you. Send your thing, grab the dragons of your wits about you. Okay. And here is soul, and did we do that already, or what? Pass here. Well, I guess we're going to have to rescue him again. As one does. Yeah, good old useless prince. Okay. Well, we did already get his weapons from that one spot in Lottery. What is interesting is that there are a lot of items in this game that you can get from just killing NPCs that you can also get through other ways. Which is interesting, really. You would expect it to not be the case, probably. And, oh, the dragon is here. Thank you. Cool. Same dragon noises earlier in Dark Souls, actually. Big thing is, we should run through and just survive this way. Are you going to burn? Are you going to burn things? Big thing is that this is actually, if I recall correctly, the best place to actually take the dragon down. Okay, cool. Let's get some of the items, then. Remains, crescent grass, and... Cool. Let's be a little daring, and bring it spear and... Oh, we... Oh, well, it didn't kill us. That's exciting. Okay. Through here, we can use something like Soul Ray to kill the dragon. Should've used full, actually. Crescent moon grass. Hmm. The equip burden, item burden is not bad at all. Over here, I believe, we can... One. Yeah, that. That's a sword too good. And grass and a winged spear, but thanks. And the nice thing is that just go right through. And so now you're approaching this way, and we can just do this very easily. Oh, but also the phosphorescent pole has description. Word Rydell stories exploits, Bridus and Light Wave, Blue Gems, Phosphorescent and Light, Magical, Enha magical, magical Enhancement. Ah, so they're probably using two different words that were both translated as magic. Generates MP, weapon from the witch in the sky, but we killed him as a dark spirit and took it from him. Nice. Grass and... Hmm. Question is, if I... Wait over here. 
We're just gonna keep coming, and can I? Thanks. Uh, game up. We should be good to kill this thing now. I think. All the spice we have. And just hit. Oh, we didn't have it. Okay. Hmm. All right. Timing is tough. I know that eventually we can walk onto the thing. Oh, well, okay. Binoculars actually might be good then. The big thing is that we can't actually just wait. Keep going no matter what we do. And thanks. Uh, but once we see it, I think that's when we need to prep our soul ray. Let's kill this dragon. See it kind of under. There we go. And cool. And did that even hit? Don't even think that hit. Alright, let's aim up a little. Thanks, <laughs> and just hit end. Did that even. Wait. I. Huh. Maybe instead of on top of the tower, we should do it from underneath. See a town there by the water, which is cool. Which shows what's been lost here, frankly. Okay. Cool. And. Can we. Come in and ah, uh, never mind. Uh, big thing, we kill this guy, it won't come back. And cool, it's just we did manage to hit it, but I'm not sure how much damage we dealt. Okay. Thing is, once we see it on there, this is and cool, nice. It hit, it did damage, but I couldn't see the number. Once we get down there, we can. This is basically perfect timing wise. Actually, no. Did it a bit early and it missed. But. I want to take this guy down. I really do. And cool. Thanks. Okay. This is really finicky. Uh, big thing is that a crossbow could actually be aimed, but. One and. Cool. Nice. That hit. Keep going. Okay. So it reaches and go around and starts breathing fire and see, there we go, that's our cue. That hit. Saw a number pass through. So the fire starts, we hit. Okay. So it is good and cool. Hit. Nice. This. Doing more damage then. So arrow undoubtedly and it flies faster too, but. Nice, it's your Q, and ha. Uh, I feel like it's doing about 86 damage, maybe. I'm not sure. Nice, hit. 65, okay. 65 damage each time. Probably got about 5 off, and it's not that durable, but. Mm, let me see. Right, we've got our angle right. And it, and it actually has 100, 140 health. Okay. Well, this will work eventually. Not something that's mandatory in the slightest, but something I personally wanted to do. I feel like killing this guy in the tower like, would be a good way to conclude things for the day. Thanks. So, about 40. It's nice that the regeneration is helping. Magical sharpness is also definitely good for us, too. Uh -oh. Five, so. Maybe actually. Hmm. Divide that by 65. Presumably we have some kind of regeneration, maybe? That. Hmm. 340. That is actually. About precisely 21. So. We'll be fine, as long as it isn't regenerating. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool, nice. There we go. Take some more spice. That said, we shouldn't need that much more soon. Should we use some crescent grass? And that might mean, actually, being able to explore that dragon bridge from the floor. There's that other dragon there, though it might be dead. Hmm. Come on. And yeah, we'll one tap things with our funny pole is great. And again, 
should be reaching death range soon. Okay. Thanks, thanks. Burn. Die. Cool. Cool. Please, please. Let's not see the death animation playing. Thanks. And should be close. Should be quite close. Bring that guy down and thank you. Thanks. Cool. You know, a little bit more. Hmm. How much do we? Got basically exactly enough mana. That's the, oh, and it actually killed the thing. Small flame seal demon soul. Well, we didn't get to see that, but whatever. Okay. The dragon's gone. Classic. Okay. So the question is how much in terms of souls is that gonna give us? And Estrava, we might be able to free him around here. Soldiers on the other side, and what's this? Wait, merchant lies in wait ahead. Over here is wait, what? Where am I going? Formidable foe is in the ground. Okay. Just oh, thanks, random dragon. Cool. Uh, oh, all right. And just hit you with a big magic stick. Cool. Mm hmm. One going, but it's so good for a spell sword build because of how the mana regeneration works, and the skill level of magic. And, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'll come back through here later. Really, really nice, just because of how little I have to worry about actually taking damage here. And I, oh, but I, never mind. Die. Oh, and there's a thrust there too. Okay. Let's. Oh, but no, we needed. That was a mistake. What I needed was spice, or not actually. Actually, just fine. And cool. Thanks. The rust is actually got the cash resistance, so that's for bleeding. Keep on going through and. So where Estrava is, a friend lies in wait ahead. Oh, then, hello. Thank you. And extracts to you, I my gratitude, it. except it. Three Dark Moon Grass. This is bad. Single person life will have all of this happen? Father, oh. Didn't know that King Alon was a bad guy, I guess. This is bad. How did all of this. Okay, cool. Silly Estrava moment. As one does. We don't have the Fragrant Ring, right? Oh, but actually, uh. uh so question is magical sharpness, magic power, or is magic defense? And it's against magic. That let me just see. Oh magical sharpness. Okay. Fiend seal, man facing left. And that magic attack power, decreasing magic defense. Question is Does it work on stuff like flame toss too, or is it just I don't know. I don't know if it works on Flame Toss. There's just not enough information to go by. We're shooting ahead and I hear dogs. Uh oh. Not good. And just not safe here. Alright, so time to babysit again. Cool. Oh, that would tell me, I guess. 162 versus another draggling, it would be. Let's do a damage test on. Generic enemies. 162 versus 226. So, 6 would be. Huh. Well, I actually did that wrong if I wanted to do a test, but. Let's see. Oh, dog. Okay, cool. Thanks. 45, but if I have sharpness equipped. Oh my goodness, okay. 45, or. Can I, oh my goodness. 146, so it seemed to actually make a very, very minor difference. Oh, but... For the half moon grass, well, I've got enough grass coming through here that shouldn't be a huge problem, but I... Thanks, slam. Okay, nice. Slam, slam, slam. Okay. Okay, so it is specifically... Specifically for spells. Okay. Interesting. That's what I needed to know. Get the fragrant ring anyway. Strava is still proceeding somewhere. Did he go past me or what? Well, whatever. I okay. How far away do I need to? Oh, I couldn't get close enough to hide on that ledge from the projectile coming. Well, whatever. Okay. 
half moon grass. Cool. That's fine. The fact that it restores a set amount of HP instead of kind of oh another dragon merchant. Ah, we hope and so you that's Bye, way moon, turpentine. Oh, okay, well, not interested in buying that. Sword claw, white crossbow, wooden shield, soldier shield, shield and bolt, bolt. By plate, but I don't want that. Hmm, okay. Odd time. I'm sure you'll Turn things around. The food it said is already better. Once I can actually equip everything for it. Okay. So this is probably where we needed to go. Should probably have some sort of way back, presumably, but... Yeah, because that just went through this passageway. So where then would be... Oh, that might be Tower Knight's Arena. Let's see. Okay, cool. Said I honestly might want to use this for a fight against the Tower Knight. Eh. Yeah, it's enough of a sitting dock. Bludging should also be good against it, but let's do it this way. Dangerous foe ahead, thanks. And, oh, oh, okay. Honestly, I... This would be good soul ray fodder. You can hit every single get a multi-kill. Great. Okay, and are those birds? Can't do anything against those birds. They're not even enemies. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Cool. cool, cool. Ooh, okay, alright. Die, die. Alright then. Alright. Crescent Moon Grass. Crescent Moon Grass and Unknown Soldier Soul. Come on, just die. Yeah. It's just... Magic is great, so is a weapon that deals magic damage, and yeah. Thank you for winding yourselves up for me. Soul Ray's just so good. I didn't think the actual enemy piercing part would be as useful as it ended up being. But it did end up being very useful. Then, can we... I thought this might be a block off, but it's not, and that's where we came from for failing, so we can just run up over this way. Maybe meet other guy from the other side. I don't know where Strav has gone. It's not my problem. Okay. Yeah, we're already quite strong. I like that. Okay. This way, we've already gone up. Can't really go down, though. Actually, no, this is just other side of that merchant, but what is the tough enemy in mansions. Is it a joke, or is it gonna be the... Maybe the... Oh, well, alright. Not expect that. The horse was in my way. Whatever. Safe here. It's not safe here. Okay. Half moon. I guess the big thing is that I don't really need the spice to be in my inventory right now. I can focus on just grass, because now I'm in the interest of conservation, mostly just using the pole. Which is really, really strong, too. Okay, cool. Femoral eyes, and let's avoid getting shot by those guys up there, but I would bet that this should be the way. Oh, but there are a lot of those guys, so I can... Thanks, thanks. And... Ooh, ooh, well, that did not quite work. I... Okay, cool. Let's just do this, and... Well, that, that pierced through a couple. Okay, alright, and up, Blue Eye Knight. Great stuff. That's precisely what I wanted to see. And there we are. So we can just destroy this guy now. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and red spirit. Red eye knights. Great. And ooh, but your block is actually quite good. Thanks. One, two, three. And ooh, alright. Thanks. Thanks. One, two, and dodge. One, two, uh, this is actually pretty tough. So the question is, do these guys always appear, or is it a matter of the fact that I'm on pure black? One, oh, I, okay, all right, I, okay, interesting, I was not expecting that, but one, die, we should be able to take out. Tower and I presuming it's right after this. Yeah, Vatry was actually surprisingly long, but a lot of the reason it took so long was just it was hard. Oh, that was embarrassing. Didn't expect that thrust to be as strong as it was. Okay, well. There's not much left. We're here for now. And then honestly, just next time I play, I can just go through the rest. It's would not be tough. 
Now that we've beaten Latria and have the ability to use the Phosphorescent Pole, actually, yeah, right after Tower Knight, I'm going to go through, beat some, like, Flame Worker. Flame Worker, I'm going to want to use Soul Ray on just for the DPS. It's weak to magic and a really annoying boss. Honestly, just a bunch of others that I have to get in close to. Okay. Okay. Yep, and there's Lord Rydell holding the same exact pole that we're using right now. Classic. Oh, but wait. How did... Wait. Oh, do they come in? Huh. Did I... Wait, how did that guy even... Wait, what? Did they always show up after a certain distance or what? I, okay, two, three, and... Ooh, all right. Actually, I should maybe try using the... Uh, that spin attack is tough. Oh, huh, interesting. And thank you. Yeah, but that... Weird. I guess the question is, do the red phantom ones only show up after a certain distance? Because that one seemingly just despawned when I left. That's really, really weird. Well, I... Presumably I killed that one at the same time as it killed me. The game didn't know what to do with an aired on the side of letting me survive, which, if so, I appreciate. It's really nice of it. Really nice of it to do. Question is, clearly there's stuff down here, but how would I lower the drawbridge? Well, whatever. We'll wait. So here is door. Crystal wizard lies in wait ahead. Yeah, this is presumably the fight. Yep, you can see the tower knight on the other side. Okay. Appears to be locked. What side? Door. Not actually, there is no door. Hi, oh, and can I... Slam, 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 and slam. Cool, what you got? Large hardstone shard, and... Can I actually... What can I do with this? The weather I can activate, or... Uh, what? Well, whatever. I'll live. A key, maybe, or... No, that might be a weather, but it's not. You're over here, then, and... Unknown hero's soul. Oh, oh, come on. Please. Royal Lotus for Plague. And then let's use that Half Moon Grass now that we're down here. Can't even hit us. Cool. Die. Die. And... Son of Ephemeral Eyes and a Crescent Moon Grass. And more Crescent Moon Grass. Sniper's Perch. Yeah, you think? Okay. There's that key door over there, and I don't know what it does or how to get to it. I'm just going to go kill the Tower Knight, and that will be the end of things today. Actually, I... Uh, actual sharpness could be good if I'm... I actually probably don't want to be using Soul Ray, though. Just knock him down. Just hit him with the stick. It would be faster DPS, especially since he's not a boss that I'll need to keep away in melee. Well, we'll see. Have Ring of Avarice. Nothing we really need. Big thing is that having natural sharpness would probably do us taking more damage. Wed into an ambush, as one does. Hi. Oh. Here's our Tower Knight. And the Fat Official, and that is their name, is laughing. Which is why the music is laughing. And oh, wow, okay. Cool, alright. Let's just stay out of the way of that. Wait, what? Never mind, okay. Cool. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Either way, I'm gonna. You kill the guys around him, providing range support, and then just hit the big guy. You knock him down, you hit him enough, he falls down, you can hit his head for extra damage. And that's the way in which it's like one reborn. But you really got it. Well, to be fair, I've gotten really, really strong because I've already beaten Latria. Presumably. Okay, cool. It's just the only weapon that actually deals fire damage at base is that Epe. The Epe Rapier that I got earlier. Let's go through. And right, I almost...
almost forgot to re-enable the game. Okay, cool. Okay. Skip this this time. I presumably... Oh, we dodged that quite handily. Cool. I, uh, uh, uh. Come on, come on. Let's get out of the way and... Nice. Oh, these guys are just one tap, which is great. Thought official's gone already. No time to read messages. Yeah, you think? Okay, cool. Come on, die. Thanks. Don't bother with nothing. I don't think this game... I don't think this game even has illusory walls. And, um... Yeah, it does attacks from down there. I'll be another strong ones. Ones that the one reborn did were actually a bit more threatening. Oh, okay. Yeah, magical sharpness were... I don't think it would make it a one-hit kill, but it would make it something more threatening. It's basically... That's basically the blueprint for Soul Spear, I'd say. Wait in the Big thing is that if you're far away enough from the wall, the AoE won't get you. It's just different from other stuff. Like, cool, well, just do that unlocks. Cool. Knock these guys off. Battlement. Go forward without projectiles. Or if you want to be funny, you could actually... You know what? We'll try that once. I want to show and actually hit its head directly using Soul Spear. I mean, Soul Ray. Pretty good damage, but. I. Hmm, that did not go away. Let me try that once. It's a show. And oh, yeah, we're gonna have to hit. Hit its legs. And it's actually really cool what happens is basically what you do is. Thanks. And get behind it, and it'll. Thanks, cool. Slam over, and it's slow enough. You can, basically, you can make its legs start spewing air, and it'll fall down eventually as a result of that. Down on its own, then you can just bash its head. Nice, you have to hit it a few times. I wonder if it's enough hits or enough damage, but it'll fall down, and thanks. Did that wrong. Alright. Then you can just hit his head, which... Takes huge damage, magic and otherwise, so... Thanks. One, two... Oh, but I, ah, I messed that up. It's fine. Doesn't need to be flawless. And the nice thing is that... We can't restore entirely when that happens, which is good. And, ooh! That's not entirely dodgeable. Okay, cool, and just... Thanks! Ooh, okay. Wait till he starts using range attacks again, and... Oh. Still quite strong, actually. Kind of surprising, but slow enough that just do it like this. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks, and out of the way. Ooh, okay, alright. That, oh, that was still enough. Okay, cool. Now we can just hit his head. One, two, three, and no more Tower Knight. And I think that's the last thing I'll do today. A lot was done. Tower Knight's trophy. Beyond human imagination. Should have the way to inner ward, presuming Iron Demon Soul. Let's just go back to the Nexus. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably figure, see, what the One Reborn got from that fight. So let's seek some soul power and. Faith. No capacity up. Get to that end. We need slightly more. I. Uh, Actually, you've meant it. The big thing is that this small flame skill demon soul, you can't make it in anything. You just get souls from it. And a decent amount, too. Decent souls. So, pose of demon souls. And, okay. No, excuse me. It's no more spell memory from that. So, we're fine then. Let's try the world be mended. So, next time I will. Continue, probably go over to Stone Thing, but now that the dragon in that dragon's purse is gone, I might go there just to pick up the treasure, but that was good. We got a lot done. Thank you for watching. This was very, very interesting. See you around. Xanaragon.